Chatto, it's Thursday, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta, the revolution has begun. He's here, he's beautiful, and he's declared for England like a bell end. In other news, Champions League football will return. We play Leon today. Can we continue our this fantastic run of injury. being unbeaten? In other news, fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. Hang on. And stirrups. You saw nothing. I tried. I, I pushed on through. It's hard, chat. It's hard. In other news, fuck. Uh, you've turned on the wrong channel, chat. You've Have accidentally... Have some 25 month old sabotage. <laughs> Thank you, Ironic Christian. Luckily, it got delayed. Not that it mattered. I was already screwed by that point. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bit son of a quiche. And King Ping Mick. Did I not see that? Or was that during the intro? Thank you very much for the 12 months as well on the Prime. That's really, really nice of you. And Zeep. Thank you for the 33 during the intro. Bits for the sabotage. It's different. What threw me was the sound. The bit sound is different to everything else, and it was like that bring. It goes really loud in my headphones. Walter Conville, thank you for the 21 months. How's the streaming going? Oh, dear. Yeah, I mean, another news fuck. You, to be fair, that actually sums up the news in many ways sometimes. So, you know, maybe I was just being accurate and keeping you up to date on current events, chat. Don't hate me because you hate me. <laughs> what the fuck am I even talking about? Hello, how's it going? Ah. Uh, let me just drink my pink drink and then everything will be fine. Roy's here. He's beautiful. He genuinely is really, really good. Ah. Didn't mess up any Ah, you see, now you've had to delete it. Now who looks silly? Me or you? Still me. Definitely still me. The bit's got in the way. <laughs> so I think what happened with yours, uh, Mick, is yours was ever so slightly too early that it didn't show up on my screen yet. The bits hit me at the perfect time. And then because of the bits, Christian's one got delayed. So the bits got me anyway. Uh, did one of these days I'll go. To be fair, I actually managed to push through the sabotage on the last intro, thanks to Saz. Don't know how I managed that. I guess I was just in a better state of mind. Either that or my headphones were turned down slightly quiet. <laughs> Pink drink do be making everything good. Gotta get that vitamin something. C. <laughs> Got there in the end. <laughs> Hello, Jim. How's it going, man? Hmm. You'll love to see it, noodle soup. Did you get noodle soup for breakfast? Oh, that sounds... That must be something that you get... So anyone who's got, like, a food name must just get that shit all the time. So I'm contributing to that. But <laughs> how's it going, man? Welcome in. in. The Conference League semifinals. Hell yeah. What season? Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Sal. That's amazing, man. Also, um, thank you so much for offering to show me around Copenhagen on the last stream. I don't know why. Uh, I think I got my complete my wires crossed with you, but that's really, really kind of you, man. We're only going for like a day, so we're probably just going to like see what we can in that little bit of time because it's my mate's birthday, basically. And he was like, um, I was at the pub with him on Saturday and he goes, Matt, do you want to go to Luxembourg for the day? And I was just like, what? W what? <laughs> and then eventually that didn't work out. So we're going to go to Copenhagen instead, which I think is going to be really nice, hopefully. Anyway, <laughs> picturing, it's just basically... um a like it's like the aldi equivalent of like effervescent vitamin c tablets basically because it means i drink water but i also get a nice little extra flavor and maybe a bit of a bit of vitamin c which i will inevitably piss out immediately because that's how it works <clears throat> i got that i've got my coffee obviously in my lovely mug mm. i've had noodle soup once in my life okay so that brings me to my next question noodle soup where did the name come from? I must know. I love it when people have interesting names because I always want to know where they came from. Like some of them are fairly self-explanatory, particularly in this space, because it's like club name plus date of birth, like year and then name of person usually. So you got your, just as an example, like um, Everton Adam 1990, for example. Shout out Everton Adam 1990, by the way. If you're here, big up, big up you. I know you've been lurking this entire time. This is where I was just scrolling through the viewer list. <laughs> Complete mystery. I know Scott. His name's actually Jeff. It's weird. Everton Adam, to be fair, he's a cracking lad. Um, I wish he was around more, honestly. Pretty much. Gift his sub to that person who's coming. I deliberately chose a name that I figured wouldn't actually exist to the point where someone wouldn't do that. See, I'm really budgy. I'll bring him back, shall I? Two phones on bed. Ah, no, 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 no. One phone on bed. Kindle on bed. Don't know why I turn it that way. Kindle on bed. 
the Kindle that Pog got me for Christmas, which is literally one of my favourite Christmas presents I've been gifted in years. It's so nice. Introduced me to... Yeah, exactly. I mean, honestly, it's actually... It was Everton Adam that taught me how to play Football Manager. I I've always said that it was um, people like Dalji. But in fact, it was Everton Adam. He used to have an FM channel in like 2011. Uh, he was the pioneer of his time, if I'm honest. <laughs> James with the gifted sub to Everton Adam. You missed out the 1990. It's an imposter. <laughs> Thank you, James. Nevertheless, that's very kind of you, my friend. Well, I'm guessing it's just potato, right? It's... I like people explaining their names because, like, mine's boring and obvious. Like, it's just... That's the channel name, isn't it? Everton Adam? To be fair... It could be in the game. Everton is a very common name you see in Brazilian players. Adam, probably not, but you never know, right? When we get some of those random ones. Kindle that Pog bought me for <laughs> It's not like the night before Christmas, but the Kindle that Pog bought me for Christmas. Now, she got me two absolutely banging presents this year. It was literally that Kindle and this set of, like, Bluetooth headphones, which are amazing. And I used to, I used to use, like, tiny little annoying earbud ones, and they were crap. And then Pog bought me those for Christmas. Like, what an absolute legend she is. Yeah, you get from... I think that's actually straight up Everton's as well. I don't know. You never know, Ash. He's a popular guy. There was a lot of fan accounts for Everton, Adam. Have we just accidentally hit, like, stream law? Had a bit of an episode after F FFP ruling. Don't ever sit... Yeah. <laughs> Who would be... <laughs> I don't know, Hibos. Not you, that's for sure. Asteres. That's... Oh, I... oh so like Astereze. I like that, actually, as a name. Wait, hang on. You're not the same person as Asta Pelt by any chance, are you? Because there was a there's a chatter called Asta Pelt names. as well, who's a Palace fan. May I fan. interest you in the most exquisite English name I found in yes. FM? May I Emphatic. post a screenshot? Please don't ask. Please just tell. Yes, but thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, please, I want to see. Ragnarok in my head when I was a kid before that. I always thought that it was supposed to be Ragnarok, but that's why I've accidentally called you that so many times. I actually don't know, Hayley's. I've never played the console versions of any of the FM games, but I know that some of people in chat have. In fact, I know some of you are, like, legit full-on console players as well. So what I... I genuinely don't know. Chat, what are the differences between 24 and 23 in terms of the console version, if you know, for example? Oh, is that Link? Hang on, quick. Before it disappears off my screen. <laughs> the more I look at it, the better it gets. Armani Diaper. I first I saw Diaper and I was like, that's a funny name. And then I saw the first name. That's since And he's just straight up English too. Armani Diaper. For when you need to shit, but you want to be stylish with it. You know, I'm just saying. Hello, Clay. Oh, dear. Mm. Expensive too. Yeah, I mean, you have to be, right? It's, it's got the logos. In fact, it's the one with the no logos. I mean, clearly he's fantastic. Where did you sign him from? Or did he just come through like... I, which club did he come oh, through? This isn't <laughs> no, he never shits the bed, not at all. It's impossible. It wouldn't even leak through. So, <laughs> Sergey, thank you very much for the follow. Right, let's look up Everton Adam while I'm here. See if we can find him. Where the park from probably Genmo. That's really interesting. That's super interesting, basically, because there's just a, there's another well, Palace fan in sort of the community, if you like, called Asta, <laughs> which I just thought was kind of interesting. Um, JX CFC, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in, my friend. Right, no last clubs. Oh wow, really? That's even better, though. Well, yeah, I'm definitely looking up diapers, but <laughs> what a sentence. Uh, Everton Adam. No! I bet there's loads of... There's Weverton. You've got to love a bit of... Ever oh, damn it, man! I'm so annoyed because, chat, if I'd have just gone with a different name and gone with a really standard name like Everton John, we could have actually had him in the save. Some say Everton Adam's middle name was John and he likes to go by John sometimes. <laughs> this is Everton John. And he's an Lucian, and he's always an amateur contract, summer. and I'm going to sign him because he's an amateur. Unless he wants mad money. Are you okay, bud? That's wild. The Reverend James. Thank you, Your Holiness. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Peace be with you, my child. Um, three three hundred. I mean, I know he plays for like FC Platinum, but that's ridiculous, bro. It's like they know what I'm doing by now. They put them in here just so I will buy them. He didn't know. <laughs> Three grand a week to leave the island. To be fair, he's got international caps, and I think that's literally what it is right now. Hello, Povey. Exercise, went to therapy, finished work, and now... Christ, my friend, that is incredibly healthy, and I could never. But 
Congratulations, mate. Um, I was going to go for a run yesterday after work, but I finished editing the agent video so late that I had to pick Pog up from the station and go straight to the big Tesco. Um, so I didn't get a chance to, so I'll go off today. And that means the agent video is out at least on the Patreon right now. I'm going to, once the thumbnail's done, we up. Show who's an international. Yes, I can. Uh, well, is there a screen for that? Funny today, uh, probably only like five. It depends. If it's nice weather, then I'll maybe do six or seven. If it's only like crap weather, then I'll just do five and do it fast to get it done, you know? And you missed it. Ah! Yeah, you don't want that. Um, but we've all been there. Oh, any diapers? Yeah. Oh, is it actually written? Hang on one sec. We'll check the squad international duty thing first. Oh, in here. Oh, yeah. Why have I never... Do 5k? Oh, slow as fuck at the moment, Brant. Like, I did one last week and it was like 36 minutes. Um, <laughs> bear in mind, I've only been back into running again for like the last couple of weeks. But it's a lot faster than when I last got back into running again. I think the walking's made a huge difference just from essentially doing low intensity cardio without realizing it i suppose best weirdest name so far i mean armani died but in this save i don't know um we have had a couple of bangers and i've already forgotten them so yeah players on international duty currently um oh this is not particularly useful is it <laughs> basically you could see that um wait no we want this way around so ndoy has gone, tunkara has gone, Henry's gone, Padilla is gone, but that's the last international break, so he's not actually... Wait. Hmm. That doesn't really help us very much, does it? <laughs> Do you know what it does, Jim? Weirdly, sometimes I run faster uphill because I feel like I have to put more energy in. But yeah, we've lost a few key players, but not as many as last time, basically. Which is always important. Don with the eight months! Make How's it going, Don? With Tromsa? No way! 30 titles! Holy shit! Busk, busk. So hang on. You've won 30 titles. Um, the upfront caption. Oh, God. What did I say, heroes? Because I can probably edit that in time. The FM panel. So, yeah, apparently, Roman, uh, it's it's in. If you've got a squad and then go to international duty at the top here, you can click it in there. And I, I didn't actually. I forgot this even existed. He said, pretending he actually knew it existed in the first place. Oh, dear. Duke Nukem with the, the, the voice of the radio. Duke Nukem with the 44 months. Hello? Hello? Yes, I can talk. I'm just in chat at the moment. What's up? Really? Your grandma got busted as East London's Charlie Kingpin? 300 million worth of the stuff? Incredible. Although I'm not surprised. I'm told if you sneezed in her living room it would look like a snow globe. Oh, hold on. Streamers noticed I'm talking in chat so have to go. Okay, see you later. That's <laughs> sneezed in the living room it would look like a snow globe? Oh, Jesus, Duke. Thank you very much. For it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I know you get the, the news article about it, Roma, but I actually forgot that this menu even existed. I, I probably would have seen this like years ago, but... Oh, I didn't write sleeve wrong, did I? Do you know what? I might leave it. Good for the interactions, you know? <laughs> no, nah, I probably can resort that. Because um, luckily I can just like delete the original video and just replace it with this one or just publish the other one and leave this one for the patrons as it goes. If they don't mind my horrible typing error. <laughs> Ah, good stuff. Right. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, I always, there's certain words that I'm always just like a little bit confused over, and that apparently is one of them. So, shame it's not a spell check in um, Adobe Premiere. <laughs> there needs to be, damn it. Uh, now, I did that. We haven't checked Villa yet, but we will. Ooh. Ooh. Diaper. Sorry, Thomas. Thank you for reminding me. I, second Nationality World Cup, it is. When I've already an agent with 18 players on the book. Oh, that's amazing. You've combined my videos. I love that. I am going to do another World Cup video soon. Um, I'm just going to play the classics for a little bit because I really enjoy them. I'm probably going to do Scotland, though, because, well, <laughs> it's about damn time, right? So let me just check Villa first. We're already on the day of the uh, the Lyon game, and I'll show you what we're sort of our situation is like in terms of our squad. We are missing some players, but I prepared for it by playing a different squad in the last game. Yeah, kamga has gone. tunkara has gone. Henry and Ndoy are gone, but Ndoy doesn't start. Tunkara does start, but isn't like a huge miss and we are kind of good in midfield and up front so i don't think we're going to miss too many players basically which seems like bill bauer with a basque only election that playing sw wait um there are i just don't know what they are brands i'm almost certain there are other teams that have like a bill bauer-esque set of rules there used to be one in ukraine if i recall because i remember sean did a save with them once i think it maybe chernomorets no it wasn't chernomorets chivas yeah altinordu that's the one yeah that's not the one i was thinking of but that is another one that's the one i was that was on the tip of my tongue. I didn't know Chivas had that. But that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, there's a oh, there's a Russian guy that can't sign anyone. That maybe that's what I was thinking of, actually. Maybe, but it depends on whether you'd want to manage that. I swear there was a Ukrainian club too. 
Bots one. Did they beat Cameroon? That's dope. Let me just find a goalkeeper so we can. Villa already going with the great outkeepers. They've got Joshua Gracie. God damn it, man. <laughs> Wondering Skylight. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, Matto and Hello. Chato. Currently chilling and looking after the hand. We should make a memorial for Tony Sunday on Sundat. Praise the Maltese cow and up the Wickham Wanderers at Wembley on Sundat, I mean, as I won't be able to watch the stream. Is that like EFL Trophy, Wandering Skylight? I'm not sure. I'm guessing because it's that time of year, right? That's awesome. Fair play to Wickham, though. Uh, right. Time Portuguese players. I think, yeah, they had it preferred. But yeah, Jacob Ramsey's been there for ages, hasn't he? And I think on Bombardelli. Oh, no, he was at... Um, yeah, there we go. He'll do for the time being. Yeah, Villa have just been a straight up Premier League side the entire save, which makes sense, really. Then again... No, I can't say that because of agent video. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Where did Phoenix? That's kind of cool. I do like teams that play in other, like, um, well, like with um, Mejia. And is it Ceuta? The other team that plays in, like, the Spanish exclave on the African continent. Because there's two, isn't there? Because obviously Clates did that save with one of them, with that video he did last year, which was fucking amazing, by the way. If you haven't seen that, I'm sure you have, though, right? Uh, right, Diaper. Go on, Amani Diaper. I thought it was about to be Diaper D guard. Sadly, no diapers in this save. What a shit save. Useless. I'll refund your points. A good second. Yeah, I heard that. Hang on, don't they already have another one? Someone told me that MacArthur was based in there as well, but I might be wrong. I, I swear when I said something about MacArthur FC, someone said, oh, they're uh, actually uh, they're actually based in New Zealand. I was like, because I don't know Australian geography. I don't know my fruits. Some of Sydney. I don't know. Like when I mentioned it one time as an Australian club, someone went, ah, uh, <laughs> like actually. And I was like, is that right? And then I just kind of went with it, right? So is Auckland being like an expansion team? So they get like an expansion draft. I've watched way too much hockey lately. <laughs> mm. Oh, nappy. Nappy could work, although I suspect it's going to get caught out by loads of other words that are fairly similar. Like Napoli. <laughs> I'm just going to call them nappy. I wish you could nickname clubs. That would be good. SI, if you're listening, definitely don't fix the other stuff. Maybe nickname clubs, damn it. That's what I want to see. Right, Botswana. The what? Oh, okay. Cheers, FM. Help me out there for once. The regex came up clutch. Let's see. I thought that name was right. So let's have a look at their schedule then for a second. So yeah, oh, it was a friendly. Still, when you look at their recent results, then again, they've beaten Zimbabwe as well. And Zimbabwe are not like a muggy team. Neither are Libya. So what have Botswana got? Have they got any young players that maybe could help? Oh, they do. I reckon we go for anyone who's 20 or under. Stanley, si great name. They all play for local clubs. Lost to Lesotho. Yeah, we we ignore that. If we can. <laughs> we ignore the Lost to Lesotho. It doesn't... Landlocked, get to fuck, right? <laughs> they're, they're nothing. That was a friendly. It wasn't. It's actually going really, really well, Sam. Like, genuinely. Champions League this year has been insane. Uh, we currently sit fourth. Uh, we've won three of our four matches. We beat... Villarreal 5-0 away from home. I track Frankfurt 4-0. We beat Juventus 2-1 in Turin. And we got a 2 all draw against Manchester City at home. And I think I'm understanding why this is happening. Because, as you know, we were very lucky to get the win against Juve. And we were very lucky to get the draw against Manchester City. And I was debating in my head why it's almost the reverse of what was happening to us before. I was thinking about this before stream while I was brushing my teeth, right? Well, this is the thing, capitalism. I think this comes down to essentially making your own luck. And because we're fucking massive, of course. But like, think about it like this. With our old style of play, uh, as we've discussed many times, it was a case of once they sort of changed their style uh, against us, we weren't creating a lot, but we weren't conceding a lot of chances either. The problem was, it meant that if we got even the tiniest bit unlucky in a game, we would concede goals. And it would take us having to get a little bit lucky to even score a couple of goals, even if we hit our XG numbers pretty much straight on the butt, right? However, now with our more aggressive, chaotic approach, it gives us more attacking opportunities, which means we essentially make our own luck sometimes because we're creating more chances, which means that we're getting more opportunities to get lucky. And it means that our goalkeeper only really needs to make one or two extra saves in a game to take what would have been like a 1-0 defeat into like a 2-1 victory. Or say, I'd rather lose 3-2 than 1-0, basically. Because at least with a 3-2, two saves and you've won 2-1. That wasn't going to happen before. The best you can hope for is a 0-0 draw. And I think that's why the chaos approach actually does work. We're going to get humped sometimes, because we're going to be more aggressive. But I feel like it gives us more of an opportunity to get lucky occasionally. And I think sometimes you want to be on the side of luck rather than that, you know? 
Yeah, I accent Inter. Oh my god, yeah. Which is good in a way, because we play Inter after Christmas. And I think we've also got lucky in the sense that last time around, I'm fairly certain we lost our players for three Af because of AFCON for three games. This time it's only two, and one of them is Leon today, which I feel like is capable, we're capable of winning pretty much. New game load today. Yeah, we'll lose all of our games today, I suspect, but <laughs> such is life, right? We've got 11 points on, sorry, 10 points on the board. We've already qualified. So if nothing else, we've already qualified for the next round and now it's all free hits. Bear in mind, we're sitting fourth with teams around us having played extra games. We could potentially go top of the league uh, right now if Benfica were to screw things up a little bit. It's um, it's good times. I'm actually fairly pleased with it. And of course, Bayern are naturally being absolute gop again. Um, they've currently got one win against Rangers, drew with Sporting and then lost to Man United Porto and Inter without scoring a goal. Bayern's going to Bayern. It's just how they do it. And Leverkusen are also kind of gash, as are Ajax, in fact. Um, it makes Hammer losing to Hammer be less annoying. Oh, they're 100% beating us today. Who have we got, actually? Because we're going to do all four games. We've got Leon and Stad Ren. If we, if we win both of those, 16 points. And it means we could go into those final two games with basically three hits. And one of them's against Bayern. You know? Um, I don't know why they're so shit, Thomas. I truly don't. I suspect that it's a mismatch between who they've hired and the players they have at the club. Because remember, they have Alessio Dionisi in charge. And... I'm not sure he's the right appointment. But because they're a club in Europe, you think they'd have sacked him by now, right? Uh, Lesuto. Oh, Les sorry. <laughs> I thought it was a player. Lesuto. Uh, there you are. They're bound to have a couple of young players in their squad. Whoa, not even a couple. They've got loads. They're bound to... It's a Jane. Chat, I found a Jane. It's Cabus Sway Jane and Oscar Tualane. Love it. Bayern will probably rep for all us, but at least we'll have our squad back by then. We might lose Nagai, potentially, because he'll be at the Asian Cup. And a Dipsu. Oh, yeah, Dipsy! <laughs> Dipsy! That's amazing, which means there's a potential for other Dipsies. And Lala's and Poe. There is actually another one. There's Dipsy Nibaret. Also, it's interesting that it's not just a name that's solely in the Lesotho name pool. It's also in the Seychellois name pool. That and presumably... That means that te technically, Dipsy Mustache is a name that could happen. Because Mustache is very much in the Seychellois name pool. So Dipsy Mustache is a name that could fully happen in this FM. And that might be... Oh, win it. International recently. Uh, we did it two... We didn't do it this summer, Thomas. We did it last summer. And I feel like doing it every two years gives you the best chance of actually not wasting your time with it so we'll probably do it next summer that way we kind of stay on top of it each year no we'll get our youth and take preview today uh, as in on stream uh we're gonna do the 20s because we might there's a louise shepo louise love it so hang on we found a jane a louise and we had an emma last stream as well that was a first name too crazy Ooh. Uh, right was there an esther as well chris rose you can technically count that too esther Two roses. Double roses. Hello, Jacob. Was he getting... Oh, I thought it was Churchill Rose. Love it. They're preparing. And you know, Bally as well. Oh, it's also uh, Nibaret as well. Do not Fair enough. Me. I, am familiar with I thought it was a baby for a second. There's Bibby, if you want to take that. To get uh, right. I swear I just missed something there. Oh, yeah, there's a link. Uh, your job as a manager. <laughs> Hey, someone's got to do it. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it, right? A Chris from a rose. <laughs> wait, wait. One second. <laughs> we can't let this moment pass us by. Christ, he's scrolling like crazy. Right. The perfect time to do this because there's nothing in the queue. Right. <clears throat> there he is. <laughs> Kevin Beck. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. Uh. I could have gone for the original, but this one was literally on the playlist, so it made sense. Like a Chris from a Rose. Buy immediately. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. He's 24. Watch him want stupid money. That's reasonable. We've not exactly got off to the the least meme start have we yeah jizz horncamp uh, we actually had jizzy boy as a scout i think on the last save here he is uh, are about as i knew he could be 
Chris from a rose. There we go. We've done it. We want Dipsy. Oh, we could have got Dipsy as well, actually, couldn't we? Swinging it back. There's Dipsy. If he doesn't want moon money... Probably won't have a wage rise there, bud. There we go. Ah... I know, Johnson, but I don't like dicking about with stuff like that because the problem is, right, if I change his nationality using FMRT or whatever, it then calls into question pretty much everything about the save. So whenever I find a good player or something, people could just be like, well, you've just edited them on FMRT or like I'm search the for them or something, you know? So I don't want to put myself in that position because I like the integrity of the save. <laughs> Granicho, thank you very much for the follow. How's it going, man? The meme bucket do be overfloweth. Um, I also took four million pounds from PSG for Siwane. So that means his transfer is now 12 and a half million. In addition, um, Barca want to give us 8.2 for um, Tony Sunday's clause. However, he's already played 12 league games in the first half of the season. So I think we hang on for that and take the full 10.5 in like a year and a half. Because I think that money is going to be really useful. The set on clause for me is too tiny as well to really make any difference. Because 8.2 now, I feel like we're more than happy to... I'd hang on for the extra 2 million, frankly. Uh, that seems right, right? Kitchen appliance, like another one on the fridge. I mean, it could happen. Only 20% of that too. Oh, we're up to 40% now, in fairness. So, it's... Price should rise. It will... But we're not going to get much on that clause, I think, because it's only a 20% of profit clause, and they already spent a lot of money, so unless they sold it for, like, 100... Even if they sold it for 100 million, we'd still only get... We'd actually get 10 out of that. And I don't know if they will sell him, honestly. That's the thing. Uh, Lala. The problem is with Lala, you can have Alexi Lalas. There's a lot of... Because it's such a short term, it just kind of encapsulates... Like, if I put... I bet it's, like, 2,000 people. Or 5,000 people. I'll refund your points for that one. Right. Julius on that. He's, I believe... I know this isn't a lookup, but I'm curious myself now. Jealous. I think he's still... Yeah, he's a looter. Permanently, admittedly. His contract's up this summer, though, so we probably have to look at that. Uh, so, um, Granacho, we have, like, a player lookup thing to... I realised I just looked one up without that. To stop things from getting too bogged down. I hope that's okay. Hello, Pentagon! Ah, the hold your gun, Cappy Barrett. So let me just... I think I've already done this. Yeah, so this is what we're going to have to... Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry, I was exporting the tactic. Which, by the way, you can now find the new tactics and the set pieces in the uh, the commands. I've updated all that stuff now. So basically, the hold your gun capybara thing. And yeah, you're wondering why our goalkeeping situation is what it is. Both Juarez and Freitas are injured. And Guicune has gone to um, AFCON. So we're down to our fourth choice goalkeeper, which is burnt. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Good times, right? Just what we needed at this point. It's not ideal. Look at our bench, by the way. That's all the players we have that we can actually play. Get yeah, because I wish we could. So Burnt's going to need to have a banging day. But other than that, right, the team, certainly from a first team perspective, actually looks fairly strong. That's what I would say. The bench is massively undervalued. But there you go. Burnt, first, fourth choice goalkeeper, in for the business. So yeah, as for the Hojigan Capybara thing, um, when are the goalies back? They're both out for like... Juarez is out for two weeks, and Freitas, I think, is five. Yeah, he got double hernia in training, which is just as well we had that third goalkeeper in the squad, though, innit? Because we'd be absolutely screwed otherwise. And I know that I could put another player on the bench, but um, allow me. <laughs> we are that light on players that it might actually end up having to be someone like Matthew Pace. Actually, I might just uh, whack a couple of extras on the bench. Because Antonio, sorry, Andrew Couchy, by the way, looking like an okay player. Genuinely, the guy from our youth intake. Burn always played well. He just sort of struggled. He didn't have the ceiling, but it's tactics. Um, and the other one is set pieces, I think, even though it's technically only the one, but it's, it's all in there. I updated them all. The other tactic is still in there. You just get a pack now, which is cool. Son of a quiche! Thank you very much for the 100 bits! Do you know about Burnt the Bread? No. A depressed loaf of bread in German children's TV. I really want to know now. <laughs> I really want to know now. Um, so yeah, Hold Your Gun Capybara. There used to be a song that I would play as an intro to my Stockport... I think it was Notts County series, actually. Back in YouTube on the day. I think it was like 2017. And part of the song says, Hold Your Gun, Cut the Wire. Someone or someone's misses misread the, misheard the lyrics and they basically wrote in the comments, why does the song say, Hold Your Gun Capybara? To which I then had to explain it. But then I just basically, because I'm an idiot, started signing off every video from that point onwards with the phrase, Hold Your Gun Capybara. And then it just became like a stream meme, basically. <laughs> That's where it came from. I, I realise it's completely incongruous at this point, but hey, everyone needs a catchphrase. Mine is dumb. Ooh. Okay, right. 
Yeah, I'm a little worried about this because Melbourne's only just come back to fitness too. But when you look at the bench, Roy might unironically get on the pitch here. Like, <laughs> genuinely. I Hence the sub badges being capybaras. Exactly, yeah. Um, that's That was an easy one for me. Right, hence why... For some reason, I thought it would be a capybara. I think the stream ser the Discord server still actually has a capybara on the logo, doesn't it? Wait, what? The sister's changed his mind since I set it up. Hello, Tuffers. Oh, nice. That's amazing. You want unbeaten domestically? Hell yes. We've not done that for years. And we could still do it this year. I actually have changed that, um, uh, Jim. I... Where is it? Um, I brought it down to 20 minutes, but you're right. I probably should turn it off entirely. So before stream, I went and I changed it to 20, but I've noticed that when you set it like that, it doesn't actually... Like, I had him set to 45 and he played 59. <laughs> so I think you're probably right, particularly the time being, anyway. His free kick taking? Oh, I don't know. 10? Not awful. Ah, you hate to see it, though. I feel like he's... Mm, either way, I'm still very pleased with him. It's a shame he's become English. Also, he's got under 20 caps now. He got called up, which is a little bit worrying. Okay, uh, this is huge. This game is massive. I think we lose this game because of his sharpness. I think you might be right, but unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. It's... um. I think this is... We're in a better state than we were the last time we had this whole situation, but our bench is not strong. Um... Change nationality. There's every chance, Johnson, but I my prediction is that there's more chance of him becoming Maltese than turning back to Anguilla, which is a shame. Oh, shit, I forgot to do that. Look up. My apologies. I will get on that right after this game. But please do remind me. I probably should be able to see it, actually. But I'm going to change some crazy garbage that's working. Yes. Honestly, JX, that's exactly what we did. We went to some crazy garbage and then refined it a little bit. Um, and now it just... He says it just works. Watch us get absolutely blasted here by Leon the last time. Got England caps, true, but you know how England is in FM, right? And how stacked their national team appears to be, especially in the forward line. No, he's still Czech, Thomas, unfortunately. Yeah, so for some reason, again, Banksy, yeah, we're playing this game at Ta'ali. I think it's this. I think we play in our home stadium when Ta when Ta'ali's not available due to other Maltese matches, but because it's still technically the biggest stadium that we can play in, they still seem to default us there for Champions League. But once our stadium overtakes it, I think that's when we'll end up playing our games back at home again. Um, notably, they don't have Darwin Nunez this year. And this is on the bench. No. So last year they had Darwin Nunez. <clears throat> be a bad thing. Oh no, it would be a great thing. Pretty much. I actually don't know, Johnson, what... I think it comes down to, like... Usually when they're younger, if they've got any kind of potential, they will choose the bigger of the two nations, for whatever reason, if there's any interest from them. Especially when the smaller nation is, like, not one that plays as many games. But it also seems like <clears throat> when they don't get any caps for them later in their career, they'll often turn months. back against Stewie. That's an elephant baby or four capybara babies. What shall we call them? Anyway, enjoy the money. Is it tax <laughs> deductible? I wish. Asking for a friend. Well, I suppose it, if if you could make the argument that you're paying me for goods or services, Stewie, then maybe. <laughs> Team at eighth when you first. Yeah, that's that toppy is just because. Unless I think you've got every single player... So, the way it works is, unless you've got every single player that has 20 consistency, they're not going to be at their max CA performance in every single game, pretty much. That's the thing. Uh, this is one of the things that Max showed off in that test, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, I believe a player can have three nationalities, but it only shows two at the top of their profile. I think. People like Matt O'Reilly are sort of the... Oh, hello. Go on. A nice early corner goal would be delightful. Oh, that's close. It's a shame it was Palacio. Well, the, the values are actually starting to increase a little bit now. Palacio is worth like 5 million again, which is intriguing. But no, I don't know if they ever fix themselves, truthfully. Um, but one thing I will be doing in January is not bidding up our player values, just in case we end up with another Tony Sunday type of situation, right? The last thing we need is that again. Uh, right. Okay. Strongish start so far. With the slightly weakened side, we're doing all right. Oh, Nagai, come on. Don't lose the ball here, though. Oh, go on, Rojas. Have a bang, maybe. No, dear. Okay, when I said don't lose the ball here, I did actually mean it. Oh, well, pl oh, God, we got away with that one there. But here's the chance. Diaz. Oh, he could have looked forward there. I felt like that was an opportunity to go through the center. But here we go. Building it up. This is better. Nagai. Melbourne. Oh, he's got the pass. Come on, Perez. Oh, I watched, I watched the games off camera, which I don't normally do, but I only had two to do. And Perez was absolutely lightning in those matches. We lead 1-0 and Perez gets the goal. Sorry, Perez, not Perez. Inferno would hate me right now. Look at this for a pass from Melman. 
First time, round the side, Perez is absolute lightning pace, and then a little dink over the goalkeeper. We lead. That was lovely. This is why I feel like he originally overtakes Henry, but he's not had the chance this year. But this is his moment. Oh, no, Vitas hurt himself. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait, they, they both got injured. Okay, Krastev's actually okay. Fuck, it's going to have to be Malaika. No, no, hang on, wait. No, it's not. It's Diaz. We move Diaz up, and then we bring on Kazola. Oh, that's less than ideal. Yeah, I nearly got screwed there. Whew. To Adam hurry on, but no. <laughs> and that's a dick. <laughs> we'll send it to the adjudication panel. Let them decide. Or Vega. Yeah. Yeah, this is a sharpness, actually. Yeah, I think you're right. Vega instead. Vega's got higher match sharpness. And he's decent. Right. So far, I'm pleased with this, but... Cheers, Fab. Um... That's actually really annoying because I took him off and he's got injured anyway. Uh, right. That's weird. It was like I must have paused it right in the middle of him getting more injured. That is a little bit worrying, though, because we are going to be a bit light without those guys. Right. Two subs in the first half. Less than ideal. I'm a bit worried that this might be a turning point for us in this game. Hopefully not. Oh, dear. Who are you passing that to, bud? I'm a little worried now that we might be about to hit do you remember last time we had the AFCON problem? And then the moment that AFCON hit, we not only had the AFCON issue, but also started getting all of our players injured too, as we now immediately concede from an insane angle. Oh, dear. Uh, he doesn't. Oh, I think he does. Actually, I don't know if he does. Did he just screw me on the sub window as well? That's very annoying. We shouldn't be conceding goals from that angle, unfortunately. But that's what happens when your fourth choice goalkeeper is forced to play, sadly. I hope it doesn't screw us here. But I'm a little bit worried now. Having to make those two subs. No, I don't think he did want it. Did it still count? Okay, good. Yeah, that would have been annoying if it screwed us there. We've been okay, but... Mm, I hope that injury isn't too serious. What does it actually say? Potential foot injury. That could be so many different things. Right, Thrash Arms. They've actually played as a team fairly well. It's just that one moment, really. Um, right. Okay. Promise, we have got. We might have to just go with this lineup for longer than I would like to in this game because we just have so little depth on the bench to bring in. This is the kind of game where a corner goal would be absolutely huge, and that's why we've gone for that corner strategy to make sure that we could try and get little sneaky goals here and there that win you games or get you draws in games or something. Oh no! Oh, that was pure luck. Come on, Krastev. Right here we go. Melbourne on the ball. That was a big opportunity for Leon. They probably should have buried that. Right. Mm. I don't know. This game feels like it's getting away from us slightly. Right. Diaz. Here we go. Just get that ball down. Start playing it around a little bit. Find a bit of form. Paez. God, I'm so glad we got a few extra defenders this time around. And they're not all from African nations that were losing to Afghans. So having Paez in there. Oh, hang on. Here we go. It's Perez again. Oh, he's gone too deep. Oh, has he? Pull across. It's... Oh, no. Oh, how is that not a... Oh, what a chance. That is such a massive opportunity. Bugger me. That was such... Oh, that has to be a goal. Who do we draw to? Uh, we drew to Manchester City, would you believe? Right. Go real high up. Um, Honestly, I think you might be better off playing him as a wingback, potentially. Oh, right. Palacio's playing well, and he's... Mm. We have just zero depth off the bench. The defenders are playing okay. <sighs> Roy time. But like the thing is, our strikers are actually doing okay. Diaz is cooked. Yeah, he is. But like, other than Malaika, we're kind of... We probably do have to bring him off. It's just a question of who other than Sifo Malaika. I'm just looking to see if anyone else can do the job there. Anyone that's, like, currently in the team that I can move around a little bit. Melman can't play there, and we can't bring him back there because he'll get so badly punished. Nah, because Melman has no ability to play as an attacking midfielder, and he would get absolutely ruined by the match engine for doing it. It punishes players so heavily if they're not familiar in the role. Uh, that was one of the things that... I used to think you could get away with that, but you simply can't. Uh, Max's test showed that it would reduce players from 50% chance of winning to, like, seven or something insane obviously that was when the entire team was like that but we can't afford to carry a player essentially at this point hello terry it might have to be malaika just for the fitness 
Because Diaz isn't going to be able to do much when he's not able to run properly. I'm thinking the same. Yeah, I'm thinking that as well, Dan. Particularly as Lignol might give us a set piece threat. I and mean, maybe we go for play for set pieces for the final 20 minutes. Just try to get something from there. And then to have to go with Malika. Although, what's pace looking like? What is he actually looking like these days? He's just not it, is he? He really isn't. Analysis. Oh, sorry. When I talk about um, analysis and stuff, usually I'm referring to Max, which is evidence-based football manager. Um, I need to get like a command for him. <laughs> Honestly, he deserves it. He's easily my favorite FM content creator because he just makes like really in-depth analysis videos about the match engine itself, which is where I've learned so much this year about that. It's He's 100% worth checking out. Um, right. Yeah, it's going to have to be Malaika. That leaves us another stoppage later. He really does, capitalism. It's it's sensational. And the effort he puts into it is so damn good. How best to retrain a player? Um, I think, basically, play them in games that you don't care so much about so they get the match time and hope that they slowly learn the position anyway. Yeah, an exclamation mark Max would do brilliantly. Uh, Evidence-based football manager, uh, Ziltoid. It's written in chat if you should look above uh, from Passbro. Right, let me just... I'm going to whack us on play for set pieces for the final 20 with the hope of getting something with Lignon's head on it, pretty much. And I'd be tempted to do 10 minutes of Roy at the end, honestly. Just to keep the fitness levels and get a striker that can run a little bit later stages. Particularly if we were to take the lead again, perhaps. Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? We've had some luck in the Champions League so far this season. So if this is one of these games where we create a decent amount but don't score the extra goal, so be it, right? It happens. Right, Perez is... He's falling off a little bit now. It's time for Roy. Roy makes his Champions League debut with 15 minutes to go. Imagine if Roy scored the winner in this game. It would write him into folklore in this save immediately. There's just no two ways about... Oh, no. Please don't lose this one, though. Okay, breakaway. Krastev, come on, bud. Here we go. He's got Roy. He's got options as well. He's got Fleming. Roy Fleming drops it around the side for Palacio. Now he makes the run. Can he get the return pass? Vega. Oh, dear. Come on, get a toe in. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, toe in. Somebody. Not like this. Please not like this. Oh, God, I hate it. It's a really long highlight. And you know what really long highlights are like in FM. Oh, we just have to sit here and wait for the inevitable, don't we? Banger from the edge of the box. Yep. And we're going to lose at home to Leon. Despite actually playing quite well, too. Them's the breaks. We had a perfect counter-attacking opportunity, utterly squandered it, and then conceded a long-range banger. But this is what I mean about how you're going to have to create more luck. Like, we need to be Leon sometimes, and we kind of have been in this season's Champions League. It's an unfortunate scenario, but there's really not a lot you can really do about it. Um, I don't think we've played badly. Play this game ten times, we win nine of them. Right? It's just what happens sometimes. It's a shame, but... Then again, there's still a chance for at least a two-all draw, which would just be more points, right? It's frustrating, but we still got to stack. Oh, hang on. Krastev, go on. Roy Fleming. Oh, my God, it's a penalty. Fleming has won us a penalty. Did I not put it on? Yeah, I did. Get it on, Roy. My thoughts exactly. Where do you... Oh, it's there. What is his penalties like out of interest? Vegas on the pitch. Uh, Roy's actually probably the prime player for it. Look, genuinely, because he only has one worse penalties than Vega, but his finishing and composure is way better. Like, he actually... Like, genuinely is the man that should be taking the penalty. Wait. No, nah, it'll be given. He gets pushed. Fiona! It's like the Manchester City penalty where it actually was a push. Look nervous. True, but... The fact is... Like... If he... I still think he's the best man for the penalty. Um, Vega only has one penalty better than him, but his finishing and composure is worse, and I feel like the penalty stat is not as important as finishing and composure. Right. Roy Fleming, in the 89th minute, to score his first ever goal for Sirens. And he does! It's Sirens 2! Leon 2! Roy Fleming... Oh, no, he actually technically has one, but that was, like, a silly cup game. Scores in the Champions League. Roy bails us the fuck out. Get in, Roy! And he won the penalty as well. Oh, God, that was off the post as well. Huge, huge goal. The 18-year-old bails us out of the death here. You know what? It's not ideal. 
Not winning the game is not ideal, but not losing the game is massive. And Roy's penalty does the business for us. Get in! The Roy Revolution begins today. Oh, yeah, there was no goalkeeper in the world was saving that. That was a brilliant penalty, practically into the side netting. So, should we have won this game? Yes. But remember, the game against Juve, game against Man City, we probably didn't deserve the points that we got from those. So, it's actually kind of balanced out. It's another point on the board. We're still unbeaten in the Champions League. It is what it is. I'd much rather have the chaos of this because this is why, by the way, that we play like this. If we'd have played like our old style against Leon, we'd have created probably maybe a tiny bit more XG than them, but we'd have only scored one goal. And it probably would have been that penalty, right? And that's the thing. When you get unlucky, then you've got no way out of it. This at least gives us the chance to get a little bit more lucky. That's why I feel like we're getting better results like this. Um, brilliant. Melman was really good in this game too. As was Vida. I'm worried about Padilla. That injury better not be too serious. If we can get through our next... If we can win in France against Stade Rennes, that would get us to 14 points. And then we'd have all of our players back for the January games. And going into the final two with 14 would be unbelievable. We're still top eight. And more importantly, we're also four points clear of those teams down there. I want to get top 16 this year. That's really my goal. Oh, Joao Torres and Oria. Thank you very much for the follows. I missed that. So sorry. I was getting all wrapped up in the uh, the revolution there for a second. And Billy Child, thank you very much for the 50 bits. Oh. Instructions into the cam. Uh, one sec. I'll show you. Um, Viva LA revolution. Oh, that's the instructions for the cam. So he holds the ball up and shoots left often. But it means that when he gets possession, he doesn't immediately dribble into the way of the strikers. But when he gives away possession to one of our other players, he then makes those late runs. It's almost like a way, from what I've noticed, of having him drop a little bit deeper to collect the ball. Then when he gets the ball, he doesn't immediately go straight forward with it. He tends to hold the ball for a second, wait for those overlaps. Then he sprays it out wide and then makes the run. And it makes him much harder to track. That's what I've noticed in the match engine anyway. Oh, a six for eight centre back that can play up top. Oh, yes. That's the dream. It's like a Palacio if he was taller type of vibe, right? Oh. Tactical Maverick are having a breakdown. A bit of both, right? Um, now then, Pad Padilla's injury is definitely a concern. Makes it harder to track, precisely. Roy did bag the equaliser for us in Europe, yes. Uh, oh, God, they're both injured. Please. Oh, not ideal. Okay, that's fine. Palacio was really good in that game again. Holy. Roy scores on his Champions League debut. And not just a goal. It's like a genuinely important goal for us that's actually stopped us from going... Oh, bloody hell, that was stressful. Um, unfortunate, that game. I don't think we did a lot wrong. Um, like I said, nine times out of ten, we win that match. But then nine times out of ten, we lose at Juve. So it's all right. Okay, right. Let me do that look up for Andrea uh, Colpaini. Uh, unfortunately... He does not appear to be in my save file, unfortunately. After all that, our refunge points. Uh, Alex Scott, who I think he, it's about Man United in a lot of saves. Oh, Andrea Colpani. Okay, my bad. I'll, I'll go back and look him up again. Oh, he's at Arsenal, as it goes. And he's absolutely outrageous. Good God, he's good. Look at the state of him. Free transfer. Oh, Bournemouth. What are you doing? He went to Arsenal on a free transfer from Bournemouth. They lost £28 million and him. Things you don't want to see as a Bournemouth fan. That. Oh. That's absolutely terrifying. Uh, so there you go. Ah, oh, we got a whole bunch of options. One sec. I'm going to go back and do Andrea Colpani. If he's actually in the database. He, he almost certainly did, but like, lordy lord. Oh, he's the low manager at Juve. He's been around a little bit, but luckily we can actually see him. No worries, Johnson. Adaptability stat. Ah, okay. So basically, be very careful when listening to what I say, because I have been proved wrong so many times, and I'm always willing to change my opinion on things once I am proved wrong, hopefully. Um, but don't take everything I say as gospel. Because, for example, with uh, the thing I thought about big matches not being that important, actually it is. Once again, thank you, Max. Um, so adaptability, generally speaking, in FM24 anyway, the biggest noticeability thing you'll think see with adaptability is if a player has low adaptability often they'll be the ones that will come to you complaining about homesickness and wanting to leave the club they often fail language courses too i've noticed it seems to be there's quite a strong correlation between <laughs> you know wrong, that's correct. <laughs> there's often quite a strong correlation between failing language courses wanting to go home and low adaptability it seems that's the biggest thing i've noticed about it anyway i'm sure there are other factors in that we'd need a max video to find out though truthfully <laughs> But yeah, so he was at Monza for ages, then went to Perugia on a free, and then just became Juventus' loan manager. You'd love to see it. 
Uh, Felix Gerhardt, I will get to the Harrow Bishop Ultras in a second. I want to just get all of our other little looky looks up done first. And he's the goalkeeper at Bochum. Uh, in fact, he... Oh, no, he's been around a little bit. Damn, that's a really good performance. He's pretty... Wow, he's... Whoa. Free transfer, and he's only just started playing like seven years later. Hot damn. Causes a multi... Yeah, it's weird, Thomas. I wonder why that is. I genuinely have no idea. Um, as in, you mean on FM24 in general? Strange. Cam, thank you very much for the four months. How the devil are you, my friend? It's certainly one of the factors that will contribute to some wemp ability, for sure. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, he's actually done okay now. Then again, it's suppose it's Bundesliga, it's Bundesliga, isn't it? Iraq didn't have it. Oh, wow. Who are you managing in Iraq? That sounds sick. Uh, right. To celebrate Roy's first ever goal in the Champions League, and an important one of that, we need a Harold Bishop Ultras chat. And a five. And a four. And a three. And a two. And a one. And take it away, Harold, baby. But you did. I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, for goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get uptight, you're dead. I always do wonder what it would be like if that is genuinely the first thing you see when you join a stream for the first time and you have like never watched any of my content in any way and that's the first thing you see. I assume that's just an immediate like turn around and walk away type of jobby, right? Horizo! Thank you very much for the five months. Celebratory sub apparently. You'd love to see it. Yeah, Maltese, um, I think you're right. It does come down to the difficulty setting on the language. Uh, so I imagine you'd, if you're imagining in Iceland, for example, you'd probably have a similar problem. Abe Simpson .gif, literally, yes, exactly. You are Potsy, and you've be you've come at the right time because the the revolution has started. He's just scored the equaliser against Leon in the Champions League in the 90th minute. Um, sorry, 89th minute to bail us out a very important point. As City just lost four nil. Hey, Leverkusen won against the greatest team in the world. Do how much have you been ready to trust? The <laughs> True. <laughs> Next time we get like a random big raid, we'll try it. Just oh my finger slipped. Whoopsie. Okay, where's the situation? In terms of... Okay, so we've got a little gap, which is actually okay. It allows us to get some of those guys back. Oh, it's actually not that far apart. That's just a lot of games, isn't it? So knowing that our game against Hamrun is actually the one we have to rest for. Okay. Uh, we don't care about that, annoyingly. What does that do for coefficients as well? Like, we're still crap on coefficient this year because there's just nothing we could do about it. Um, 5.1. We are at least improving over the year we're losing, I guess. And staying above Belgium, Scotland, and Turkey. So as things stand, we'd actually be going 12th. Which is, considering how we're going to have a shit season no matter what, I'm impressed with this. We're actually getting 12th this year, potentially. It's raw on TV. <laughs> really? Because I'm pretty certain that the clip where I've got him of swearing there, that was from like behind the scenes stuff. I actually found loads of like neighbors clips on YouTube. Or oh, something else I've done is I, m Mr. Jobless only had like five jobs left, so I prioritized them all so we can hopefully get rid of his uh, workload today and finally replace him with someone who knows what they're doing. Get my yeah, so was I, Jim. Um, especially as he is one of the focuses of my newest video, which is really, really cool. It's very topical when it falls off. Exactly, Thomas. I like that thought. It makes sense, though. Like, to be fair, this year was supposed to be a year where we gained loads, but I'm actually okay at a slower pace if it gives us a chance to... To put this in Balotro terms, chat, what we're doing right now, we're taking one less discard, but we're going back an ante. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. How's it going, man? A uh, bit of Basel. Yeah, these are definitely all his reports. So we can almost ex exclusively ignore these for the time being, truthfully. Crack Slow pace. <laughs> Yeah, I do be speaking fast. Apologies for that. I, when I was editing the agent video yesterday, who's our negative joker? Roy. <laughs> Roy is the negative joker, clearly. Because there's no downside to having him there, right? We don't want to sell him. It's all good. Roy is the negative joker. Perez has given us some malt malt at the moment. Ah. Uh, oh, I see, Bab. Right, okay. Oh, nice one, Tommy. How's that going? How did you find it? How long did you stream for? Tell me everything. Yeah, I know I talk fast. Um, I've, like, I just, I, 
yeah <laughs> i can't make it i know you weren't saying that obviously um it's just a toughie isn't it right um let's see go on henners i do want to keep an eye on him but i think he's still got time left yeah he's got four years left tahitian left back oh no he's i think i know who you mean he's actually uh, from lebanon i think if that's the guy i'm i'm assuming it is Did you mean this guy here, Ali Ramal? That, that, the flag is kind of, from a distance, especially. Get bored in a second. There you go. I just, I can't stand silence. I, I have to be speaking at all times. That's why, it, literally, I probably couldn't stream for much more than four hours. Occasionally, we get to the five hour ones, and genuinely, afterwards, I have to, like, not speak for, like, hours because my throat hurts so much. Is he read? Nice. Who wins a few losses? Got done out the cup. Fair enough. I more meant, like, um, how was the actual streaming element of things, Tommy? Um, but um, it's interesting to say, though, of course. Ah, uh, with a chat GPT tech. Wait, what What happened? I, I must know about that. That sounds fascinating. Okay. So we've got a lot of games to get out of the way here, which is absolutely fine. Um, I've already made that mid-season cut point for um the recap video, so we don't have to worry about me hiding my save files today so that you don't get spoilers for the Asian video. So see, eight plus twice. Christ, I don't think I've even seen plus eight minutes in FM this year, honestly. Catching any coefficient. Um... It's super tough. It, it really just is. I've never managed it once. Actually, wait. No, I haven't, have I? There was that one year where England were kind of bad as well, where we were like, I think it was with Ireland, where we got to third, but it was England and Spain were really close together. Oh, wow. Who's going to get a crappy... Okay. Do you know what? Finally, some positive things from that mentoring group. But like, it's not actually that bad, but I feel like he definitely does need a move. For once, positive mentoring. The six hours with Binner was... I think it's still my longest stream ever. It wasn't actually quite six hours, but it was damn close. Hey, we're going to pass it. And we're getting Dipsy. Dipsy's in. Love to see it. Stop by and chat a bit of a sore throat. Yeah, that'll take um, some time to get used to. <laughs> but what I will say, Tommy, is if you're getting a sore throat from doing it, that means you were talking loads. And that means you're doing the right thing. Because you never know. You can't tell when someone's in your chat, right? So by always having something going on and speaking, you, you're essentially creating engagement the entire time, right? I know that's fucking difficult. But the better you get at that, just being able to speak when nothing's going on is i feel like the ultimate thing when it comes to streaming right um yeah these are all reports from mr jobless we'll have to just send them around like oh anything new wait was that one in there oh that's emma again uh no nothing new this time around but that's fine we move you really do need to be lucky with england yeah the thing is though as you say thomas right even if they get like a shitty cup winner um we saw norwich get to the semi-final of the europa league last season in this so so it seems like it just you just kind of have to be good <laughs> and hope that you knock them out, right? Yeah, no, there's no one actually here. You're all a figment of my imagination. 24, yeah, it, it's so tough. Um, I still feel like Malta could potentially get there. Two matches. Yeah, it's it's at that point. Now, it's at that point, if, to peel back the curtain for a minute, that's when I sort of rely on chat a lot of the time. But I know that that's not always as easy as that. Um it's also part of the reason why chat know loads of my random boring stories from the past because that's when i usually trot those bad boys out or if last stream's anything to go by get told to hurry up <laughs> it is potentially a good opportunity um although actually brand we've still got and right now we kind of do need him however what we do need is gert these are games for gertie boy oh wow roy's actually gonna unironically start i love that that's how down we are on players that roy is an unironic starter in this team <laughs> oh it's great uh captain backlog i'll sum it up in one thing roy fleming 89th minute penalty leon <laughs> that's how i will sum it up you can make of that what you will um right christ this team is looking a bit dead right now but we'll just play whoever my assistant wants for the time being uh perez has genuinely been amazing this season which we kind of expected in fairness but it's nice to see him actually play out like that oh ChatGPT conversation. Interesting. Oh my god, it's actually... Oh, I can't fully expand it, but... It's got some knowledge from somewhere, in before it's just reading out an FM Scout article. <laughs> Future viewers and followers provider? No way! I always wanted that! Uh... God, god damn, man. <laughs> Don't you love it when that happens? I've always wanted a future followers provider. 
<laughs> that was me thinking that streaming would do that, but oh, oh well. That's like new today. I could just do it on the page, true. But the future viewers, I know. Count for two goals. Unfortunately, it didn't, Captain Backlog, but it did bail us out. Wait. Hang on. Sorry? <laughs> just to clarify, chat. Abdu and Doi is upset about my team selection while he's on international duty. So is Kamga. Dressing room doesn't agree with the team sheet. Focus on your own dressing room, bro. You're at AFCON. <laughs> he's complaining in the WhatsApp group, literally. That's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, he's genuinely astonishing that players that are on international duty are complaining about the match selection. <laughs> Literally, manager's an absolute weapon. Left me out of the squad, bruv. What do you say about that? I think there's a mutiny on the bounty. I'm not in the boys' WhatsApp group, clearly, no. He's put the frowny face in teams. Why is Afcon into... So Afcon's actually... I'm telling you this tactic is way better than what we were playing before. You can't... Like, this is not the first time this season that this has happened now. This happens almost every game when we've got an even slightly good squad and Roy's got two goals and two assists. I, it, that's the second time this season that we've scored eight goals and we're only nine matches. We have a plus 45 goal difference after nine games. Casemiro feels Casemiro should have been picked. <laughs> it's even better when they refer to themselves in the third person. Uh, no, I missed a question in there. One second. Oh, yeah. So basically, uh, AFCON is actually in late November in this save. And I believe that's something to do with moving it in real life. But it means that you do lose players that go to AFCON for like two sometimes three very important Champions League games. And when you have as many players from African nations as we did and slash do, it really do be costing you. Uh, Vida was insane in that. The fact that Roy has already scored four times for us professionally now. <laughs> it's, he's so good. Did they get zero XG as well? Holy Christ. Look at the key passes as well. Gert got a goal. Brandao actually played amazingly in that game. Per Perez was actually slightly uh, mid. Holy Christ. Play against own club. Other clubs with draws off. <laughs> that right there, though, Sol, is the reason we hard programmed it into the save so that clubs had to be allowed to play against their own teams because that is a genuine problem. It's crazy, though, isn't it? Oh, dear. Um, Yeah, we've scored a lot of goals. This is We've scored 49 goals in nine games. Our record goal scoring in a single season is um 90. And we've got nearly 50 after nine matches. This is a level of goal scoring. I've and this is with weakened sites as well. Th there's no way that this tactic isn't the future for us. Um, So the tactic is this now. I don't know if you saw the old one in fairness. Hello, Whaley Wolves. A glitch in the game where there are no managerial vacancies or managers at risk of losing their jobs in job security. That is, there's a lot of issues, Whaley Wolves, with, um, I found in Journeyman saves and the mechanics are involved in it. I've never seen that, though. The two things I am aware of as far as issues is one that Kev got into last year, as in United City Kev, where he, because he'd never ticked play for set pieces, no club would ever offer him a job, which is incredibly stupid. And the one that we ran into when we were never able to get a job offer because a random club in Togo were every day appointing and reappointing a player manager called Wagbay. And it wasn't until, and this happened for months, it wasn't until we went in, put ourselves in charge with the second manager, and it stopped the cycle that we were able to get job offers again. FM has some of the strangest glitches I've ever seen, but unfortunately, no, I've never experienced that one. Um, you had that play manager bug as well. Well, at least it's not just me then. Because that was, I mean, admittedly, turned into one of the funniest streams I've ever had. But the, cele the most I've ever celebrated, I think, might well be winning Champions Leagues and when we finally got a job offer in that save. How do we work that out? genuinely the only re we we tried everything basically uh we'd applied for like because at this point this was an african adventure we were already at a stage where we could get some pretty good jobs but then we started applying for jobs like in the the second division of like namibia just to see if we could get anything offered and nothing happened and then someone in chat pointed out that we used to get a news article every single day because obviously i like, having managed in these leagues and it would just say been at a point wag bay every day and someone's just like why does that keep coming up so we just as an absolute 
last ditch resort basically added a second manager took over at binner and obviously it broke the cycle and then literally three days later we got the job offer after being literally unemployed for a year it's crazy it's managed the game only managed back from india oh really that's wild that's true if i'd have played as manchester city none of this would have happened but look at some of these league results ignoring the becky one um nine one five nil four nil five two seven nil seven nil eight nil it's this is not the level this is a level of goal scoring that we've never had in this save before um i wouldn't be surprised if we get someone get close to 50 goals because once we're out of europe as well um also ryan raiden has got already 10 goals in 12 games and he's playing as a wing back it's what he's the top scorer for our under 23s it's insane hello daz how are you feeling today my friend it's like you said a beacon it's it's uh, the favorite fan of the african saves it's mr dazza uh yeah you're definitely not doing that or that i just like getting more goals you know oh right but yeah sorry did we answer the question about the tactic but based um dmc12 i wasn't sure but yeah basically i switched the tactic up massively um to potential not really that's the weirdest thing it was him and roy banging in goals to the under 23s but now roy's become first team eligible yeah sleeping not drinking it's weird that isn't it sleeping and not drinking does a beautiful job of making you feel better crazy <laughs> i must admit over bank holiday weekend i day drinking because you're like oh let's meet for the pub for lunch so i went out to the pub for lunch on saturday i wasn't driving so had myself a few pints of manhattan project which was rather nice beer then we were meeting up with a different group of friends but still sort of part of the same group because they had kids or kid and you know it's difficult to work around that on the monday and again i wasn't driving so i was like well i'll just have another couple of pints but then in the afternoon you're just like oh <laughs> definitely didn't order a takeaway both nights i day drinking hey you can't you were doing it too mikey damn it sort of right hello dan how's it going man what did you think of the nottingham forest performance uh, two and 11 master good stuff Eugenia. i moved some of the guys that were maybe not getting some football in the under 23s back down a level as well try and bump us up a little bit there because we were actually starting to struggle in the under 19s league because that's really important you know misfortune of being there you poor poor man it was great yeah i just i find day drinking just makes me really really tired in the evening pretty much oh god fullest performance the other night. it is the worst i've seen us play under marco silver i just i can't believe i actually decided to watch that game I was like, oh, Paul, can I watch the Fulham game? Because I think, hey, we play shit against Sheffield United. Surely it can't go worse than that. And then it just did. Uh, Brando's in the form of his life. He's not, though, is he? Let's see if I can do that. Oh, okay, nice. We need three subs now. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, fair play for him for doing that, I suppose. I feel like Iwobi was maybe harshly taken off. I don't think he was that bad. Um, William was really good. Well, better when he came on. But I feel like Iwobi maybe got a bit short shrift there. I thought Wilson was dreadful. Um, and Sasha Lukic was appalling as well. But yeah i thought so as well move it will into the center put william in on the left before half time 32 minutes in three subs absolutely unhinged behavior love it morgan gives white was absolutely unbelievable in that game fair play um like it's the kind of performance that i think forest have needed for a while it's just a shame it happened to happen against us we go and beat spurs and absolutely batter them and then the next two games we can see six goals to sheffield united and nottingham forest gg fulham we are the most erratic team in the world yeah pog was updating me on the villa game last night um when i saw them get the equalizer i thought okay here we go and then just city this is why every time someone asks me like who do i think is going to win the premier league we know it's going to be city because they just they jet they spawn in with like five games to go and then win eight of them it's just how it goes <laughs> they're like that boss that you don't expect it's like when you're playing slay the spire and you forget that there's a second boss at the end of act three <laughs> keeps in trouble yeah that's exactly that's what it was pure shit housery i know um to be fair i think arsenal were unlucky to uh, to get the draw as in unlucky to draw against us in the first game particularly after we had the red card but i think we were a lot better in the second game against you guys at the cottage that's one of the best i've seen us play um i was listening to that game on the radio on the way to um new a new year's eve party and pog will tell you i was jumping all over the car practically <laughs> mood oh god <laughs> in it we've been very good at the cottage this year against pretty much everybody except for brentford ironically um we just can't do shit away from home only sheffield united have a worse away record than fulham this year it's mad sol fc i think these are still i oh, don't know these might oh no this is the last one i think of mr jobless's reports i believe yep 
Well, it's still... Hey, Cameroon lost. That might help us. Ah, so Quasi wasn't originally in the squad and then he got called up at the last... <clears throat> he's happy with his playing time because he's playing for the national team. Love that. FM giveth, FM taketh away, apparently. Uh, that's a serious play. Um, I think I was actually thrown at the Spurs game, but you know what I mean. As in, it's like the best... I watched the highlights, damn it! It's the best I've heard us play. Just sounds really dumb, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jay Stansfield, I'm I'm really happy. Uh, I think there's very little chance that Birmingham signs Stansfield. Like we, I hope have good plans for him. Uh, although with the way that we've been releasing young talent like that to, to clubs further down the league, I'm a little bit worried that you might actually be able to sign him. Like giving um, is it Ollie O'Neill to Leighton Orient? Like oh oh no, I saw him doy and I got worried. Then I mean he's still a broken ankle, so rip you, but not the player we care about. <laughs> How's Afcon going? Good question. Best I've smelt us play. Oh, 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 yes. The musk coming off the Thames. Uh, Africa. Nations. So, oh, it's only really early on at the moment. Any random qualifiers? Oh, Iswatini? Oh, well, um, Lisa would be pleased whenever his dad scored. Yeah. Play from right to left. I love listening to radio commentary of football. It's just better. Like, I'd much rather... I wish they would just give you a really easy option to have radio commentary switched on. I know for a while you could actually do that. I listened to the Liverpool Man United FA Cup game on the radio on my headphones on a walk a couple of weeks ago, and it was blissful. Like, exciting to listen to, just in the middle of, like, the field, just walking in the beautiful sunshine, just listening to that. It was amazing vibes. But yeah, East Watini at AFCON, big up them. They don't look like they're going to do super well, but fair play for them for being there. Hello, self Herring. Oh, what is it? Indeed. Um, you've missed some stuff because Roy is here and he's massive. CBBC commentary in the World Cup. Wait, there was what? Benin, mate. Let's say we find out where they've expanded the whole thing again or something. Oh, what? Oh, that's Braga. Hang on, Nathan Wood. All right, Natey boy. His Canadianness has coloured me intrigued. I mean, he's expensive as all hell, and we really can't be affording players like that right now, but still. Hello, Winkator. Oh, sorry, Winkinator. All of those is quite fun. Really? What's the way I reckon this? Really? Okay, I must be... To be fair, it's probably just me getting bad stats from the ramble as always. <laughs> They're at their worst when they actually talk about football. <laughs> well, funny, in a cool place. And listen to yeah, it's just... It does just genuinely make it better, though. I, I just... I enjoy it. It's. I think it's just because radio commentators have to be more descriptive and provide more colour, I suppose, to their commentary because you have to... Wow, again, with Fleming through the middle. <laughs> I'm loving this. Obviously, I'll have to be rotated for the next game. But... N Roy got... Yes, uh, of course I can. Here's my boy. My boy, Roy. Ah. Uh. Join playing for us. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Um, I think that... I don't think Fulham would want to get rid of Jay Stansfield because they do rate him very highly, but I can see him doing another year on loan, probably at the same club. I, I could definitely see Brum getting him back for another year, potentially. It's a shame he's now declared for England, but yeah. He's just very... The one thing he lacks is a little bit of pace, but, you know, in time. Yeah, so the progression curve is because of him being on loan the entire time. So the game kind of glitches out when that happens. Player instructions, I do. Um, but I'd be careful with copying it exactly because a lot of it is based around specific players and the way that I want him to be... Drop PA. Yeah, but it kind of fluctuates. So I wouldn't be surprised if that randomly goes back up again. It seems to sort of change. Best use prospect at the moment. Well, yeah, I mean, I feel like Luke Harris is highly rated. Jay Stansfield, obviously. Um... Also, Luke Defugerols. I think he might have a higher ceiling than people think, but he maybe doesn't get the sort of flashiness because he's a centre back. But yeah, the it certainly rambles definitely a lot better than it used to be. Oh, sorry, not used to be. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's better than it has been lately. I must say, um, because I really like the group of people they have in it now. Um, so the only thing I'm, I miss is Jules Breach because she, I really, really liked her on the ramble. Roy has declared for England, yes, uh, which is a shame. Muniz. Nah, I think Muniz is too old to be considered a youth prospect, but he's fucking amazing. Uh, Fafana's eminently losable. Yeah, we were actually trying to sell him in the summer, but unfortunately, uh, the bid didn't come in at the right time. 
darn cliche. Particularly, I don't know if any of you guys watched the Arsenal Luton game last night. I only watched the highlights, but I must admit, the commentary on it was flat and boring as hell. It's like when the goals went in and the chances, it was like, and now there's been a goal, now there's been a chance. It was like so dead, and I don't know why. Because it was the same voices I'm used to hearing. It just it sounded really dead. Yeah, I do really lo I like Lars Shivertson. Muniz's, I love how Muniz has gone from being an absolute disaster, see Borough fans, for example, um, to what he is now, which is just a player. He's got a, he's going full streets, won't forget. Now that he scored that overhead kick, or sorry, the bicycle kick, he's he's already getting streets, don't, won't forget status. I can feel it. Five years time. Remember Rodrigo Muniz? Well, I think Roy ends up to claim for Malta in the end. That's my prediction with him. Also, Dinko Kristic into the team. Love to see it. This is shows you the level, the depths we're having to plumb here <laughs> to get this team ready for this game. Was it Ian Dark? Yeah, it, it wasn't good, was it? <laughs> right. Oh. Shit. I hope to God that that cup at the start <laughs> counts. Please. Now, I don't know if this even counts as be competitive. Okay, good, it does. We've passed the objective of the board. They didn't expect us to win it this year, so we're actually okay. But that does mean Hammer and a better get their act together. I'm hoping that the um us winning that trophy earlier this season isn't gonna annoy the players. How about we get another draw? That's uh, a little bit concerning. <sighs> to be fair, that was a fairly weakened side. Uh we're okay at the moment. Can you have a third nationality? Uh, technically, as far as I'm aware, yes. But I, it doesn't show up on their profile in the same way. I believe it only shows up in their like information page, if I recall correctly. Okay, no one's complained yet. So that's okay. Yeah, I'm, we've just got to make sure that... Actually, it's, it's less of an issue now because Hammerin are going to be guaranteed Champions League. So provided someone half decent wins the cup, so long, if Goodyear, Bikikara, Zabar, Hibernians, or even Balsan, frankly, one of these sides wins the cup, we'll probably be okay. The weird thing is, HP, we actually looked at Promises last stream, and it wasn't there at all. So I don't know what happened with that. It, basically, I, I have no idea what's happened there. Generated. And the only one who I would say is really good that's come through at any multi-side is our boy Matthew Said. NASCAR for the cup. We'll get get them in there. They win the cup series. Oh, he's got down to three star CA now. But if you look at his actual attributes, he's a good player. Wait, did the band get overturned? No way. So yeah, next year we get the, the year that we're doing right now, we get Champions League, Champions League, Europa League, and then two in the uh conference league. Yes, we've played uh, a game against Leon today and some games that are not actually watched games. Like we beat Sleem at 8 0, for example. Oh my god, you're right. Brody? No, you. That's it. That's what it is, Brody. No, Brody's humble. It was because Tony Sunday was the one we made the promise to. That's why it's gone away. <laughs> no, you're a hundred percent right. I hadn't considered that. <laughs> that's amazing. It's like the board knew. They're like, you're not going to win the cup next year, are you, bro? We best sell him just in case. That is one hundred percent what it is. It's because he got sold. He was the one that the promise was on, even though he was representing other players. Can we check it on um, players that aren't here anymore? They <laughs> got an email about it. I don't know if you can see it on players that are no longer at the club. No, I don't think you can. I think it only counts for players that are currently at the club. That is, That has to be what it is, though. Because it was definitely Tony that kicked up a fuss. Tony guy has been very good. Uh, he scored more than I was expecting, for a start. What I was looking for, I was looking for the history of promises with Tony Sunday. To see if we could, um... Or maybe it's on my profile. Nah. Where is promise history? I just want to see if I can find it on another player to make sure it is still actually there. Like, where actually is it? Because <laughs> there's definitely... Check dynamics on happy players. 
Yeah, I've definitely seen it. There's like an interaction history screen, isn't there? I'm almost certain of it. Overview happiness. Ah, there, there used to be a, an actual screen directly that would show you your previous interactions with players. I swear there was. Maybe it's not in the game anymore. It might genuinely have been taken out because no one used it and they just didn't mention it. Because I definitely remember seeing it in the past. Not on purpose or anything. I thought it was a broken head. Home promises. No, no, no. Look, but, yeah, but home promises just shows you current promises. It doesn't show you the promise. It doesn't show you like previous promises, does it? I mean, it does, but only for a certain amount of time. And I think it's only for players that are at the club. Because if that was the case, it would show like hundreds of them. My history? Oh, it might be the fact that it was... <laughs> I think it was in there somewhere. But I don't think it's actually in the game anymore. Which, I mean, to be fair, I'm not overly bothered by. But yeah, I think it was in play... It was like History of Interactions or something that you could access, wasn't it? That must be where it was. Right, so we rest for Hamrun. Then we kind of need to go to France and win, just to be safe. Well, I'm getting sneezy here. What's Bloody hell. What's going on? It does seem a bit sneezy today. Coach Dave with the four... Wait, is that tier three? Holy... I said this every time, don't I? Thank you for the amazing content from Watcher. Thank you for making life that much more enjoyable. Well, thank you for making my life enjoyable by being here. So seriously, thank you for the tier three. That's wild. Thank you, friend. Hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Uh, oh, go on, Aspire for once, generate a natural... They never do. They are such a disappointing club to actually have. Chris, we're doing okay. We got um, Roy Fleming scored in the Champions League. Conversation history. That was it. Conversation history. Raiden's got another 9.1. I hope we get a loan for him. Because he feels like one of those guys that's just a match engine boffin. Right. So that feature being added removed, but given the data had to store... Yeah, true, actually. It's still going to be stuff that has to be cashed. I'm allergic to winning domestic cups. It... <laughs> War a preview. Gibraltar Gems, sadly not. Um, actually, wait. I swear there was one player that was kind of not horrendous. No, I think I've lied. <laughs> I remember seeing a guy with Gibraltar's national... Oh, hang on. No, that's Lincoln Red Imps, isn't it? Not Lincoln City. Holy shitting hell! Wait. Hang on, was that a, a gifted sub and then 10 gifted subs? Or did it just randomly split up for some reason? Either way, thank you for the 11 gifted subs, turd you. That's wild. Thank you so much, man. Right Holy Christ. And go Gadget, thank you for the follow. What the earth? Oh, I feel like I want to sneeze again. Oh. They do make a good point. Yeah, if only they could do the opposite as well sometimes. Yeah, it was like one in the 10. Thank you so much, turd. That's insanely kind of you, friend. Um, wow. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm extremely grateful. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Uh, everyone that did just get a gifted sub. Do be sure to thank Terja. How are you, man? Uh, Midiama. The legend to good deeds in it. Um, so there's Medima. Or Midiama. Isn't this the team that Cyrene's got loads of players from in real life? I'm good, Go Gadget. How are you, my friend? How is your Thursday going? Thank you, friend. Thank you for joining us. So I don't think we're ever going to get another youth intake again. That's good. In fact, I might as well just start that sentence. I don't think we're ever going to get another youth intake again. I think these are the guys that Cyrene's got the players from in real life, aren't they? Oh, I love the badge. And the kits, to be fair. We'll whack them in there, because why not, right? Mm, they're unlikely to probably do a great deal because of that, but still. Crack on, go gadget. No need to ask to ask questions. Happy to answer. Well, depends what they are. If you want to know my bra size, I can tell you. Big. Um, is great. What was their nickname? Did I miss it? Yeah, let me try again. Don't know why I'm typing so strangely here. What is their nickname? The color, the proudly colorful pride of the West. Oh, I love it. It sounds like that's amazing. Janos Shinte. Oh, Janos was quite late. We didn't actually get that much time with Janos in the. Oh, here's another team that randomly disappoint us. Yep. I think this might be the last of the reports from Mr. Jobless. Let me quickly check. Ooh. Oh, a guy, Belgrano, goalkeeper. Already expensive, but worth a look. Right, let me just check team reports. So, Shargo. Algy Dean. Wow, he's not doing much, is he? Scott Donnelly's on loads. 
God, Scott's got a lot of work. Uh, Falashi, Lamine Fall, French Gaji, Laid. Yep, some from Mazzilli, Mpenza, Sadiek, Sokolov, Thomas, Vashich, Vranjez. Nice! Right. Here we go. That's okay. FM Touch. Oh, okay. Laptop, of course. I don't want to break the bank for this laptop. Um, so, far be it from me to give you financial advice because I simply do not know anything about that sort of stuff and I feel like I'm not in the position to... It is time for Scout for a Scout Vaughn. Yes, exactly. Let me just get that menu up so I don't forget to do it. Um, I don't know anything about the financing side of things. Um, so, I would just say, always, as always with these things, please be careful. FM will run on a surprisingly low level of laptop for the most part, but it's a question of speed, right? So... The worse the hardware, the slower it's going to run, um, to a point anyway. And unfortunately, with FM, I say unfortunately, with FM moving to a new graphics engine for FM25, you might find that the specifications have gone up a little bit. So it honestly might be better holding off until FM25 comes out, seeing what the specifications are going to be like for that game with the move to Unity, and then maybe making a decision on new hardware before spending now and not being able to play on it. Yeah, FM will work on a potato, but my concern is that next year you might need a sweet potato or like potato wedges which requires a bit more effort right you've got to cut them up put some oil on them it's maybe even de-skin them not that you would de-skin potato wedges what am i an animal but yeah chunky fries how <laughs> not this discussion again mikey <laughs> we were discussing this at the pub on saturday about where the transition between a chunky fry that's massive and it's just basically a giant side of potato and a potato wedge comes in like where do they transition over for me it's the shape of the wedge because it's got the curved back rather than in a chip shape rectangular that's my point personally that's where i draw the line <laughs> if that's a discussion worth having which it always is side on triangle yeah no skin wedges now you see because you can get chunky fries with skin on too and i actually prefer them in many ways the ones we had at the pub the other day were really nice A jacket potato. Yeah, but it's got toppings as well, Bab. That's the thing. That's where Unity comes in. Unity is the toppings on the jacket potato. Drunk we're talking about. It. Of course I was. I was at the pub. No, I, I was going to say I only had three beers, but I was genuinely, like, embarrassingly not with it after only having three pints. I got back and watched the Fulham Sheffield United game, and I was, like, struggling to focus on the screen, which just shows you how much of a lightweight I am, right? Oh. Looks at SI Blue 2D. Oh, don't say that. We don't do 2D anymore. Skill of Fries are great, yeah. More of a block shape, which is right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The arch missing part is... Yeah. It's... To me, it's that, like, sort of rounded back and the sort of... um Ah, wait, no. Here's what it is. Chunky fries are going to essentially have four corners, right? No, six, technically, right? Whereas a potato wedge is only going to have, like, essentially, if it's proper, only three sides, technically. Eight. Yes, no, you're right. No, it'd be six, would it not? Top, bottom, left, right, each end. Would that not be six? Four at each end? Yeah, I was talking about sides, not corners. Just to clarify. <laughs> I imagine joining now and we're dissecting how many sides a chunky chip <laughs> Did I say corner? Oh, I see you. Fair enough. Yep. Take it back. That's completely on me. I meant to say um, <laughs> sides. But you heard me and you've replied and you're correct. Uh, potential croquettes. I actually don't know what even that is. I'll straight your cup of chips. Also very important. <laughs> Welcome in, Morbid. Thoughts on chips. The vertice or vertex or fact. Well, good question. Um, Still less corners than us in the second half against Forest. Damn right. And even if we'd had them. Oh, I suppose we did score one, didn't we? I'm wrong. What? Describe it to me. I'm too, like, Luddite to know what that is. Badly cut, cut. It's true. That's where the transition point is. Basically. It's... Roast... Hmm. Duffin Now you're getting far too fancy for my taste, Branched. I... I'm far too... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Potato croquettes. Let's have a look. Okay. So I'm guessing there's an element of fry here going on. They do look very tasty, in fairness. How many sides have they got, though, chat? That's my real question. <laughs> Imagine this is the stream thumbnail now, just me doing this. <laughs> Why can I not point the right way? Cheese in the middle. Oh, now you've sold me. 
<laughs> Should we get a scalp? How many corners? <laughs> Slap chips. I love that. Oh, dear. Called tater tots. Oh, because those look way nicer than whenever I've actually seen tater tots. Rust uh, just adding rustic to anything just makes it sound nicer to, to eat. Even like a rustic cottage sounds nicer to eat than a normal cottage. <laughs> Maybe wake up, Matt's discussing potatoes. <laughs> you don't realise this, but this is what peak content looks like. Um, right. That's a goalkeeping coach. Matt probably don't need that right now. Scout. Actually, should we do a bit of map men first? Let me know she's Ah, I see, there you go. This is like I'm learning. Uh that's the wrong one. I want scouting. Wait, wait. Uh, where is the no where is it is it in scouting coverage here we go so where are we missing just need colombia well actually south america and north america is looking pretty tasty as it goes i feel like we need a bit of asia honestly i like japan or south korea oh, no we've got south korea no we don't japan and south korea and australia if we could get one that knows those guys for a start that'd be nice also maybe east africa but then i feel like south korea and japan are probably slightly more important potentially um tired but actually streamer <laughs> losing wire potato streamer jokes <laughs> iran yeah but i just feel like japan and south korea are usually quite hotbeds of talent if you can find usually you'll get a guy with both as well we'll lose some colombia but we already signed another colombia scout so it's not the end of the world change from regions to countries oh good point yep I still think we need South Korea and Japan. We could have another go, though. But we do have a little bit of... I wish you could just click and, like, immediately know where these places are. Like, I, my geography knowledge is decent, but it's not that decent to immediately be able to tell. Coverage is more important than high attributes. Uh, yes, but you still kind of want a bit of both. Like, I don't want to get a guy that's, like, one and two. Mm. Peru and Bolivia. Yeah, Peru would be kind of useful. But, like, how often are we actually finding amazing talents from Peru and Bolivia in this save at the moment? I still feel like South Korea and Japan is probably more important. Particularly if we can get a guy with South Korea and Japan and maybe something else. No Scotland knowledge yet. We don't acknowledge Scotland here. It's They got their independence from my save. Padilla is proving... You're right, he probably is, isn't he? But what are the chances of us finding another one? <laughs> uh, let's see what's actually available, I suppose. Bolivia has one. Yeah, true. Let's see. Scouts... Let me see what's... I'll tell you what we do. We just look at both and see which one's got the best actual scouts. Uh, so, South Korea is at least good. Right, what are we saying? That's goalkeeping coach. Uh, scoot. Okay, so there's, there's an 11-11 guy here who's got Japan knowledge and Brazil and South Korea and Australia. He actually ticks all three of those boxes, which would be quite nice. The fact that he gets all three, I like. Just make sure I've actually got space. Yeah, we, we will have space. My filter. Uh, exclamation mark staff, I think, Marcus, is what will get you all these um view filter things. Hello, Groove Gamer. Drink of a world knowledge if we get a scout for each region. <sighs> yeah, I mean... The problem is if you get a scout for each region, they need to have knowledge of every nation in that region. Otherwise, you are going to miss out. I like the idea of him. Let's just quickly have a look for Bolivia and see if we can get one that hits Bolivia and South America. Sorry, Bolivia and Peru at the same time. Oh, they are much worse. Now, he does have both, but he's a worse scout. And he also doesn't have Peru. Nine teams in Europe. Holy God, that's amazing. Just that one poor team that gets relegated and everyone else. Does that mean a team gets into Europe whilst getting relegated or is it only one relegation spot? I still think the South Korea guy is what we need right now. I think he hits, he ticks the most boxes and he's a better scout if he'd actually talk to us. Like getting Japan, South Korea and Brazil in one guy. Japan for better scouts. Maybe, but that means they won't have career knowledge and I want them to have both. Like we might get some different scouts here. We actually don't. It's the same guy. One automatic one. Oh, right. That's kind of cool actually. Yeah, I think we go for Leo Serra or Sierra. Particularly as he's cheap. Oh, why am I giving him more money? <laughs> I think he's the one just to help us with the base knowledge more than anything else. I think that's what we need. What we need is a few more scouts, honestly, but we're probably not going to get that for a while, and the board will never let me uh, do anything like that. Speaking of, actually, 
Um, the board are now planning another stadium expansion. Yet again, it's in the uh, club objective thing. Honestly, Jim, um, us getting knocked out of the cup hilariously by Tarsheen is probably the biggest thing. Then a big discussion about um, when potato wedges or when chunky chips become potato wedges. Like far too much in depth, honestly. It was like a proper educated discussion, don't you know, QED and whatnot. Uh, right. Okay. I'm going to... So that's the squad for the next game, which means they can't start here, which means Roy has to start again <laughs> with probably Sifo Malaika through the middle. Expansion pass. Yeah, it'll once again go up on that one, it would seem. <laughs> Don't forget how many sides to corner Sam. <laughs> educated. Yeah, damn, damn right it was educated. How dare you? <laughs> uh, so Archie Brown will start. That's actually... Oh, so they actually got relegated, JCM. That's even funnier. Uh, Nagai won't start. No, this team will probably lose to Hammering, but there's very little we can do about it, truthfully. Uh, Oroweyla can come in. Brandau's fine. Diaz can't start. We need him for the next game. We'll play Ortiz there. Mash potato. Ooh. Good question. Uh, Vega at Libero. We'll put Rob Hilton in. This is one purpose. Del Castillo is fine. Oh, he's already in the team. Right. Uh, you've already played. It's going to have to be a Bastelem, the guy that I'm unable to loan out. Krastev is fine because... Vitazini will be back for the next game. High size for Slong Corner. Well, none anymore. Although we do play them, I suppose. Now, anyway. Right. Hmm. Quality report they get. Um, so... Bear in mind, the quality doesn't affect the report... Well, sorry. The quality of the scout in terms of, like, their PA... Judging PA and CA does seem to make an effect. We've I've actually tested this. But what it does do by having them with the bigger knowledge like this is it means that when we're looking at players, like, through normal scouting, you get more knowledge like a greater quantity of information about the players, basically. That's why I really like having a, a more broad knowledge in general. So it means that, say, we then look at South Amer South Korean players, we'll have more of the gaps already filled in with without having to do an initial report. Jelay, oh yeah, shit, Jelay. It's a great shout. I keep forgetting to do that. Finish ninth on the conference. League. That's amazing, though. Right, we lose this game. There's just no way we don't lose this game. Although. We'll see. We just need to have... We need to have a team that we're capable of putting out against uh, Stad Rene. And I think it's unlikely anyone's going to get knocked out of AFCON immediately. Oh, I think we would lose this game. Hammer and a good, right? Um, yeah, not surprising at all. We still actually played okay and Kurt got sent off. Archie Brown scores again. He's scored a lot of goals this season considering he's a left wing back. Luckily... Oh, I was going to say luckily... Uh, we're, we're, we're no longer winning the league, chat. <laughs> Somehow, Hammer have actually gone back on top of us again. <laughs> We've got a plus 44 goal difference. <laughs> and we're second. <laughs> oh, dear. Most players in the under-19s. Uh, what do you mean? As in, Bolivian improving Peruvian national teams and then picking teams who have the most players. Picking them for what? If you move for team reports, that's what I've already done. That's how I actually got the initial set of reports done. Um, that's actually a few good results in a row that have gone against us, but we're going to celebrate with the Harold Bishop Ultra, so it's fine. A five, and a four, and a three, and a two, and a one, and Harold, we can celebrate a defeat. What you did. I got through Harold and I'm in the house where the coffee's green and the food is grouse. With sandwiches and lasagna too. Ice cream sundae for me and you. I got through Harold and I'm in the house where the coffee's green and the food is grouse. With sandwiches and lasagna too. Ice cream sundae for me and you. I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, ah, goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. Not going to lie, our form is a little disappointing here. We've actually only won one of our last five games. That was an 8 nil victory, which is definitely going to help. And luckily, I think our dynamics are still... It's dropped a little bit, but it's actually still very high, which is the most important thing. Uh, we have 157 players at the club, including 60 in the first team who are considered happy. <laughs> Good to see. Oh, well, it's fine. It'll be fine, provided we get the result against Stan Rene, because that makes it totally worth it. Prioritising staff knowledge on... on the check under 19 idea. Um, I'm not sure what I don't genuinely don't understand what you mean. Prioritizing staff knowledge on No, I I'm I'm going to need a longer explanation. Sorry, my brain is not braining today unfortunately. Oh, he's That's actually kind of good. I guess the one that one best thing about this is that with the rotation that we're forced to do here, it's a lot of players are suddenly getting happy because of it. Do you think Oh, it fully is. 
FM on PC is at a totally different level. Interactions are still very silly. You will have a lot of players complaining and then you won't have a, like an obvious way out. Staff your under-19s with that knowledge. So, you mean like... Hang on, let me see if I'm understanding this correctly. Um, wait, how do I see that? Is it in Dev Center? So you mean... Yeah, the problem is you can't really get recruitment staff in there as well. 60 happy men. <laughs> yeah, the I mean, to be fair, sometimes I wish the dynamics were scaled back on the main version. National teams for the most players, and I think he's talking about which... No, I prioritise. I suppose... But... It could get cut. But, yeah, I mean, we could do that with other bits, though. We could do that with, like, a recruitment analyst if we really want to. Uh, which we probably should do at some point. I'm just not super asked about doing it a as we speak. I feel like it's sort of... It's a marginal gain that probably isn't going to get us too much. Um, wow, that's not amazing. But yeah, I have already gone through all the national teams and prioritized team reports using the teams in those national teams, if that's what you mean. Uh, that's how I set them up initially. And then I've been adding loads more since then using the... Um... Wow. Okay. Fair play. Ivory Coast doing a bit poor. They're still going to qualify, which is annoying. Um, how are Iswatini getting it? It's not going well. God, look at this group as well. Look at the flags in Group F. It's just all the same color schemes. Love it. It's just they've taken the same three colors and just moved them around on each flag. I love that. More of that required, please. Yeah, we're nearly up to 500 team reports now. I'd like to get it to close to 700 if I can. That for me would be the perfect amount. Well, not the perfect amount. The perfect starting amount, because then that means basically every two years. Scouts knowledge by sending to other countries. You can, but it's, for me, pointless because they lose the knowledge so damn quickly. And in order to send them to other countries, you basically have to give them a manual scout a manual scout assignment, which never produces any players and waste all their time. It's, uh, that's the Wow, that's the second major injury we've had. Maltese national team, it's struggled lately. Wow, a lot of serious injuries there. Um, they are, actually, they've weirdly get, wait, that means they must have won a game. Oh no. So they did lose 8-1 to Italy. But they have they had quite a tough um qualifying group here. Got draws against North Macedonia and Turkey. They got a draw off Turkey though, which is not bad. It was a very tough group, in fairness. And now they're in um Oh that's, that's the same thing. It, it's a toughie for them. Like taking that point there again is good. They are slowly moving up the rankings, but it's gonna be a while, really, before we see any true progress. Uh La Equidad. At least we can finally trust these reports again for the time being. Miga Herrera. Okay. Uh John Guerrero is a free agent, yes. Um <laughs> now I'm right actually. Uh he's at Benfica. He's like 30 as well, so we can't really afford him. Wage is massively high. Um doing team scouting. Did he really? Interesting. Interesting, actually. Because we had a comment on the VOD about thing uh, players like Jean Maguerre. He basically he refuses to sign for us again. Uh, so there's not really a lot we can do about him being a free agent, sadly. I can't trial him, I can't sign him. A lot of these players that have been with us for a while and then get released tend to not want to come back basically a uh, hungarian national team didn't actually get that good just because it was already not too bad logo packs cover um i think you might have accidentally pressed enter so i'm going to guess as to what the rest of the sentence was going to be uh, but no logo packs don't come with the game or anything like that they have to be downloaded separately uh because obviously the licensing agreements don't allow that cover the leagues well originally um generally i use tcm logos which as far as i'm aware covers pretty much every league possible and it used to have the most amount of badges it might not be true anymore but that's the one i use currently so yeah generally speaking the only things that tend to come as like individual leagues i've noticed is kit packs it was used to be a pain in the ass to get like a massive kit pack and i guess it's because would you really want every kit for every club when you're not going to be managing in those leagues i guess jack the hobo with bells of holly follow la 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 thank you very much for the brand new tier one that's so kind of you friend sorry jcm i wasn't quite sure and um yeah wait hang on that's super weird. It's like, it says subscribe to tier one and then it says subscribe to tier one for eight months. How really weird. I was going to say, Twitch, are you okay? But thank you nevertheless, Jack. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Do you know, I've heard he's good, that lad. What a guy. Uh, what I want to do, actually, what I was going to do is check to see who's doing the most team reports and then see if they've got any new scouting knowledge that would make sense from doing team reports. Scott Donnelly, presumably, is one, right? He's done a load. So, given the nations he's doing this in, you'd expect to see maybe some South African knowledge? I feel like if he was going to get any new knowledge, it would show right down at the bottom, like, and I don't think he has gained any, but maybe that's if he was doing, like, the same nation repeatedly, maybe? 
No, no worries, JCM. Never be afraid to ask questions. There's a lot of sort of add-ons you sort of need to get uh, with FM when you get on, but anything you need to get. I would advise you to get just for the sort of more immersive experience, I suppose. Uh, so Albert Donu is at Milan. Is he finally playing? Yeah, it's starting to get some more game time again now, finally. Although it's still mostly off the bench. That, that's the problem. But looks like no longer wanted by Saudi, Thomas. So I, I knew you'd hate that. So that's why I mentioned it in the video. Real name fix is good too. I always just go for the default. So face pack, logo pack, badge pack. Same thing, Matt. Um, kit packs for certain leagues if I'm managing there. Latvian clubs in Europe. Um, Riga, I believe, were... No, RFS. I think they got dumped out by Hamron as it goes. Now, Latvia almost... Actually, RFS did get to... That is Latvia, right? Did get to the group stage of the Conference League last year because Hamron beat them 6-0 in the group stage. <laughs> so there is that. But they rarely go much further than that. Mikey Moore. And he's at Tottenham. Wait, he's always at Tottenham. In fact, he's actually playing for Tottenham now. I believe we played against Mikey Moore in the Europa League at one point in this save, back when Spurs were playing like their third string against us. Yeah, the German national team thing. Well, that, I believe, comes with the name fixes, most of them. I always use the FM Scout one. That usually comes with the thing that fixes the German national team stuff. And the Jap... Oh, no, the Japanese one doesn't matter anymore, does it? Because that's now been fixed because of the license agreement. But it was... I think there was an issue with Korea. Ah, unfortunately, no Cameron Congreve. I'm not sure what league he plays in. For the real Netflix. Yeah, that's the one I use anyway. Start more games, bruv. I'll, I'll do the thing I always do. Um, promise him I'll play him more, then do play him more, pretty much. Plays for Swansea. Oh, he may have retired. Yeah, I feel like a Swansea player would have been in the save to start with at least. Oh, wait, are they really that heavy favourites? It's so weird that. I feel like we were much heavier. We were like 42% favourites to beat Leon, and they're a much better side than Stan Rene. I feel like FM really is now starting to show its hand with the whole home and away advantage thing that it gives you. <laughs> Kane, full of love. If you... No, I don't think he's here yet. Could potentially come through this year, though. Concert of rotation. Yeah, it'd be nice if they could, wouldn't it? Even though when they're on a lower... What the fuck? Oh, hang on. Wait, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Cost to get rid of? Free. Mr. Jobless has finally gone. Oh, right. There he is. Leo Sierra's in, and our scouting knowledge has just got that little bit better, which we love to see. Anything random here? Now we're good. <laughs> Rip Bozo. Hello, Bagpus. Yeah, I don't know what was that. The weird thing about it as well is that there was a period in the second half where it looked like Forrest were about to bottle it massively, uh, where we actually were kind of good for a little bit and then decided not to be. Hello, what on earth is Leon doing? Bayern failed to win again. Leon just beat Leverkusen 6-0. Are Leon just, like, better than we thought they are? Because they've got a good goal difference, too. Mostly because of that, I would say. But still, we're clinging in here. And a win would... Well, a win would qualify us, wouldn't it? Porto beat Liverpool, which is good news. Although, is it? Because that just means more teams for us to potentially get knocked out by here rather than there, I suppose. Uh, Kevin... Kevin, apparently. Uh, Zeroli. Oh, there he is. A Hellas Foronas. It's only 30. Wow, he must be really young at the start of the save. So he was at Milan, didn't play at all, and finally, immediately, to be fair, once he got that free transfer, he's gone. Like, he's just gone for it. It's a fair play to him. Didn't even, like, get drip. Oh, no, he did. That was 30 substitute appearances. Then 31. <laughs> he made 61 appearances in two seasons, none of which were from the start. That's actually insane. That's like prime career resurrection territory, that is. Then he managed to up it to four starts. Then, ah, then immediately 27. And the moment they started actually playing him, they got the rewards. Like, 11 assists in Serie B, admittedly. Oh, he's great in Serie B. Can't quite cut it in Serie A, though, it seems. But then again, seven assists that year isn't bad. But there he is. Right. Time to see if we can actually do a job here. Uh, I feel like I really looked at that. Was that their youth team, perhaps? Nah, it's not quite there. Any fun names while we're in it? Nah. Some teams have already got that. Oh, okay. Apparently, we've had to pay them for that. Fair play. Okay, any random stuff there? Where are Bayern Munich? Are they still struggling? Yeah, they've still only won one of their first six games in the Champions League. They are genuine. What they'll do is they'll win their last game. And they'll sneak in and like, what's going to happen, chat? I'm telling you this. Bayern Munich win their last game. Which, wait, is that against us? No. They win their last game. They lose to us. Win their last game. And then draw us in the next round. 
That's where I see this going. Although, actually, that win, if we were to get it, might end up potentially pushing us into the top eight. So maybe not. Bayern are so bad in this save. It's actually crazy. Like, they came fourth in the Bundesliga at one point. Or was it fifth? And didn't even get into the Champions League group stage. They got knocked out in the third round by FC Copenhagen. They did then get to the final of the Europa League that season, but didn't win that either. Lost to another German side as it goes. Oh, we are bottom of the uh, youth league this year, unfortunately. But I guess there's less players in those under-19 squads for us anymore because they've all been loaned out for once. Which is a good thing, really. Okay. All of these players can't play, but we should have a fairly strong lineup. Perez, sorry, Perez, Diaz, Vega, Nagai, Palacio, Vida, Espino, Rojas, Paez. And then get those extra guys on the subby bench. Weird that they would put him on there instead of an actual player. <laughs> Might as well put real players on the bench. So we've got them. God, that bench is still so weak, man. At least we've got John Montano. Although I tried to offer him a new contract and he's not after it, which is a real pain. Harry no, they'd have won loads of titles. Uh, he's not played for it. He, oh, wow, there you go. Antonio Gretsch. This guy here, 19 year old. Games missed, minus 127. But it's dying. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, we could put Yannick Wells on the bench, honestly. At least he is a goalkeeper. Albeit an absolutely appalling one, but he's the only other goalkeeper we've got left at the club right now. Bring on the But as for the starting 11, once again, it looks decent. And at least there's no match sharpness issues because Burn has played every game since then. Not played amazingly well. One thing I will say is Freitas actually puts up really good goalkeeper numbers as well. Injury front is minus 20. Maybe, yeah. A skill cannon. Thank you for the follow. Okay, this is crucial for us. Who are you wanted by? Of course. Freitas is, Freitas is injured. Um, Juarez is injured. And Guicune has gone to AFCON. So our top three goalkeepers all are either injured or absent. So we're down to our fourth choice goalkeeper in Burn. And then literally a grayed out youth player, practically. He's not a grayed out youth. He nearly is. Oh, a Malagasy up front. Ludovic Ali Bakar. Oh, what a, what a pair of nationalities. Half Malagasy, half Reunion. That's amazing. No, I don't think he is. How many... Uh, hang on. Do you have any to go Dutch players for this game? Um, I don't have any... Actually, I don't think I do in this current squad. We used to have one called Roel Platt who was really good. I say really good. He was kind of like a fan favourite. He would always be cock wriggling. Yeah, sad. sadly not in this save. Unfortunately, Dutch players are very expensive uh, for the most part for us. So we do have a few Dutch guys, but they're mostly guys we signed off of like um, clubs like Den Haag, where you can get them on those amateur contracts, but they're never usually good enough for us to be go-to Dutch players. Oh, right. Go-to Dutch players. In that case, I simply don't know as I very rarely sign real players for the most part. People I'd sign in year one. Yeah, that's the thing. I've not really been in the year one where I could actually like sign those kind of guys. Cheers, Dykes. Yeah, get him in. Shaquille Van Persie, perhaps. What skin is this? Uh, this is Saz24. If you do exclamation mark skin, uh, Cowardine, uh, which uh, Vaughn has just done, uh, then you'll find a, a video about the skin and a uh, link to download it as well. Right, this is crucial. Who's getting numbers this time? Jesus. I'm hoping that we got unlucky in the last game, which we did, literally. And that we can pull this back against Stad Runner. But we are away from home. So there's always that concern. And they're not a bad side by any means. They're just not as good as Leon. But we're the underdogs. We need a performance here. Because all of a sudden, we draw this one as well or lose. And it starts to look a little bit iffy again. Knowing that we've got Inter and Bayern Munich after Christmas. We win this. 14 points on the ball already. Three hits against Bayern and Inter with a chance to get top 16. That's... We are very much on the cusp of... We're sort of teetering on the cliff edge of which side of the season we're going to be on, you know? Kogan, my ash. Thank you very much for the raid, friend. Welcome in. Okay. Let's go. I would like to see a score a corner goal. Like, we've threatened from them in the Champions League this year, but it's not had a direct impact. Oh, no, I think we got one against Eintracht Frankfurt, but we were already 3-0 up at the time, so it mattered a bit less. Oh, they're going long throws, which means pushing the penalty box, penalty given. Good catch from Burn. I feel like this is not the end of the highlight. I think if he's sensible about this, we can build this up into something. Maybe catch him in the transition phase. Having Palacio fully fresh as well. Oh, wow. That was such a Champions League touch as well. Oh, I have a horrible feeling this is not going to be our game. That's twice already we've just randomly given them the ball back. It's going good, Kogan. It would go a lot better if we could win this game. But I'm very concerned about the way this game has started already. Those immediate losing of possession. Although they're doing it too. So maybe it's just a bit of a mishmash. Diaz. Melman. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm worried. It's too early to be worried, I realise, but I am worried. That kind of finishing, that kind of giving the ball away, this has got that kind of stuff written all over it, unfortunately. We've got to score there. 
I would say at least hit the target, but truthfully, he has to score there. That is an unbelievable opportunity for Melman. And you just got I've just got to feel like Roy would have buried that. And again, poor pass, loose possession once again. We're at least pressuring them quite nicely. Which I feel like we are going to win the ball off them more often than not. But it's a question of what we do with it there. I'm worried that it's going to be one of these games, but I feel like I'm jumping the gun on that, and it is quite early still. And Vida, oh, come on, buddy. Finds Diaz, finds... Nah, he's offside. I think he's miles offside there. But again, it's a chance. We've broken through them another time there. Uh, it's once again offside. Uh, what's saying is this is literally just... I I've changed it since last time. TV, and then with the zoom on both sides, uh, zoomed out as far as possible. I feel like it's the one that creates the closest to the sort of TV experience as possible. Uh, he was definitely miles offside there. Um, honestly, I feel like Diaz, yeah, he might be better off just taking that to the byline and pulling it back like he does sometimes. But we've looked threatening so far, at least. Melman has missed that massive chance, though, and that's what concerns me. Sadly, it just feels like this might be one of these games where we miss our key opportunities and then just concede an annoying goal. Defensively look pretty stable so far for the first half an hour, but we've not created enough ourselves. What do you reckon? Substitute Royal in the 65th minute and he scores the winner or something. That would be a very Roy thing to do. And again with the stuff like that. Right, just... No, oh, he could have won the ball there as well. Uh, unfortunately, chat is going to be one of those games where there's just nothing we can do that's going to make us win this game. Um... The, like, for example, right, look, when he takes a touch out there, that it's, just take the ball. It, it, but no, uh, it's just one of those, unfortunately. It's really nice play, actually. Really nice build-up. And actually a really good goal in the end, but we allowed it to happen there. And such is life. Was that their first shot on target? It wasn't, was it? No. Um, yeah, that's just FM. You can sell, sometimes tell super early in a game whether it's going to be one of those types of games where all of a sudden your passing just goes to shit. You're losing possession constantly. But still, long time. And they've looked bad in possession as well. Perez. Diaz. We're overplaying a little bit here, I must say. Uh, to be fair, they could have probably got the ball back there as well. I don't think we're done, you know. And we're level. Gonzalo Diaz. 1-1. One, one. Okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. Because we have actually looked okay. They won 6-2. 6-2. That's insane. Fair play. A game mode view. Oh, okay. That's odd but be curious to see what that's like palacio does brilliant here what a ball through i mean they should have cleared that in fairness so we've got a bit fortunate but i think we deserve that equalizer at least we're not out of this yet yeah maybe we just needed to concede to wake up we've not been that good ourselves like we've had two really big chances but other than that actually haven't created that much aside from that and melman's had a really poor day so far i'm hoping this is one of these games where we'll just start to grow into it and start creating more chances as the match wears on <clears throat> hello lord we build a nation um if you mean like nations then if you've ever done one before or not that does matter but i would say st hungary is a great starting point because there's so few rules in fact there's literally one and it doesn't really ever apply uh, ireland if you want to start a bit lower poland is also really fun austria maybe if you want to start a bit further up um there's other nations as well but these are the ones i know about the most hungary is very good hello rob ha sorry hello rob better no one's playing an absolute shitter you know I'm thinking 60 minutes, he's gone. It's annoying we don't have Padilla, because he would be the perfect replacement, but we simply don't. It might have to be a Roy job. What's Roy's passing like? 15? Christ. Roy might end up coming on in this game as well, you know. <laughs> Roy, yeah, so Ireland does have a weird schedule because it's a summer league, so you will end up playing through the summer, but it gives you other benefits elsewhere. It, it's a trade-off, basically. I just want to see what Melman's up to in this game. Midfield's been a bit naff as well. I feel like Vega might come off at that time as well. Defense has been okay. Oh, here we go. Finally, a corner goal, please. I beg of you. Nope, but that's fine. We'll get it back again. Would this still count as a corner goal if we scored it? I'm going to say probably no, because this is what, like third phase now? But just keep the ball. Build it up. If we score here, I think I'd make the change for Roy. Unless Melman's the goal scorer. The guy. Oh, Christ, he's going to be, isn't he? No, he's not. Right, he's gone. That, he's definitely coming off after that. That's two absolutely golden chances he's missed in this game now. Oh, it really is. And he deserves it, really. He's t missed two absolute sitters in this game now. Oh, that one less of a sitter, but it's still a chance where he has to really be burying that. Oh my God, Perez has got it. Can he turn it back inside for someone? Finds Palacio. Please. 
anybody? Yes, Diaz again. It's right. Oh, Stad Rene one, Sirens two. And that is why having that Trek arriving late in the box is so crucial. As Palacios is going to get his second. Sorry, Palacio is going to get his second assist of the game. We lead in France again. And in fairness, they've played just as bad in possession as we have. This is brilliant from Palacio yet again. Just drops it through there. Actually, I think that comes off Melman, you know. He might even get an assist for that. We'll see. I think he's still going to come off no matter what. But does it credit him with the assist? No, it's Palacio again. Right. We've created a hell of a lot of XG off of very little in terms of shots. Vega maybe for... It's going to have to be Cazorla, isn't it, really? And I'll leave the other sub because look how light this is. We don't think we really make that much more subs. Okay. We lead again. The Diaz Palacio link up has been fruitful for us so far. And if we were to win this, this would be a good feeling. Came with the defender. Yeah, it must have done. It looked like they were very close together. That's why I got confused. Oh, hello. Short one. Vida. Cazorla. What a goal for Palacio would be fantastic. Just don't lose possession here. That's really nice build up. Oh, go on. Third goal here. And the confidence is flowing. Diaz. Loses it randomly, but we've got enough body. Oh, he's still got it. Diaz, he's for the hat trick. Diaz is Stan Rene 1, Sirens 3, Gonzalo Diaz. Tell you what, I misread this game. I wasn't familiar with it. I didn't know we had hands. Um, He's just bullied his way through three defenders there. Like, what on earth is he? Look at that. And then bang, 3-1. It turns out it wasn't us playing shit. It was both teams playing shit in possession we neither team has looked very good in possession in this game we've been giving the ball away both of us like religiously throughout this game and i just figured it was only us but they've been just as bad if anything possibly even slightly worse with some of the giveaways because there was a giveaway that led to the second goal as well i thought he was gonna play it straight to the guy that was marked diaz has just got a hat trick in the champions league now there's still time for us to fuck this up remember because ah oh, he's gotta win that there I just, you need to kind of get out of this particular play. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that again. See what I mean? We're, we're just as bad as each other in this game. Both teams are just insisting on giving the ball back to their opponents repeatedly. I can still see us losing this. Like, look. Heads this down. Straight back to him. Wins the ball here. Straight back to him. <laughs> oh, good God. We're both as bad as each other. We've just sort of got a bit fortunate by scoring the three goals. I don't think this is done yet. Oh, right. Roy is still due. got potentially, yeah. Oh, he's got an injury. Shit. And we can't take him off. That's... Oh, no. Please. Penalty now, do you reckon? Pushing the box or something? Long range banger? It's long range banger, isn't it? Oh, my God. That was nearly the Leon game all over again. Okay. It's just one of these games where defending from both sides, as you say, is absolutely shocking. Neither team can keep the ball for more than five seconds. And even when they do win it back, they struggle to keep it after that. Us being in possession doesn't exactly even fill me with confidence right now, especially not as we've lumped it to Perez. Oh, wait a minute. He's through. Go on, Perez. Kill it. Get in. I think he's onside. Oh, he's bloody not. He's offside. <sighs> Disallowed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, come on. Three more minutes, lads. Just ask the rest. Yeah. Bravo FM. I can now definitely see how upside he was. Thanks for that. Oh, come on. Oh, this is 3 all, isn't it? It's, it's going to be 3 all. Oh, no. Oh, wait. We've won it back again because obviously. But don't. Wouldn't be surprised if we lose it again immediately. There we go. Straight away. Lost it again. <sighs> this game is just never going to not be a. Oh, my God. What a save. Espino got a touch on that and Burns managed to save the deflection. If we get out of this tie, get out of this game with a win, it would be a... Wait, that goalkeeper's up. Go on, Burn. Lump it. Right, come on. One more minute. Whew. Fair fucking play. What a performance from Diaz. He's pretty much carried us through this match. Roy got two key passes. Um, we deserve the win, just about. But that was a tight one. But getting through those two games without losing, with basically half our squad missing, I think is crucial. On to 14 points, still unbeaten. Going into Bayern and Inter. If we would have beat Bayern, we got a 17 points, which would be a record. I think we deserved it, but both teams were shit in that game. Uh, defensively, both of them were absolutely all over the place. The Malagasy, yeah, the Malagasy dude was really good. I mean, in fairness, he had a tap in for that uh, second goal. But still, Partizan lose to FC Copenhagen again. We go second in the Champions League. 
we really have sort of had to dig deep this year but i feel like you can really start to see the progress in this team now like yes we're missing a lot of players but we're still getting the results this time considering we were massive underdogs to this game apparently Fl fleming's out oh my god oh, that's a shame more money for us though we like more money money is good and the best thing that's that's it now we, we don't have to worry about missing our players for any more champions league matches those guys are back for january where's entering the table are they like down at the bottom or something they are 24th currently. They've currently beaten Eintracht Frankfurt and Bayern. Lost to Juve, Barca, Sporting, and oh my god. There was us saying we had a tough draw. Um, Frankfurt and Bayern. Juve, Barca, Sporting, and PSG. Christ on a bike. Who are their other games against? Us, which is not easy either. And Rangers. They've got like one winnable game. I mean, obviously they've won some other games, but that's, that's even tougher than ours. Bayern is 32nd. Yeah, but they'll still be a pot one side. And they're still Bayern. Wesley, wow. Strumbolopoulos. Amazing name. You'll love to see it. TSRT. Thank you very much for the 24 Two months. Two years of this. Refund, please. Don't blame you, my friend. Don't blame you at all. How's it going? Okay, that, that's really good. That gets us in a much better spot. They might have been pot two, actually. Yeah, true. Because they would have lost a decent amount of coefficient from not... Then again, they were playing in the, conference, uh, the Europa League, so they would have still gained a decent amount. I would have probably gained more that way. But in, the, in this save, it does be a bit muddy, you're right. Actually, we can see what pot into we're in. Oh, no, we can't anymore, can we? Because that would have long gone, that potential news article. Right, young Africans, what are we saying? Uh, Issa said, but what did he say? Is the big question. Just R. Joseph. That must be a long first name then. Ray? Oh, he's a real player too. Hello, Jose. Right, so bounce on there, but now we can kind of relax a little bit. Because no more Champions League for a little while. Gives all of our players a chance to get back, recovered from injuries. Back from AFCON. Go into those buying games. We'll probably lose Nagai. In fact, not probably. We'll almost certainly lose Nagai to um, the Asian Cup in January. Which is not ideal. But I should be able to maybe register Gert by then. And hope that he could do an okay job. Because I've been quite impressed with Nagai. He's no Tony Sunday. Take nothing away from that. But he's done a, a reasonable job. But filling the gap for the time being until maybe Gert develops. I don't know. It depends on what his actual PA is like. But so far, it looks pretty promising. And he's playing well enough in training. I've taken him off of defensive positioning for the time being because I noticed that he was complaining about training because of um, he was doing both. So we'll make sure that he gets green there, like bright green there, and then I'll switch him straight to it. But he seems to be developing. Probably too early to really tell, isn't it? Upward arrows is the right thing. That's what the main thing is. Yeah, we're second in the league face, Jose. Incredibly. We're actually unbeaten. Yeah, we're going to get the extra cash for Tony. I would say without a doubt. Um, let me just show you. So he's already played 12 games in the league for Barca this season, and we're only halfway through, which I think means basically in two years we'll get the full 10.5 mil. Because I could take eight now, but I feel like he will play enough games to get the full 10 million. And we don't necessarily need the money actually right now, considering we've got... 59 million in the bank currently are we overspending our wage budget how did that happen wait we're not oh it's the committed spend isn't it just drop that down a little bit make sure we've got a bit of extra cash because i think it's because of players joining us in january potentially kanga can play there true but i do want to start getting Gert into first team football as soon There's as possible back. really Bell, thank you for the follow because i basically want to see if Gert actually has the potential and getting him into the games as soon as possible well, that's good ivory coast getting knocked out which is excellent, which means we get Tony... No, we get Watara and Fafana back. Not that we need them now, but well, we do, I suppose. But I think Perez... Sorry, Perez has kind of... No, nope, Perez. Has done enough to earn that spot for the time being. Uh, wow, well, that's a lot of teams, but... Actually, you're very cheap. Steamia... He's worth a scout, I would say. Designer diapers. Sadly, no more designer diapers today, but we have still gone unbeaten in the Champions League, and Roy has scored a goal in Europe. A crucial one as well. Ooh... Permin Attinghauser. He's a wonderful name. It's a shame he's a winger and he doesn't look that good, actually. Uh, we won 3-2 in the end, Steve, which is good considering both teams were absolute shocking. <laughs> e. Clay now with the five gifted. What on earth? Thank you, chat. You've been extremely generous today and I, I do appreciate it. I don't understand it, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. Oh, we did get a dipsy. This is true. Long time it starts to fail and no longer works. No. Um, well, yes, but the reason is not what you think. Um, basically, it's because as you grow as a team, 
your reputation will increase and thus teams will start to operate against you slightly differently based on the reputation of your team. It's not because they're like learning your tactics or anything, but yes, that's the reason. So sometimes you do have to make some slight tweaks as you go along. So the biggest example I can give is that, for example, when you say you get promoted to the Premier League and you're a relatively small side, teams are going to see your reputation and they're going to go quite aggressive in attacking against you, which will open up attacking and counter-attacking options for you. But as you grow in your reputation, they'll start to sit back a little bit more against you in certain scenarios. And it means it'll be tougher to break them down. That's one of the things we've noticed. And it's why we started to develop a more aggressive attacking tactic to go through that one. So 14, yeah, we got 14 points in the Champions League, which is one of our best already. I think the most we've ever had is 16, right? Last year, we got... 11 year before that 10 then we got 16 the year that we actually qualify for the top eight then 14 and then six so yeah we've already got our second best uh, champions league performance and we've got two games to spare uh yes i do bells if you do exclamation mark tactics you can actually get both of the tactics i use uh the predominant one is this one which is the more aggressive of the two uh and then there's also this one which has a halfback and it's slightly more uh defensive in fact quite a lot more defensive as it goes <laughs> Half a decade ago, one of my saves, it was shocking how much space the opponents gave us back. Yeah, it's it's important to do that. Uh, I think a lot of people always put it down to like, oh, they're learning your tactics, but we know that isn't true. Uh, Tire managers unions having a secret meetings. I, yeah, that too. It can be both. <laughs> right, okay, Bows on Youth. It's a shame Roy can't play this game, really. Um, but really, are we doing that? I guess we might not have a choice because of fitness levels. I guess Melbourne is the advanced forward. It is then. He's actually not done that well this year. Like his average rating is okay, but only three goals in 13 appearances. He's a little sus. Coefficient, actually, it should be looking quite... Well, it's not looking good because, unfortunately, with the fact that we got a buy through two of the qualifying rounds this year really annoyingly and lost all the other Maltese clubs, we're basically gaining barely any coefficient points. But, importantly, we are still moving up as things stand by three places this year because we're losing an absolutely horrendous year basically we've got to go for it next year and get like a 12 or 13 point season it kind of alternates for us at the moment and next year's still an eight point year so there's still room for us to get into the mid 50s but you can see how tough it's going to be to catch up with the likes of denmark sweden austria and the netherlands that's where we need to start getting some other Maltese help because at this stage it's just not doable without them hammer have really let us down this year considering they won every single group stage game in the conference league last year to not even qualify for it but it will be easier for them next year because they're going to be dropping down from the champions league they're guaranteed a playoff space no matter what. In fact, we're going to have two teams in the champ in the Conference League playoffs, no matter what. There you go again. We're just capable of absolutely hiding teams uh, this year. We're back on top of the league as well, briefly. Gorgadrush can give more chance to other teams. Uh, in our new text, Gorgadrush gives more chance to other teams. Uh, what do you mean? I'm curious. Do I have a DM? Uh, but the goalkeeper is not distributing to the DM. The goalkeeper is distributing to centre backs and to wing backs. And one of the midfielders the ball winning midfielder drops into that space a lot of the time anyway so it, there's always a player in that slot plus with the libero moving out it often occupies that same place so i don't think it really does that um maybe it does occasionally but that's the risk you run right something weapons yeah it's um follow the graphic you follow the graphic god damn oh like preventing short of Uh, but how how would us preventing their short goalkeeper distribution create more chances for them? That's what I, that was what I was a bit confused about, I suppose. Um, how times we in the league? I think we've won it ten times. Actually, we could just click our profile, can't we? Uh, yeah, exclamation mark training is the one. Other teams from short distribution. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I understand now. I'm just not sure how preventing them from short distribution gives them more chances because isn't that something we're already doing? Or maybe not. Yeah, we're already presenting short goalkeeper distribution. I'm sure I'm just misunderstanding. It's almost certainly that. Except for loans. Um, I guess playing time, right? That is kind of a factor if you're trying to develop the players. I try to avoid it as much as I can, but then I can totally understand why the frustration is there if you're just simply not getting the opportunities. Better to have off. Um, I just... I guess, but like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. I'm just not really sure. You need to forward the space to the opposition, I think they mean. I guess. Um, yeah, I see what you mean, actually. But the only way that we'd really know... 
fact is we're clapping teams right now and i just don't know if i want to really dick with the tactic right now i, I understand your theory though um yeah no I, I actually understand what you mean now i i see what you mean I, I like understand the logic of it but i just don't know if it's really worth changing at this point um Gives him a better chance of getting along from the goalkeeper. True, but remember, our DM was Tony Sunday, and he was like five foot six, so he was never winning those headers anyway. Which means that all was happening was our centre backs were coming out and winning the header anyway when he does play it long. And I find that weirdly in this tactic, I get more worried when I see our when I see our opponents play it out from the back instead of lumping it, because I feel like we have the players in the right position, generally speaking, to get in the right place to collect those second balls. It does cost you occasionally because no one's going to have perfect heading, especially in FM twenty four, right? I don't think it's causing us too many problems, really. Uh, it would be an interesting test, but I'm not really sure how to test it and provide good data because right now we're just doing so well. Hamburg. Let's have a little look at Hamburg. Uh, plus, also, remember, it will also depend on the tactic the other team is playing a lot of the time too because if they've not got like a player into that position, then we're just going to win it every single time, right? And, and that and the fact that we have... We were unbeaten in the Champions League so far this season. Now, potentially, we could have done even better if that was going to work, maybe. I don't know. It's, um, it's tough to say, right? But it's always the risk of, do we test that in the Champions League? Because if it doesn't work, which there's every chance it doesn't, we sacrifice really crucial points. Youth player increase when you move up the ranking. Uh, no. Well, it does increase, but not because you're moving up the rankings, basically. The youth level seems to be operated in secret by a committee that randomly decides whether to upgrade it, and most of the time it won't upgrade anyway. Space is easy to cover. And we do push up quite high with them too, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so I don't think that's probably an issue for us, but you know, it might be, it's good to have that kind of information in the back pocket should we start to run into issues again, because then it kind of gives you like a, a leaping off point to know where to start maybe trying stuff, right? Uh, so Hamburg in this save, obviously that's not from this save. Um, in fact, yeah, they've not really been able to, have they won any Pokals? No. Uh, they have won two Zweite Bundesligas. Luminati say it truly is, yeah. But that's exactly it, Jim. It's one of those things where if we see in a game a couple of times where that starts to happen, and maybe we're in a position where maybe we're already in front by a couple of goals, it might be worth testing it there to see if, one, it stops happening and it keeps us more defensively stable, and two, if it actually creates more attacking opportunities for us, maybe. Because th this is my other theory. This might, be why, this might be why this works, right? I wonder if our sort of gung-ho, high-pressing, high-tempo play would actually be better if we did let them distribute to their back line first and thus have a better chance to winning the ball off them high up the pitch rather than pressing their goalkeeper into the long ball where we then lose the opportunity to win it in the final third and create those counter-attacks like we were getting against Santa Rade. Because particularly with the way that the ball in midfielder on support presses in these areas, well, especially this area here, their left back is always under a huge amount of pressure from him. And it would maybe count, create some turnovers for us potentially match against them with not preventing so i see you have more shots or they have more shots uh that is intriguing though so it's something to consider ah gala lose to guinea bissau that's good for us but surprising guinea bissau greatest team in all of africa as i've always said well that's burkina faso wasn't it they're still in there though shadow developing concerns well you're more than welcome to leave bud they have less shots okay intriguing to notice three to four less shots how many shots were they having to begin with um, if it's that drastic of a difference. Uh, yeah, I'll try and get him on. Oh, he's actually accepted it. Nice. Needs Max to look at. <laughs> yeah, literally. Miss that name. Wow. I certainly don't miss Felix Magat as a Fulham fan. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, we got Melita next. They've got a really good setback on loan from us too. And he seems to be developing his old Michael Bum. Or was it Mitchell Bum? I forget his name. Ah, finally, a scout report. It's been a while. Uh, right, we'll check that. Seems worse than me to encourage them to play it short. We can win the ball. Yeah. I still see what you mean. Particularly as a lot of the better sides that will be trying to play football and thus they'll be reluctant to play it long anyway because they'll probably have like play out of defense and distribute short on anyway. So intriguing. You're right. It might work better against smaller sides. We should maybe try it against Melita. Perhaps. We'll just see if we notice anything different. Because we'll have had a nice rest. A good strong squad for that with guys back from AFCON too. Obviously, it's going to be tough to... Mm, the problem is we'd have to watch the game to find out, wouldn't we? Uh, a lot of the Seychelles War guys didn't turn out to be that good. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, relatively crap guy at Liverpool as well, though, actually. As it goes. <laughs> the Melita disrespect is real. It truly is. Wait, is that guy called Mike Bassett? Oh, no, Rob Bassett. I thought it was called Mike Bassett then. 
Uh, right, anyone without good scouting knowledge? Oh, the Belgrano guy still intrigues me. A lot of these guys actually hung around longer than I expected, in fairness. Particularly those guys. The two Lus Then again, we said that the Suto were decent, and maybe they are. Right. You're not going to talk to us. You're not going to talk to us yet. Anyway, you're 17 million pounds. Brendan Spink, 28 years old. Good player, but not going to pay that kind of money for him, particularly not with 50 grand a week. When you move up the ranking, the only benefit is more European spots. Yes. Um, well, that and increased prestige and stuff that comes, comes along with it. So you get like increased reputation, more European spots. The youth rating doesn't change, basically. Sorry, that's not true. It does change, but at a glacial pace that you'd never notice unless you did a 200 year save, basically. It's a shame. Scouting players individually. More effective. Um, well, it depends on what you mean by scouting players individually, Big McGuire, because how are you finding the players to scout individually? That's... Um, I personally think it's the most efficient way to scout players in FM, but it depends on what you mean by when you say scouting players individually, because in order to scout them individually, you'd have to have found the player in the first place, right? So that will depend heavily on how you're finding them initially, I guess. Okay, from Ajax, Hack and Kaya, overpriced Belgian... Um, dramatic Hadrian would be that Roy Fleming scored a late equaliser against Leon to stop us from losing. Uh, emphasis on the chip chat, and we've now we're still unbeaten in the Champions League and currently sit second behind PSG. So this Modu Nilsson guy's intriguing. Defensive winger. Oh, ah. Is he still an English Wally? Sadly, he is, but he has actually scored a few goals for us so far, which is decent. Uh, Ace, so all the young players individually or get a team report. Um. Well, essentially, the, think about it like this, Big McQuire. If you go to ASIC Mimosas and say they have 15 players in their club, right? If you scout all those players individually, nine to... No, let's say most of the time, 15 of them are not going to be very good. Maybe one of them is worth looking at, right? So you waste your scouts' time on scouting 15 players. Then, if you get a team report on them, you'll get an initial look at those same 15 players, but all at the same time with one scout's work. Then if any of them are any good, you can then scout them individually and not waste your scouts' time. So that's the kind of logic that I like to apply to it. Yeah, he's not bad, is he? Mercenary personality is an issue, and he does have a lot of mental cons. Each country's youth intake is less the same, more the same kind of countries. Um, well, each country's youth intake will be different because they have a different youth level, which is a background stat that affects the level of youth intakes coming through each country. And they will, as far as I know, all develop at the same pace, except for weirdly Bulgaria, which is just strange. He could be. He does have the stamina, work rate, and teamwork. He could be a born midfielder. Whack him on defensive positioning. Right wing back, yeah, but he wouldn't because he's not got the agility and balance and he's not the fastest. I'd rather play him in the centre, honestly. I'm worried about his cons, but we do have a little bit of cash available. It's a lot of money. It would depend on what he wants in terms of... Um... No, it was just a joke. We've noticed that a lot of the time Bulgaria's youth rating seems to go up quite a lot for some reason. Tadrian noticed it in one of his tests. League, league reputation. Um, so basically, the league reputation is a number between one and ten thousand. Ah, no worries, Lotto. It's a number between one and ten thousand, and certain factors will attribute it to it. We obviously don't know the exact factors. It will be things like progressing in Europe, winning European trophies, stuff like that. Will a boost? And I think it's actually made up of the reputation of the clubs within that league as well. That certainly is a factor in that too. Um, right. Let's have a look. I, I think he could be a bit of a bust. If, if he's too expensive, I might just say no. Oh, 1.6. I think I'd pay 1.6. Out of 200. Sorry, yes, club rep. I was thinking of club rep. Um, because I had a look at um, MTK's club rep on the last save afterwards when we used FMRT to have a look at things. And we were at nearly max rep. Okay, he accepted that. But this is not awful. It would just depend heavily on his wage. Okay, he does want moon money there. And I am concerned that he would get Sweden caps. Provided I can get a long enough... If he'll let me do a 3x3... Okay. I think I'm willing. Particularly as he's actually fairly cheap. Oh. Did he just adjust his... Oh, this is one of those stupid ones. That's... Oh, piss off then. No, I hate those ones. That's so stupid. I'm not signing him. When they come in with a certain amount, you then give them what they want plus extras, and then they demand way more than what they originally wanted for some reason. Yeah, no, fuck that. That's like the new being purple, isn't it? It looks like Kadri's going to be gone for a while. Milan to Palacio? Absolutely not. Must be careful with bidding up our players this window as well. Big fan theory. I don't know what this is, actually. I think it's a song request. I like it. It's quite vibey. Rojas is out for a call. We'll send you home. Anything going wrong with that? More effort to load him out. Oh, Louis. I was going to say, who? 
very little regression. That's the thing. The, the reputation doesn't decay fast enough when leagues and teams do poorly. Especially leagues, I've noticed. What we missed account? Um, so the biggest thing so far would be we're still unbeaten in the Champions League. And Roy has scored a goal in the Champions League for us. Uh, Compo career of this. Oh, in that case, you're off then, buddy. They never seem to want to leave, do they? Oh. Actually, yeah, I suppose you're probably right. Because I've noticed that... Um, we've seen like, every year we get an update about things and it does even if it seems as bad in europe for like one year it's like there's been a massive decline but for who chris pen year old Ooh. still not really anything great there both 18 as well which means we've scoured them several times probably actually he might be worth a look he looks like he's got a bit of attribute about him so we're st ah good there we go both of our senegalese fellas have lost the revolution has begun yeah he's also scored some goals in the league for us too which is kind of dope Starting to produce ridiculous players because of mid takes. Yeah, that's probably why it is, uh, Big Maguire. Because we've noticed that for some reason, Bulgaria seems to grow at a faster rate for whatever reason. Uh, it was 3-2 in the end, Ashman. Both teams were absolute shite. Neither team could hold on to possession for more than five seconds. And it was just a question of who was going to, like, give up the most goals. Luckily, it was them. And we did technically deserve it. Like, we, were, we had the edge on XG, but only minorly. Gave up some absolutely shocking goals. These guys got quite high CA, haven't they? Just scored in his international day. <laughs> He's just trying to rub it in at this point, Thomas. He's like, look what I could be doing, except I'm not doing, clearly. Amateur contract player demanded to be loaned out, and now has left the club because he was unhappy. Oh, hey, Jim, you missed it earlier, I think. During our first game, the game against Leon, or it might be the one after that, um, Ndoy and Kamga were unhappy with the team selection while they were not at the club on international duty at AFCON. They were complaining about my team selection while they were literally not in the in the team. As in, we're not at the club. Amazing. The mercenary personalities, maybe. I think it's a combination of that and their horrendous agent. Bulgaria, I feel like they just produce some cracking talent in FM. The amount of times, I generally speaking, every save we get one. In fact, I think we really have one. Isn't Krastev Bulgarian? Oh. Yeah, look, he's suddenly started to get quite decent PA looking now. What about PSG? Considering we signed him as a bit of like, a, oh, he's okay as a backup, he seems to be doing okay. And actually, I'd be curious to see what his numbers sit like. When it comes to XA per 90. That's a real question. So Vida, 0.65. Krastev has actually done the best of anyone else. Even better than Moltwang, who's actually not here yet. I don't think he might have a higher one in fairness. But he's the only guy that could even really compare to Vida, I would say. Uh, although Montanio, albeit in a small sample size, has done quite well as well. Weren't even in the country. Yeah, they were at AFCON complaining about my team selection. And I'm fairly certain one of them was because they wanted to have played, despite literally not being there. Yeah, getting a lot of caps very early is a good sign as well. I think Krastev might be better than we thought. This is why it's important to take a punt on a player occasionally, right? To not miss out on guys like that. Like I said, I, was, I wasn't in the WhatsApp group. Uh, right, Melita. We're going to try this thing today. Just try that one thing. I don't know how we'll um, really know. Because the thing is, even against teams like Sleema, we were regularly... Wow, we lost that game? We were regularly... Is he still through? Nope, they're out. Okay, so we got Motorman back as well now. So I think that's everybody back from international duty, which means AFCON must have a very interesting final, no? Playing against lower quality teams. Yes, no, definitely. Quasi's getting there. Um, as is Padilla, honestly. But the thing is, the reason we kept Melbourne in the team is because I kept wanting to drop him, but chat were like, oh, go on, give him one more chance. And then he scored. And then he scored again. And then he scored again. But he has actually fallen off a little bit in the last few games. And the only reason I haven't been able to drop him was because there's been no obvious replacement because of obviously uh, AFCON. But now it might be worth looking at that. I think Melbourne's... So Nigeria, Morocco and Algeria, Mali. I'm all on the Mali train. The six foot five-ness as well does help. I'm good, right foot merchant. My name's Matt any new one i love it when um i get like spam emails and spam tweet uh, like twitter dms and it starts with hey second and i'm like hmm, i'm going to ignore this <laughs> third place game there might be yeah uh, yeah but they're not in the semis are they or are they i think the only player that ironically would have not been here for us still would have been tony sunday hilariously <laughs> he's feeling oh massively particularly as i literally have my name in my twitter thingy it's just not the first part of it so it's clearly like a bot thing. It's the same with emails. Oh, Freitas is back. back. Good news. Quasi's there. Right, okay. So that's a really strong lineup, actually. 
It's coming along nice, right? Foot merchant. Um, we're actually unbeaten in the Champions League right now. Hey, yellow. Mr. Yellow. To you. <laughs> uh, so, um, I was going to say Clungus, but that's certainly not it, right? Um, but C-L-V-N-G-T-S. S-T. Thank you for the follow. What should I call you? <laughs> yellow card the second. Uh, that was my father. I'm yellow card the third, actually, as it goes. I was birthed from Graham Pohl. Um... Yeah, I might have to do, actually. Right. I'd rather not play Brando, honestly, because I feel like he's the kind of player that's not going to be here for a while. I'd r Honestly, in a game like this, I'd rather play Cesar Vega because Brando's a bell piece. He doesn't deserve the time of day. Actually, Freitas can't start this. What am I doing? <laughs> he might be very good, but he also has no match fitness. Not even match fitness. He has no, like, OPC either. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn off short goalkeepers. No, prevent short goalkeeper distribution for this one, just to see. If there's any notable differences. We'll just lose now. Grandfather Stern talking to you. Yes. Right. <laughs> Problem with Swiss guys is extremely right-footed. And it means that I find that he... I I've actually been enjoying Vega this year. Although he's only got four assists. How's Cazorla looked? None assists. But he hasn't played a lot. But the problem is his match sharpness isn't there. And I know that we could get him by playing him. But for this, I want to test in sort of optimal examples... And this is about as optimal as we can get, within reason, anyway. Now, obviously, with Insta result, things could go a little bit squiffy, so we'll have to see. But we'll see. We'll have a look at their shot count. Then again, we've also had zero shots against with the other tactics, so it's not... It's tough to say. What's just like win 1-0? That would probably be a bad sign. 3-1. Still created a lot, but underperformed our XG. Now, that could have happened either way. It's hard to say, right? But we did give up some shots and a goal. And missed a penalty in this game too, which is always funny. Quasi was good again. I don't know. I don't think this is really the best opportunity to test something like this, truthfully. I think the best time to test that would be in a game where we actually see something and then switch to it. Well, 11 key passes for Quasi, though, is very, very good. But at this point, I don't know what we're really going to find in terms of data from it, really. Hello, Flow Feast. How the devil are you, friend? Oh, Kieran Sleep's turning down a contract. Interesting. It's been in fair form. I mean, four in 20 is not what I would call fair form. But it looks like Kieran might be on the move. Wow, he really has fallen off. Ever since they signed Tony Great. Yeah, the Miss Pen definitely isn't helping us there, is it? Uh, so, as for our January arrivals, we've got... Uh, the freebies are probably not worth looking at. Nunez, who is intriguing. Million pounds, but looks have okay attributes and will give us some more depth, which is always nice, right? Particularly in that attacking midfield role. To have Padilla, Diaz, and Nunez would be nice. That third choice. I don't think so, Vaughn, but it's probably worth me looking in a second. And Miguel Torres, who I think had higher PA. When I scouted him initially, he had five star. So maybe he's a bit of a bust, but for 300k... He's got okay attributes. I like him. Not sure what I'm going to do with him yet. He's probably another train in the midfield, but he has shit work rate as well. Not sure. Changing the tactic again. Uh, not really, no. We were just testing something. Uh, Robert Anua as well was a guy that I probably overpaid for, honestly. He... I liked his attributes, but... What's the injury as well? Something I heard it. Mm, not amazing. Probably a lone farmer is he, and I think the rest are just... Oh, wait. And this is the Tanzanian centre-back. Same kind of story. Yeah, Robbie's not great. My hope is that he'll turn out to be like that Angolan goalkeeper. Probably not going to happen somehow. Yeah, I use all the defensive instructions. Um, acceleration. Yeah, has he got really low acceleration too? Yeah, he's not great, is he? No talk. <laughs> no talk. Oh, yeah, January patron. Let's have a look. Uh, shortlist. Are there, is anyone interesting on the shortlist? Just out of interest. Let me just use my... Use the Iron Owl one. Just to see if there is anyone on here that's probably worth a look. He was the Greek dude. Nunes is joining us. Jizz Dice is in there. Sasha Jevrich. He Oh, it's Rebel Salzburg. Shit. That's why we didn't sign him, wasn't it? Uh, Rabble. Who you wanted by? Inter. Vrabble might be a signing. Uh, I'm really liking three at the back. Particularly with the Levero. It's just kind of fun. He's intriguing. Did Jevrich want big wages? What about Vrabble? Uh, he only has... Oh, surely we signed Rabble, right? 5K, 5k a week? 
800k release clause. Really nice attributes. Can kind of do a bit of both. Could actually even do the ball in midfield role if he wanted, because he has decent passing as well. Like, as a ball in midfielder on support, which is all he could do there, other than his finishing, like, who cares? Yeah, off the ball's a bit shit, but he can actually pass, and he's got okay work rate. He's both. That's the great thing about him. I think he could do both jobs for us. He's a better AP, for sure. But, or was that box to box? Oh, you're right, it was, wasn't it? Either way, I think he could still do a bit of both. That's why I'd like to get him, particularly before Inter do. Well, Terra contracted syphilis just two I'm trying to think of me. why we didn't sign him before, but I think it was because he wouldn't talk to us yet, although he's 20 now, which is odd. Uh, Lucky Lucid, thank you very much for the follow. Adrian Rodriguez was another guy I was kind of interested in, wasn't it? He's 19 now. Cheap wages. But I really like him as a rounded player. He's very sort of well-rounded. The issue with him could be the price. Yeah, I think we didn't have the money at the time. We've still got to be careful on cash, but I want to see what they'd want for him. He's a bit pricey, but I might be able to structure if he's not too expensive. Um, Hang on a minute. Where is he? What about Lahuvi as well? Wasn't he quite interesting? Model Citizen as well. Maybe we could pick a couple of these guys up. Because he's 18 now. Maybe he'd talk to us. Uh, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. We try that again. We might be able to install... Because we've actually not got as much transfer debt as I thought. We're only in like 3 million of transfer debt. That would only cost us 2.5. Then. And I think for 2.5, he's probably worth it. The question then becomes, what was that other guy I like? It was Lahovi, wasn't it? Oh, I see. There is zero way in hell that that is correct. And it's probably because the scout report's out of date. I reckon if this guy would join us, remember, we're a bit light and back up on that left side. Given that we've lost Jar Jar, Montano is going to leave at the end of the season as well. We're really down to bare bones as far as, and he's a model citizen. I just don't see, unless he's like maxed out. But even if he is, his attributes are good enough to be a really tasty backup for us, right? He would come in. He's cheap enough. Wages aren't amazing, but... Yeah, he's playing well for his current club. He looks... He, he might be one of those players that maybe has a fairly low ceiling, but his CA is, like, really high, comparatively speaking, at such a young age because he got lots of it to begin with. And he's a model citizen, which means we'll probably get out of him whatever we want, really. For 1.5 million. I think he's worth a punt. Just to be a backup, really. Because Palacio is always going to be our starter in that role, right? But we need a kind of... We've got Motwang and Krastev on the right to back up Vida. But we're lacking a bit of depth on the left-hand side in that spot now. Because Vegas ended up playing there quite a bit too. If we got all three of those guys... Oh, I'm really glad we did this, actually. Had a little look at see who was just sort of around. Because I've had random players on this shortlist for years. And obviously not all of them are going to be great. But if we drop, like, 5 million on those three guys, I think that would be decent. Fringe player. That's actually okay. It means he's still loan farmable then, and he's not going to kick off too much. He does have Slovakia caps, though, doesn't he? I think. Mm, this might be a tough one. We might not be able to do the full... No, I don't. I don't ever clean up the shortlist, and sometimes... Oh, I forgot the Patreon thing. Right, let me just do this first, because <laughs> that's what it was, wasn't it? <laughs> I think Michael Elise is on there because he automatically got added when we trialed him, and it seems to take ages to disappear. Um, yeah, we can check. I think you get a notification about that, Anna, usually. So the game usually tells you when their contracts are expiring. Um, yeah, I don't know if we we'll better get an optional extension. I might be able to. Let me just try it. Oh, I thought it was worth the risk, right? I'd rather pay him seven grand a week to get him on a longer deal than have him on a four-year contract on four and a half grand a week when he'll want an extension after four years, probably of about 15, 16 grand. From a future perspective, I think that's the best standpoint for us. Rodriguez. Okay. Oh, he's got really low contract. That's absolutely fine. No problem. And he's Argentinian, which means seven-year contract incoming. Just scroll that up. To, honestly, that might be enough. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to be... All right. I've got to offer him quite a lot more here just to be safe. And I, and I can because he's Argentinian. That should be all right. There we go. Cool. 
Another seven year deal. Those players' stars running through you had to keep scattered on. I don't think I did. But it's probably worth looking just in case. Although maybe that was probably a good thing we had that on some of those guys. Squad player. I want to get rid of regular star art. But he kind of would be. Not stepping stone. We might be able to knock him down one more notch anyway. Right. You don't have caps yet, do you? No. Which is absolutely sensational. Which allows us to sneak in with another 7-1. Because I reckon he'll get caps almost immediately upon joining us. Because that's what seems to happen. If I offer you like 13 after caps. Okay. That's probably because of the uh, wage rise clause bit. I might have to go to close, maybe to 15 to get that over the line. Or it's just one of these guys that's like desperate for that. Let's try 14 and a half. He might be one of these players that's just insistent on the club appearances one. No, there we go. Just keep scouted. So keep scouted. Yeah, basically it means that... Let's have a look. I'm fairly certain I don't have that switched on, but I might do. No, I don't. Uh, so if you have that switched on, they'll regularly get added back to your scouting, essentially, yeah. But yeah, I really need to clean this up at some point, but now is not the time. <laughs> if we, I'm glad we didn't, like, delete some of these players, though, because it seems like... We'll have a look for him when he's 18, because he looks like a potential future centre-back as well. Um... Lots of old trialers. Yeah, I do need to delete that. I don't know why they're still on there. Right, Patreon regens. Any expiring contracts? One, which is Thomas Mirvang. Can I take him on trial? Now. I think it's only Thomas Mirvang at the moment, anyway. Get a trial. Maybe. Not a bad shout, actually. Wow, that was instant. They rejected. Okay, we'll have to remind me of that on January 1st so we can get Thomas back in. Yeah, we've actually had a couple of games uh, where we actually against Sleemer earlier this year. Oh, thank goodness for that. That's lovely. So now we go back to the top of the league, unironically, with our insane goal difference. I want to score a record number of goals this season. I want to beat 100, which doesn't seem out of the question, honestly, given how we played so far. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll go to the... Well, at least the, the fixture schedule massively calms down for us now, which is just fantastic. We'll check that on January 1st, because I think we've got one game in between then and now. Yeah, and then we got a load of guys joining us on January 1st. And don't worry about the save file thing. I already did that before stream. Into Oh, no. It's a risk, but I'm going to do it. We've got to go, right? We give it one shot at it. Padilla resumes full training. Four hours later. Padilla injured. Uh, <laughs> GG's. It's Fernando Avalar all over again. I don't see him signing for us ever, Inter. Which is a shame. Uh, Academy Sword. Yeah, they're another one of these disappointing academies that don't actually do anything. McCulloch! Thank Who's you very much for the two London? months. Gustav Young, what a guy. He was a fun-ass player. He was a DM, wasn't he? I had some really fun regens in Youth and Takes on Nordic Nomads. He is Slovak, yeah. And... Oh, as long as I... Would I rather have him or Lahovi? Honestly, if I've got a choice of getting him or Lahovi... I'd rather have Lahovi. Um, or Lov... I can't, remember, I can't actually remember how his name's pronounced. Because I feel like he actually fits a spot in our squad. Uh, you, we will stall. Aren't he South American? No, there actually isn't. Well, the Central American. There's Christina Chu, who's a Panamanian. Uh, but she's a into Miami. So no, no one actually chose to be from uh, South America, as far as I know. Yeah, I guess it happened with Vida. But they never put a bid in with Vida, though, did they? With that situation with Vida, the, the thing that won us for that is that no one actually put a contract offer for him. They were just kind of stuck about. Uh, he might be worth a look. Oh, he's 19 now. So, Kadri's still playing. Maybe we should have got on him earlier. Oh, we're getting Lahovi. That's the one I actually really care about. Uri Lahovi. Will he join us in January? Yes, he will. I'm totally fine with that. If we were going to have... If I had to pick one or the other, I think I'd take him because I think he slots into our team slightly better in terms of where we actually need a player right now, which is back up to Palacio. And I think he's going to do that perfectly. He's got 18 agility too, which is really nice. Even if his potential isn't amazing, I think he's worth a 1.5 million to find out. No match was fun. Uh, I know it was a bit... Wait, really? Paul Raymond? <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Um... It was my last effort of trying to see if I could pull off a Let's Play. Uh, I mean, I'd love to line you out, bud, but... Oh, did I not... Okay, I'll set you out for a but... I think it's you... He's 27 now. Uh... 
I can't do this in out of a window, can I? Oh, I can. There you go. Let's see him turn that down. At least it'll fulfill the promise, I suppose. Ian Ferno. What's he been up to? Now, not in Europe this year. Still at Norwich. Is he playing? Well, I'm not sure you are, you know. Four, uh, only 30 appearances. Oh, no, you are. You are emphatically... Oh, they got relegated. Oh, my God. Norwich got relegated whilst reaching the semi-finals of the Europa League. That's insane. <laughs> they got to the semis of the Europa League and then got relegated to the championship. Where admit and now you're back in the championship with a Norwich City side who have a lot of players and a lot of money. <laughs> Stoke City do be beckoning. Speaking of uh, teams in the championship, has Danny finally started a game? Oh, hang on, there's a third appearance. No, there isn't. Still no starts. Three appearances now for Danny. He's cr he's racking them up, but still no starts. Oh, you're right. He's in he can't even start for them in League One. Danny, I'm so sorry. Fulham must have got promoted. It's the only way. It's the only way it's allowed. Ah, oh dear. Bezirta. Sometimes. Mm. Haytham is a good name, though. I do like that. Right. The, the third chuckle, brother? Can't be doing any worse than me. Matt Hadrian at Stoke. Still, well, wow, 173 appearances for Stoke City now. I think you've signed a new contract as well. Oh, also in League One. <laughs> Killing it. Well, actually playing weirdly worse in League One for Stoke than you were during that one unbelievable championship season. So Stoke and Bristol City in League One. Oh, dear. Oh, FM21. Was that really FM21, that OTI save? Christ. The Ringo group. I don't even know where I am these days. I think I'm at Sheffield Wednesday. Yes. And barely playing at Sheffield Wednesday either. Yeah, I'm a super sub at Sheffield Wednesday. At least we're in the championship. Well, yeah, they can't all be good after all. There are a few standouts like Dan Strong, Tony Great looks pretty great now that he's finally got a move to Sunderland. Ifa Chikwude looked particularly excellent as well. There's definitely a few in there. Jack Turner, who I believe was our points leader, so to speak, for Bristol Rovers. 400 and... Nope. 450 appearances already now. Racking up appearances. 22 more in League One now. Have you got Andorra Caps again? Nope. Still English. So yes, they did get promoted back to League One again. Check the CAMPA, the patrons off me. Um, so I already have older versions of the save file. Um, because I have to make a save file every single year at the midway point in order to allow us to get the statistics for the early Champions League games. So I'm actually going to have a save file from each year. I don't make the rules. <laughs> I can't imagine why you'd say that, Jinx. Wouldn't have anything to do with him playing for Bristol City now, would it? Plus, I've sent Hadrian versions of the database loads. Um, so Hadrian's probably got like a big pack of just random versions of my save file now. Uh, he knows things. Ooh, Mansur Topal. And he's 16, which means... Ooh, hello, striker. Might be okay. Turkey could cost us, but still. Overall appearances, uh, not easily. The game doesn't track them very well a lot of the time. I do actually have a filter set up that shows you that, sort of. But you'll note that it basically discounts cup matches a lot of the time. Uh, so if I show the patron region list here and go to this one. So all-time appearances. See, look, it says 450, league appearances. Are we telling me that Jack's played in no cup games? Like, that seems like bollocks to me. It seems weird that he wouldn't have played in a single cup game. Apparently he hasn't, but that's just, I think, the game being weird. Oh, God, here come the offers. Oh, wait, hang on. No, this is not... Uh... Bradford City have gone in for Callum Charles. Looking to maybe replace James Render. Just saying. Offers made for Montagno. That's annoying. But there's not a lot I can really do about it because he refuses to sign a new deal. Let's see if I can try again. No. He just isn't having it. Luckily, we've got an appear. Uh, we've got a backup, so it's not the end of the world. 2032, fair play, Nicholas. Hello, person. Struggles to remember cup games. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, I don't know if you guys would have seen this on the Patreon. Some of you would have done. Um, we have a situation with Robert Perring, who plays for Lincoln City. I'll show you this, actually, now, because you would have missed this. Um, basically, he's a goalkeeper at Lincoln City. But the game has gone absolute haywire. So, for example, here, right? Last season, Robert played 19 appearances for Lincoln City. Right, remember that. 2034, 2035. Now let's look at Lincoln City. You know where I'm going with this, probably. Two other goalkeepers. Bella Gamby. 2034-2035, 42 appearances from the start for Lincoln City. So that's already 61 league games Lincoln City have played last season. Uh, but wait, it gets worse. Luke Chadwick. Oh, I think he's new, actually. 
They had another goalkeeper as well. Basically, they had a third goalkeeper who'd also played games, and it basically accounted for Lincoln City playing 70 league games last season. Because <laughs> there wasn't substitute appearances either. It was just starts. The game just doesn't track it properly at all, particularly for goalkeepers, it would seem. Very hilarious. They had a hell of a season when they had to play 70 games, yeah. Those playoffs lasted longer than expected. <laughs> From other clubs. No, no, they hadn't. They'd been there the entire time. Uh, we checked it because we know Rob had been there the entire time and so had Bella Gamby because I'd looked at him the previous time as well. Oh, hey, Jim, of course you've got one, Bella. Yes! <laughs> it's best of seven. Yeah, they actually won the Stanley Cup instead of League One. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, yeah, that's the thing. With goalkeepers, it's really obvious. Oh, that's amazing. I think, honestly, offering him that extra contract was probably key. Champions League's going well, holograms. It's We've managed to get another four points on the board. Um, probably should have been six, but life goes on. Getting Thomas Rabble as well. God, those are two really fun signings. Up the Slovak Massive. And who was the other guy? If we get that... Um, oh, we already got him, didn't we? We got all three of the guys we wanted for under five million quid. That's, a, that's some business, chat. We're in the business of misery, but business is bad. Being played out of position. That would be hilarious. I, I suspect that's not the case, but unfortunately we can't find out. The one they haven't developed is being played up front. Only I would do that. And believe me, I would. Uh, Zabara looking pretty tasty. If Gudja could, like, sneak into second, that, sorry, third, that would be ideal. Bidness, yeah. Right. Back to the normal tactic this time around, I think. Freitas, yeah, now's probably a good time to start him, uh, Look at the playing time. Um, so you can't really see playing time for players that are playing in leagues that aren't switched on. Certainly not in an, a past season, unfortunately. So no, I can't. But the fact is, um, they've play it says that they've started 70 games between them, which is just funny. All right. Look at fixture congestion is bad. I learned yesterday that fixture stack overflow. Oh my God. Number of teams, 126 games. He's played just... Oh, this isn't where I I want to see this database file for sure. Ollie, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, right. Wouldn't it be funny if we brought that guy on and he scored against Inter or something? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the perfect game to get some fitness back for someone like Freitas. I don't know why league system in it, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot they got Norberto Ray. How's he getting on these days? We paid quite a lot of money for him, didn't we? He looks good, honestly. Star ratings aside, he looks decent. Black up keepers up top. That, to be fair, that is his, you're right, that is his prerogative. Who are we to judge, chat? We've done mad shit in our time. Uh, right. Okay. Good stuff. Do the deities where you build up Malta? Uh, I'm not sure. Which deity do you mean? I I'm genuinely curious. Um, I'm, it's probably an autocorrect. I'm just not entirely sure um, what the question is. But feel free. I I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Ah, dear. Olympic Secretary has 45 teams. Do you remember that wild uh, either Nigerian or Ghanaian Youth League where there was like 150 teams in it? Did it do the series? Uh, well, that's what I'm currently doing. Uh, it just might be a language barrier issue in fairness. So yes, what we're doing currently right now is we're building up the Maltese League. Yeah, sorry. That was a bit of a uh, confusion on my part. Favorite Pokemon? Chansey. Off, straight off the dome. That always been, Chansey has always been my favorite Pokemon. Don't ask me why. I just always liked Chansey. I traded way too much stuff away to get a Chansey holo card, which I still have from the base set. Damn it. But yes, uh, we are currently building up the Maltese League. Yeah. Executor. Solid. What? The MacBook. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, you can. Um, I don't have one, nor have I any experience with it, but I know people who do. Um, in fact, I bet you someone in chat probably plays it on the MacBook right now. Wembley County League or Legend or Worcester City? Ooh, I, I don't know. Um, it's up to you, Alfie, really. Um, Dude, Wor Worcester's a nice little town. I once went to an aquarium shop there. <laughs> Vaporeon solid. So he's like, Morbid, don't don't expose me like that, bud. <laughs> oh, no, I just always liked Chansey. Didn't like the evolution so much, but I have a Chansey card from the, uh, from the days. I still have all my Pokemon. I've got so many original Pokemon cards, including some first edition ones, which are pretty sick. Nurse Joy or Officer Jenny? Do you know what? I'm thinking Officer Jenny. I feel like 
I feel like she slapped me about a bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Handcuff me, Officer Jenny. Oh, dear. Uh, did I do what I did? So she slept on. Yeah, indeed. I'm Team Officer Jenny. <laughs> Each of the jungles. Yeah, I've got some of those as well. Um, I still have, like, a, one of the old Charizards from back in the day. Not, like, a first edition one or anything, but one of the original ones, which is pretty dope. Quite a lot of that sort of stuff, actually. I have some of the... Do you know when the first Pokemon movie was released in cinemas? They did some special edition cards that you only got for seeing it in the cinema. I still have all of those as well. And I have a lot of the original Pokemon comics signed by Veronica Taylor, who was the voice actress that played Ash in the American dub of Pokemon as well. So I have all of those as well, which is pretty sick. I don't know if they're even worth anything or not. My mum bought them at the time because she was like, this stuff might be worth something one day. And do you know what, Mama? You were right, probably. Barking like a growly for Officer Jenny. Hey, how did you see my other stream? What are you doing? What are you, don't even act like that. Yes, I'm a nerd. Have you not noticed by now? Christ. I'm a proper nerd. I'm the guy that I gets excited when I see number plates from obscure nations on the motorway. But on the plus side, Pog used to laugh at me. Now that she drives, she does it all the time. I'm like that. I like number plates. Favorite anime? Um, I haven't really watched much anime in truth. Like, the only animes that I've watched have been Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul, Devil is a Part-Timer? And that's about it. And I guess you, you can't really count Avatar because, I mean, it's, you know, Nickelodeon. It's not, but it, I still enjoyed it as, for what it is, right? What else are you supposed to do? Exactly, Thomas. Now you understand. Yes. Yeah, US must be even more fun for that. There's a guy on TikTok called the License Plate Guy. Love that guy. Amazing. He's so good. Devil's a part time was really good. Apparently they might be bringing that back. Like Tokyo Ghoul. I didn't mind Tokyo Ghoul. Um, it's like... I'm just not super into it. Oh, and I watched Death Note back in the day. I actually read Death Note back in the day too. Trying to get the 1 to 99 set. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, strong performance. Perez... Sorry, Perez scores a hatty. Diaz now gets injured. Christ. Okay, good result. Another five goals scored. Goal difference continues to climb. Nice. Mukov. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. I had a cup. There was a few other cards too. But I definitely have that one. Uh, Not now, buddy. There you go. Trust me. Um, who is still in the Maltese Cup? Good question. Actually quite an important one too. Oh, it's loads of teams at the moment. Most importantly, oh God, Hammer are playing Birky Kara. We could do without that. Zuri is still there. He was there. I probably would, honestly. Um, it's just having the time. I know a lot of them could be very long. Wow, it's actually gone. I just don't know if I have the patience to invest in it, honestly. That's that's my biggest issue. Um, Pog and I fun just finished watching this show on... Well, it's technically, I think it was made by BBC originally, actually. It might have been made by an Irish production company first called Normal People with Paul Mescal and Daisy Edgar-Jones, I think her name is. It's weird. I liked it, but it really did flitter from being really good to being really insufferable, like, on a kind of episodic basis for me <laughs> oh, hang on i think I've, oh, i also watched one punch man i watched that too i've actually forgotten about that we did watch that that was all right i guess um not being as often as promised uh but oh yeah i wasn't expecting that there you go <laughs> roy's back excellent news things you love to see yeah just one weekend of absolute bed rot and no problem right oh Wow, there's a lot of contracts up in six months on these chaps. Like a lot of contracts up in six months for the, uh, including Danny. We might finally get Danny a move. Uh, do I really, I don't think I want to extend Archie Brown now. Not anymore. Are there any contract extensions? I think I've already extended all the ones that I want to. Uh, the out on loan ones. Like that, I will get the doff on, which covers most of them. And the rest of them will still... This is probably because he's transfer listed, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. He's on loan at the moment, so we should, I can take him off the transfer list. And then when we get the next update about his contract, we can then audit. I have fused with my bed lit. Oh, mate, I was so bed rotty on Sunday because Pog wasn't working. We, j we didn't even bother getting up. I stayed in my pyjamas all day. We watched, like, Game Night, that movie with Jason Bateman and Jen um, Rachel McAdams and just sort of stayed in bed all day. <laughs> it was... Just one of those days, right? Would have preferred to go for a walk or something, though. 
it's it's yeah i feel like there's a whole genre of that which i'm calling r-rated adults having fun film so that ricky stanicky tag um fuck there's another one in that genre that we watched as well that same sort of time oh blockers it's like <laughs> there's a whole little sub-genre of those types of films which are all relatively enjoyable just for you know Vlad even on a free fully oh is he yeah fuck it we'll offer out then um it's unlikely to happen but we'll see right can't hurt what was it one it it's still fun it still was enjoyable like I, I actually just quite enjoy john cena as a comedic actor I, i've like i've enjoyed him in a lot of things he's there's that other film freelance with him and Alison Brie. it's less of a sort of a um less of a comedy but it still has comedy elements i actually thought that was quite good too it was just kind of fun i didn't mind it fallout tv next yeah fallout next week though that is what i am really hyped for i am so ready for fallout yeah i i, I rate him a lot i actually yeah i just genuinely like him as like as an actor uh let's see wilson ortiz oh not this um does this still work where i mean we'll have to sell him if we do then that's fine sorry saying he'll never work out yeah i mean he's not the only one that's managed that either is he you know I think he's actually grown quite well as an actor. I'm going to reject these for the time being because I think we can get more money. How do Ricky Snicky is a real person? Does that really count then? My friend group kind of does as well, actually. <laughs> Poor Spud. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, that's not ideal. Oh, that's going to make selling him slightly more difficult, I suspect. Less than ideal. Yeah, I watched that Efron. Oh, he was in Ricky Snicky, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think I enjoyed him in that as well. In a Smosh movie. I think he might have been. That might have been one of his first forays in. Ah, so Archie Brown's heading off, it would seem. Main character, there you go, yeah. Oh, he was, wasn't he? Yeah. The Fred... Oh, that's even worse. That is a bit of an embarrassment, right? That's actually right. I haven't seen Dead Producer in that many things, but that might just be because my taste haven't aligned with it so much, I suppose. Um... I'm the sort of guy that would much rather cuddle up and watch The Intern repeatedly because I just adore that film. It's one of my... It's on my list of, like, my six feel-good films, The Intern. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's amazing. I will never not enjoy watching that film. Right. Let's see. Uh, what are you looking for, Alfie? Specifically. Uh, anything interesting here? I want to see if we're linked with anyone useful. Oh. We've not been linked with anyone. That's always good, isn't it? Why well, am I struggling to, to find a centre back? It possibly because I've noticed the centre backs with poor heading this year, um, just in general exist. Your best bet might be to genuinely just have to try to find a young player with high potential, trying to train from there. That they are. There's what. That's why we're so interested in this guy here. Um, oh yeah, Doff freebies. Yeah, that's why we're so interested in. No, not test. Oh, good to know there's still a guy on there, though. <laughs> there is a centre-back that looked really decent. Oh, hang on. Uh, it is... Where has he gone? This guy here. Jefferson uh, Pinedo. He has 16 heading by default, which is so un so unbelievably rare that I am desperate to sign him. The moment he turns 18, we whack a contract on him, potentially. Downloading all the games and progress. That's going to take you a while. Did you add Balatro to it? Yeah, the problem is, Stewie, it's harder to get players with good heading in general. You just notice it more in centre-backs because it's one of the things I suppose you look for early doors, right? That's certainly I do, anyway. Christ on a bike, Rick. Can I borrow your scouts? Like, forever, please. Right. Nine signings. Now might be the perfect time for me to have a pee break because then, once I come back, we get to look through all the unbelievable, hopefully, talent we've just picked up because there's a lot of players joining us. Um, 250 grand for this as well. I shall return momentarily. Enjoy your whiz quiz chat. Where's my buttons?
that one actually took you guys a little longer than normal. It was Riveros. I was expecting that one to be an instant one, but yes, it was Riveros. Christian Riveros was the answer. Don't worry, chat. I'm not. I'm no longer Sans Bepis. Pog and I did the big shop yesterday. On club card. Love to see it. What if it's back on Amazon soon? Also, this song is just a bop. Also, damn near like, broke my headphones. <laughs> they fell off. <laughs> and managed to catch them right at the last second on my, my middle finger. Hello, Zim. How's it going? You've been smashing it with streaming lately, man. I caught a little bit of one of your streams the other day. It was, like, you're just killing it, man. It's so cool to see. Ah, right. Okay. Time to dig into these, lads. Let's go. Uh, first, we've got to do the handshake circle. Ah, no worries, man. You deserve it. Like, you killed it on TikTok as well. I think it was TikTok, wasn't it? Let's do that. So it's Camgar and Padilla who are currently occupying the uh, handshake circle. Some of these guys that we've signed actually look quite decent. I mean, it's hard to tell, I suppose, but I see a B on oh, no, a C plus. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Considering Roy was considered to be a B, it does make me a little bit concerned that we might have overspent here, but we'll see. Okay, first one, Thomas Rabble. Please at least have decent. Give me at least four star PA. Mm. I like his attributes, right? So I'm not opposed to... I, I think his attributes are good. Uh, let's just see. I will start getting him to train midfield, though. Because I want to make sure he's fully natural there, no matter what. I think for the time being, I'll whack him on advanced playmaker, because... Actually, his work rate's okay, but I think he's still probably slightly better there because of the vision. So I'll get him on that for the time being, but I do like him. Do all of these options. Oh, God. Wouldn't it be great? Miguel Torres, we were a bit disappointed by his... P Actually, that seems to be slightly better than I was expecting. I don't know what to do with him. He can't cross and he can't dribble. And he's not fast, so he's not a wing back. He's not really got the jumping reach to be a centre back nor the heading. The issue is that he doesn't really have the passing or vision to be a very good attacking playmaker, but he does have great marking and positioning. He he's a really good do you know what I think he is? He might just be a guy that's permanent loan farmer. The problem is, Bordy Midfielder, he has such low work rate and stamina. But he was cheap, so it doesn't matter. He might just be one of those guys that ends up in the loan farm. Yeah. I think we loan farm and see what happens. He might turn out to be okay for someone else. It's, a, it's an unfortunate one. I don't really know, what, even if he were playing those roles, what we would do. Like, what does the game consider him to be best at? Anchor. Yeah, I can see why, though. But even then, he's not... I mean, he's still 18, I suppose. There's room to grow. But what do I even put him on for the time being? I guess right now, he technically would be a ball-winning midfielder. So I want to put him on something, at least in the meantime. I'll at least get him so he can play the midfield role. But, yeah. Not great. Yeah, and an anchor is kind of pointless for us. Low self-belief. Exactly. <laughs> He's never going to recover. Just pretend no one heard him. It's fine. Uh, what about Iran Mayakosta? Yeah, he's full on just loan farm potential, isn't he? Yeah, guys look like the best personality either. He might actually be one for a mentoring group. Like, not even joking. Look at me go. Whack him in here. Oh, he's not the first team, is he? I reckon Iran is a name. Apparently so. Move him up there just so that he can get in that senior squad and do that because I'll just set him available for the other squad anyway. Um, but I do want him in here. Gosh, I can't even sort my potential to find him. Can I? He's in here somewhere. Or is this one of these things where it doesn't update until the next day and I look a tit? Where even is he? No, he's not there, is he? Yeah, we have to go to the next day. I think he just doesn't show up straight. Oh, no, he's Paraguay, not Peruvian. My apologies. I think he still should have shown up there, right? Eventually, I will click the right button. Don't worry not. <laughs> Hold fire. I'm the Pope. Oh, yeah, we Turn could do personality, actually. The Pope hat. Problem is that personality, as far as I know, isn't in alphabetical. Yeah, he's not there. I think we might have to progress today to sort that one out. Something less obnoxious. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, they don't like Dipsy. Yeah, I think he's probably just because... I did move him to the first team, but we might have to wait a day before he officially counts as first team, potentially. Yeah, Vrabble's there, which is... You know, Vrabble might have gone straight into the first team, in fairness, because he has fringe player status, which I suspect would have put him straight there. Uh, Dipsy is firmly a dev list. I, I don't think Dipsy finds alone, And if he does, it's going to be to, like, Zuri or someone like that. 
You get a position like defense attack. Do it wrong. Um, honestly, I tend to not touch def Um, oh, wow. Okay. See, that's better. That's actually immediately better. I will dev list him, but I'm probably not going to loan him out. I want to actually. Honestly, get him working on that defensive positioning, and he's he'll be grand. Get that defensive positioning up, and he's a brilliant wing back. But yeah, I tend to avoid the mentoring stuff entirely because it just does lots of stuff I don't want a lot of the time. Okay, he's decent. Devilish for you. Oh, thank you, Alfie. Very kind of you. This is a tune, by the way. Vibes have been especially immaculate today, by the way, friends. It's um a Chris from a Rose. I used to... Oh, no, hang on. I can do it in here, can't I? Uh, use development list. Set that. Loan list. Available. Offer. Like so. Buy in. No, buy in is the the next game. I don't know if we're even going to get to it today, actually. We've been... Uh, I blame chat for distracting me with that chat earlier. <laughs> Eric Nunez? He's very capable. Particularly as a Trek, which means to me, finishing is going to be so useful to get that long shots up as well. Because he can already play the role as a Trek. And his passing's okay. But getting that shooting out would be delightful. Good on many regions. Not in this save so far. I actually had a couple on the last save I did. But not in this save. We've not stumbled on any. And we are scouting Armenia. Yeah, we've got some usables. Some decents. And I really like the Hovi. I I'm really glad that we persisted on him. I just think his attributes looked too good to be as bad as my scout said he was. Now, okay. Maybe they were basically trying to tell me that he doesn't have the potential. And that's fine, right? Oh, you're doing Worcester City. Nice. I've only been to Worcester once. And that was to clean out M's parents' fish tank once. We needed to get some equipment. <laughs> Wait, is this? <laughs> it's like a bluegrass version of Kiss, Kiss, Chris from a Rose. Anyone doing mad things on loan? Wow. Any good assists? Anyone doing mad average ratings? Who's got the best potential? Kamaji, he seems to play really well. They're just not playing him enough. Like, stop using him as a super sub. What are you doing? To Palacio. Oh, he's nowhere near Palacio levels, but we can find out since literally there's an offer right there for Palacio. Palacio might be the best player at the club. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's not even an, a little bit close. But Palacio to me is probably the best player at the club, in fairness. So, Luhovi actually does have better crossing and the same dribbling. First touch is the same. Marking is much worse, so he's worse defensively. Passing is the same. Tackling is actually better. Technique's the same. Anticipation's worse, but he's younger, so his mentals are going to be, generally speaking, worse. Uh, oh, who wants to do the banning? Positioning's much worse. He's not as fast, and he's a lot shorter. He's also worth more. That is hilarious, isn't it? Oh, wait, Palacio's gone down in bid again. That's hilarious. What I would say is the things that Lahovi is really weak in is things that I can definitely improve him in, which is his marking and positioning. That's so easy to get those up. Maybe not to the levels of 15 and 18, but I think there's definitely work that can be done there. Hamrin want Redan. Do you know what? With how well he's done, I'd be willing to do that. El Arabi. So with these, we stall as long as possible to start the, the new system and basically refusing to ever reject offers if we can avoid it. Yeah, we. There was another bot with that exact same, like, uh, patter, if you like, earlier in stream. It's the second ban we've had to do today. Callum Charles has gone, oh, oh, I need to do the thing that Jim said and also get Thomas Mirvang in. But first, we'll do Thomas Mirvang. There he is. Because he's not even that bad. We'll do the trial first. Logic Stall. So basically, at the moment, because our player values are so bad. We, one of the ways that increases player value is by rejecting offers because they come back with newer offers faster. However, we had an issue in the summer where the offer bid up so much that the board then considered it too good to turn down and therefore sold our best player, or I would argue one of our best players for a lot of money, which was great, but he's been impossible to replace, right? Um, however, I like Pog. The other thing about stalling at the moment is there's a very specific order in which I like to upset players to have the best chance at not upsetting the most amount of players. So what you want to do is when all the offers start coming in like they have done in this window, I want to stall for as long as possible on every player. Once I then get an, a stalled an offer for a player that I know that I can talk around and not want to have them leave, I then upset that player first, then get them to stay. At that point, I then take that information into the other players when they get upset and say, hey, this guy was happy to stay. And nine times out of ten, they say yes. And then it sort of starts like a domino effect of them wanting to stay. But you have to do it in the right order. Um, oh. 
He's rejected contracts. Could play DM. Right. So, really weird that you say that, Jim, because in my latest agent video, which some of you will see hopefully tonight or tomorrow, um, the patrons have already seen it, one of the players in that, who is also a striker, randomly got retrained to play DM for five years as well. So very strange. And it was Arnie Slot that was in charge. So maybe it's an Arnie Slot thing. Was he at final, um, at Benfica in this save by any chance, do you reckon? <laughs> that would be funny. Legal Dino! Thank you for the 15 months. WH. W.H. Smiths. I thought we were playing like word association. Let's see. Anything here? Now we're back into the window again. Uh, these guys have kind of not panned out as I was hoping. Ah, I hate to see it. But also completely understand it. Hello, freebie. I was 29. Get rid of any of the older players that don't really suit what we're trying to do here. Yeah, I don't know what it is, Adrian, because he had like shocking tackling. Um, but the player in question was Shaquille Van Persie. I just thought it was really funny. Uh, that Lasuto guy is hanging around. Wait, that Seychelles Wild guy is fully scouted and he's actually got potential. Well, we're signing him. Yeah, I feel like Kane actually makes a little bit of sense as a CM, but this was a DM. And they didn't have good passing either. It was so very strange. Uh, yeah, Bannon won. And now that he's actually been scouted, he is very expensive though. 800 grand is a lot. Compared to Annabelle Bibby, who is shocking, really. But, like, it's not every day you get a shot. Oh, he's got fucking international caps, too, hasn't he? Oh, he wants Youngster. That's fine. Long-term deal for you. Off to Sweetie. Nice little uh, six-year contract. Cool. Done. He won't have that kind of that. Work off hierarchy to make him happy. Maybe? I, I really don't know. It just feels like certain players are just really good to do that with. Attinghauser, we won't talk to us. You, we looked at already. He's not even that bad. He's definitely going to be like, yeah, nothing. What about Banan Banana Rama here? I wonder if they maybe wouldn't want the full amount. We might be able to get him like a bit cheaper than 800k. Am I being silly by trying to buy him for 300 grand? I like him. Plus he's got a fun surname and sometimes that's half the battle. Uh, you won't, actually weirdly won't talk to us at all. I might scout ahead her again, actually. I find sometimes that one more scout on them can really help. You're already being scouted again anyway. Let's see. Would depend heavily on wages, but... Oh, that's fine. He doesn't want much wages. And it's a youngster contract, which is perfect. And he's alone. Ooh. And even better, eight-year contract. Which he should, in theory, accept. Lovely eight-year contract. Yeah, he's kind of loan farm range. Oh, Mirvang's in. We might have to flip Mirvang properly by bringing him in and then leaving, let him go again, but we'll see. We can play literally but it's the only way i've found that you can consistently try to hang on to your players and the last thing you want is too much upsetness in your squad because it can be properly like um you think you're under bruv you've done nothing except refuse to go back on loan to looter why on earth would you consider to be underpaid uh i mean i'll ask vida to see if he can sort it which he can't but i have no intention of doing anything with this guy uh no contract for you. Like, why on earth would I do that? Silly Billy. Oh, I didn't look at the freebies release, did I? Although it's January, isn't it? Oh, now Chelsea want Juan Martinez. Just to rub it in. Chelsea doing Chelsea. He probably doesn't want much, but I think it's unlikely he's going to go out on loan again. So I think it's with me, for him, it's probably best to just set him free. Um, Right. Let's go check here. He does have multi-second nationality as well, which is going to be useful for him, hopefully, counting as based in Malta, and thus we'll find another club in Malta fairly straightforwardly, I'd say. Right, let's see. Um, do a bit of that. That's a good point, Jim. I hadn't really considered that, but if anything, you'd probably find better players there than you would do... Can I not untick these? There we go. I'll keep the list like that so we don't get any old... In fact, I might just bring it a bit younger to like 24. And then contract status is unattached okay so there's thirty thousand. any high rep guys yes he's paraguayan guy there who presumably was released by libertad right back what amazing um shun sakamoto cool name wanted by lots of those sides again not bad but a winger Cool if we can find some slightly younger players like this guy, Samuel Fahad. 
Okay. Uh, this is the Maltese League. Uh, the Madness. He's a goalkeeper. Mm, could just try them. We could, yeah, I suppose. Um, just take a little cross angle up. So that's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Knowing full well that a lot of them are just going to um, join other clubs anyway. But I'll take a little smattering. We can't offer him a trial. and the other, A lot of them will just turn down to the clubs as well. Uh, I did actually ask before stream uh, my doff for wingback suggestions because I was looking for a backup wingback. And obviously now it doesn't matter so much, but oh, you have to pick a position, don't you? Oh, okay. He's found a couple. They're old as fuck, but <laughs> we, we go with that. Uh, what about centre-backs? Okay, he's found a couple there. All kind of beyond us. Other countries. Um, we were torn between Malta and Estonia for this save. That's what those are my sort of um That's where I was torn between, pretty much. Let me have a look at goalkeepers, I guess. I think unfortunately all of these guys we could obviously trial them. Oh, you actually can select multiple players, but then you can't So you can select multiple players, but you can't carry out any actions beyond get scout report and add as transfer target. Cheers, FM. Right. Wait, I can't even trial him. Oh, he's under a bid. Is that from me already? No. Okay, that's weird. Why won't it let me trial him? Wait, can I not trial them from this screen? FM. Oh, no, I can. It's just those two for some reason. My harder. That would have been funny as fuck. Cue these guys up as well. It might not let us have all of them, but I think it will just because the other guys... No, I can't do him either for some reason. Can do him. Right. Get these guys in. Michael Golding. He's a real player, isn't he? Doesn't he play for Chelsea? Or did play for Chelsea at some point? I recognise the name. Cool. Just fix that screen. That wouldn't, uh, wouldn't that be lovely? Right. Kadri on the move. Nobody on the move. You're on the move. Right, so with him we stall. Juventus want Cazola again. Okay, intriguing. Tell so him Doi. What I'm looking for is a big for is a bid for Kamga, really. Or Watara. I might just accept that. Because we're not going to be able to sign him on a new contract. Oh, dear. Sorry, did I miss the chat on um, Estonia? I was just doing that. Um, Yeah, so that was... No, oh, we didn't agree the move. I'm glad we chose Malta in the end, but the other option that I was looking at as a chance would have been Estonia. And so I between those haven't two. been Maybe around Georgia. too much as university got in the way, but how are sirens doing? We're actually doing very well Portugal. this season. Last season, last couple, in fact, kind of crap, Rodrigo. But this season, things have really stepped up for us. We're actually still second in the Champions League this year, which is really dope. How's university going? Do a bit of that. So most of them actually are saying yes. Yeah, he looked like the one that might... Oh. There we go. Oh, I thought, this is... I thought that was going to be Julio Petillo. Or Junior. What was his name? Julia? So Golding has gone to Fulham. Okay, well. Rip. Uh... We've actually got a surprising amount of them, in fairness. I was expecting most of them to say no. Most of them probably will be shit. And they're all sort of too old, really, for me to be wanting to sign them up. Because they're going to want massive contracts, unfortunately. Yeah, he's gash. Now, he is intriguing. Because he's fairly young. You're pretty okay, I guess. Most of them are can at least head a football but he's painfully slow Shun Sakamoto you're a winger they can Rob yeah I mean that's the idea they sort of count as based in Malta for a little bit which means that if there is any interest from other clubs it could be kind of interesting okay he's quite intriguing I don't know if he's quite already won in that role but he does have some nice attributes at least so he's intriguing yeah that's true it also makes him on the scouting range yeah good point I'll, I'll dump them all in the under-23 squad as well, so as not to bugger up our, um... Yeah, it looks to be, like, the only one... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let me just... Uh, I'll sort by age, because that'll get most of them in there. Oh, no, it won't. I want to just move them all, if I can, anyway. Straight to the under-19... Not under-19, under-23 squad. 
make my life a little bit easier. Stop our scouts from getting not scouts, sorry, coaches getting overworked. Uh, let's try that. Was more of them? Jesus Christ! How many did I sign? That's that it. Right, cool. Dump them all into the under twenty threes. Just stops us from having to see them. Stops us getting overloaded. Oh, what did I miss there? I just saw a ban evader thing. What was that one? I didn't even see the message. Or was it just another one of those spam um, follower thingies again? To be dropped by South Africa. Didn't he do really well at AFCON? Weird. Bar the Bruggen. Isn't he doing... Yeah, I think he is doing really well on the save. Is he not? Oh, is it Inter? Oh, God. Oh, God, he's good. But yeah, so bringing them on trial does help other teams find them. He said he's stuck at mentoring. Well, he's right. Don't ban him for... <laughs> like... First of all, how dare you? <laughs> I was going to say, Hadrian was straight on the hammer there. As if my car's still in warranty. It's an 09. Let the mother it... Yeah, generally speaking, it does sometimes help. Um, I don't think it's been as effective as it was in previous years. By the way, Bart Briggs has got 119 caps for the Netherlands. <laughs> He's an insane goalkeeper. This is a better Bart than the one we had. And ours was bloody excellent. But we don't need him now. We've got Freitas, who I'm so glad to have back. Because I think another one of the problems was we had burnt in goal. And I do wonder if maybe Freitas would have made a save that could have won that Leon game for us, potentially. So he's still at Generation Foot, surprisingly. 256 caps. Probably not yet, I wouldn't have thought. So yeah, Fallo Dioff is still there. Does have seven caps for Senegal himself. He's actually out of contract in the summer. He seems to have done just fine. I think he's one of the players that starts off young with really high potential, if I'm guessing correctly. That might hopefully help, anyway. Trubin, if I recall, he is in this save. But I should just... Oh, I literally just saw him. There he is, at Arsenal. Yeah. Also very good. God, that aerial reach is insane. Yeah, work for the spam rage thing. Definitely. We haven't had one of those for a while, which has been a nice change of pace. 136 Ukraine caps. We are starting to get some pretty high cap scorers now actually aren't we i wouldn't be surprised if let me just see yeah that's what i was thinking Adrian, if there is someone that's sort of on that cusp let me just clear this and get everybody every player in the game that i have access to essentially and then we'll put it on general i should probably have a filter for this already don't i no no i don't <laughs> maybe that one I'll just put it on gen over uh, general and then just whack it in there. International caps. 163 for Jamal Musiala. 163 international caps for Germany. He's got to have the most, right? Nope. Martin Erdegaard with 186 caps for Norway. <laughs> 186 caps for Norway. Tell you what, Donnarumma might keep going. Oh, he's probably retired by now. The fact that Erdogan has 186 caps is insane. Still playing at 37. Crazy. Phil Foden with 170 England caps as well. And 59 goals. And then most goals? 95 for Erling Haaland. He's not quite going to reach 100. Mbappe's not even reached 100, surprisingly. And he's retiring. Mbappe with 90. That's going to help us at least. No Mbappe next season. He can still do a job. Yeah, 95 and 99 is actually wild. Rasmus Hoyland as well, though, for Denmark with 80 was pretty decent. Any other massive surprises? Thierry Gale there of Alanya Spore with uh, 72 caps. Oh, did you let? Never heard of him. Is he like Jeff Hendrick? I've heard he's good. I'm surprised. Maybe he's had an injury. I thought like he would have had a bit more. Oh, no. God, that could have been our player. Benfica and Rojas. Are... The annoying thing is I can only... I hate it when they do that. Wait, hang on. Do I actually have to press anything there? I might not. I might be able to pro progress through it. Oh, you don't have to actually do anything on it. Nice. So you can still stall it. You just can't press a button to stall it. Lots more contracts for these guys. Most of them aren't on huge money. It's just a one plus one most of the time. But it saves me having to extend their contracts every time. Something I should probably do in future, in fact. No one wants Miggy, which is a shame. And su not entirely surprising, honestly. I might be able to do that. I'll do it the second time anyway. 
Oh, can you do it bottom right? Oh, okay, cool. As long as we've done it, it's or the equivalent of it, we're all good. I actually didn't think you could stall it. But maybe it's because I was looking for a drop down instead. Am I surprised we haven't seen any loan offers immediately? I suppose it's January. Yearly wage rise. Uh, who had the yearly wage rise? Uh, oh, yeah, those guys. Yeah, true. Luckily, the wages are fairly small anyway. And they're usually one plus ones. But yeah, that is the one downside of doing it like that, I suppose. Yeah. But it does save me the he the effort of renewing 100 players' contracts a season. Yeah, all the newbies got dev listed. I think so, anyway. Yeah. That's what I'm going through now. All the players that you're seeing me just clicking on right now, they were all dev listed when they come in. I kind of, I kind of almost do it instinctively when the player joins us, even if I maybe don't want to loan them out. Like, for example, um, Perez is on the dev list technically. Okay. Just got to get through January without the values going up too much and them doing anything silly. Animal Bibby! We don't really care about that, do we? <laughs> Seems like not all of them have the 5% wage rise clauses too, which is kind of good. Some of them are probably earning more than they should be as well. Oh, you won't join until August anyway. So Raiden's gone to Hamron, which I'm okay with. Ah, there he is. My man. I don't know if he joins us immediately or not. Uh, oh, he does. Okay, cool. Language course. He's not great, but obviously, in fact, I think 300k is probably a bit much for him. I think we've really only signed him because of his name. Got to be careful doing that. With the money situation being tenuous. Should we drop like 23 caps at 20? is very good, though. Any for Vissel Kobe? Nah. Just woke up. Wow, that is fairly late in the day. Unless you're on a different time zone. In which case, you're excused. Hibernians are trying to sign Adam Ida. Um, okay. Wasn't anticipating that. To go from Norwich City in the champ into the championship to potentially join Hibernian in Malta. Love that for you. That could cost them a lot of money, though, worryingly. 7-1 there, good. Yeah, Ian's out of word. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're actually going to get to the Champions League game. <laughs> maybe. Maybe the first one. Forgot to check his height. He's one. Oh, yeah, probably not as a target forward somehow. Got ninety million pounds. Okay, good progress to see from Paez. Actually, he's looking really good now. I think we did the right thing by signing him. His numbers have actually been pretty decent. Hasn't scored or anything, but like his actual st attributes, other than maybe aggression. Maybe the composure could do a bit, a bit better, but I, I really like him. Cuthbert's now... Well, he's already got loads of caps, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he could be one of the guys. I think him, Espino, and... Not Rojas, probably. Tunkara, I don't think, is long for this. Oh, maybe... I think maybe Espino, Kadri, and Paez would be, like, the back three, I would say. That might win us a Champions League one day. I think Kadri's got it. If you could just stay fit and not be on international duty the entire time. Uh, no. Nothing there yet. Well, it's, been, it's dried up a bit lately. Anything else? Oh, Zabar now lose. Good, you do win. So they're staying in the hunt. At least our gap is back to four points again. Uh, when is that? Yeah, so it's 17 days till buying. Still be Vida, probably, yeah. <laughs> still putting up 50 assists a season somehow. Ah, speaking of, he's back in the squad. I feel like Melbourne should still start here because I want to keep his match sharpness up. Whereas I feel like I feel like Perez has earned that role now. I think he's earned the role as the starting striker for the time being. It's just hard to argue with his output this year. 16 goals. Henry has only got five. Now, per Perez has played in more games. But Sharpness, true. But like, I don't want to play him as a Trek. And I feel like if I'm going to start Perez as our striker anyway, Melbourne needs Sharpness too. Maybe play Huatara in the next game. Why is he running on the bench? Oh, good question. Is he injured again? Uh, wait. Let's get rid of the unavailables as well. He'll be in here somewhere, won't he? The problem is it's just a massive list. Lahovi should probably... I will put Lahovi on the bench. Probably instead of... Fafana, honestly. A Gambian called Jesus Gomez. Do they? Let me check. Just try and find Roy Fleming. I think... Oh, there he is. There's Roy. 
I might put Raw on the bench instead of Henry for this one. So, yeah, they've got Jesus Gomez, who is a Gambian Maltese. That's just his name. Place of birth unknown. Strange. Okay, new season in Europe. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it will help us. I think the biggest thing with next season is, remember, our dilution is going to be tougher. And we're going to be starting at a higher round. But the benefit is having two teams guaranteed playoff round of the Conference League, which gives us a really good chance of having a team in that next year. Pretty much without a doubt, I would say. And another chance for two more teams to potentially getting it too. There's a chance we get four teams in there as well. It could all go horribly wrong, of course. But I'm pleased with it. Oh, it's actually have a North Korean. Yeah, um, there's a lot. Of, they actually have multiple ones, I think. There's actually quite a lot of North Korean players playing in this league. Dilation. So basically, when... Sorry, not dil dilution. Not dilation. You don't want dilation. <laughs> um, when you get more teams in Europe, the amount of points you get drops because the way it works is you earn a certain amount of coefficient points for each win or draw you get. But that is then divided by the number of teams that your nation has in Europe that year. So currently... We have four teams in Europe, which means at the moment, when we get a win, it's worth two coefficient points, but it's then divided by the number of teams in Europe, so it becomes 0 0.5. When we then move to a situation of having four teams in Europe next, sorry, five teams in Europe next year, no matter what happens, a win would then only be worth 0 0.4 to us, and then a draw would be 0 0.2. Um, so that's... Oh, James Gomez, yes! I had him on Nordic Nomads. I had him on Nordic Nomads. He was a Gambian centre-back, wasn't he? But yeah, that's what the, that's what I mean when I say dilution. So you can there's a downside to having more teams as well because then you end up. It means if you get a team in there that does nothing except take up a place, then it can cost you in the long run because you're going to get less points. But it can also be beneficial if you get them all doing good stuff. Then there's just more chance to earn points in general. So it's still probably a good thing. Yeah, he was really good for me as well. Um, another six nil plus sixty one goal difference. Halfway stage of the season, and we've got a plus sixty one goal difference. <laughs> it is good news. Uh, Perry's got another goal. That's why Liechtenstein have insanely high years, yeah, because their dilution is one. They don't get any dilution at all because it's only one club ever. So if, um, for example, if, if Vadus do something good one year, Liechtenstein get huge points. Do you know what would happen? I wonder what would happen if they got so many points just by doing an average year that they ended up getting top two in the coefficient chart? Or would it just hard code straight to third place? Um, Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. We, we've scored 71 times in 14 games. They do get a second team. No way. That's amazing. The fact that we've we've scored... The next best scoring team has got 27 goals and we've got 71 this season. Last year, we scored 86 goals. The year before that, we scored 70. This year, we've got 70 goals with... Sorry, 71 goals with 12 matches to spare. We're doing 100, surely. Th this year has been an absolute mad one as far as the league form. Perez has got 14 goals in the league. 17 in all competitions. And he's now four-star, four-star. He's so good. In fact, I'm going to get him off the dev list. There's no point. He's a starter now for us. League XG. We're obviously overperforming it because we're creating so much. Um, by, yeah, we're plus 12 on it. But that's a big change from when we were underperforming it massively. And that's what I mean about you've just got to create loads to get lucky. Max two teams. Yeah, I mean, technically, it's only supposed to be a maximum of one. But that's the way you would go about it. Uh, Kamga was good in that game, too. I really need someone to bid on him so I can upset him. Montenegro snubs him. God, this man can't make a decision, can he? 5 0 there as well, which is good. Under 21 squad. Possibly with some of those other guys. Yeah, it was. That was a bit of a. We had a lot of ringers in that game, I suspect. Permanent move away from the club. Bravo, I would love that for you. Um, God, it's crazy how much he's fallen off. I'll ask Vida to try and step in anyway, just in case he does do something good, which is very rare. But every now and then it does work. Um, go permanently in all honesty? So be it. All right, cool. Um, it's a shame we couldn't set a thing there, but I, I do want to sell him. But the problem is we want to get some good money for him. So hopefully, it's annoying. We shouldn't have done that really because now they're going to bid like absolute peanuts for him. I don't really want to sell him for less than 10 mil, if we can anyway. Oh, 13 million. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute. So that's £8 million. We will reject that, obviously. And we'll obviously reject that. But it might be a chance to bid them right up. Right, okay. Now I can say reasonable fee. Better valuation. Right, what do we want? What? 
That's literally what they bid. Why would I sell you for that? Oh, come on. Nine and a half million then? Fine. I still think I can do better than that. Single Lichtenstein Club get through one of the Champions League. It would depend on what round they started in. That, that's always important to factor in. Right, Tunkara. They're going to have to reject these ones, aren't I? Which means I've got to be very careful about who I upset and when. Right, so one of these guys is bound to get annoyed. So, Padilla and Tunkara. I think we do Tunkara first. This might not be the way we want to do this. He's a fairly, he's a highly influential player. Okay. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, well, that's Kuna, I guess, but I've never had that work. Right, okay, that didn't work, which we expected. Okay, so he's highly influential. Okay, good. So Tunkara is now on my side. Now, this may not work with Padilla. Sometimes Vida actually convinces Padilla by himself. No, he didn't. Okay, cool. He's very influential. Ah, there we go. Right, that right there is that in action. Upset the first guy, know that he'll stay, then use that guy's upsettedness that you've then turned around to then influence the next guy. So now with both of those two are now happy to stay, which means I've got more choices when it comes to who gets upset next. It's just a tough one. Oh yeah, they don't want him. They've probably got another goalkeeper on, if I'm honest. Sometimes get good offers. I find that... Oh, hammer and lose again. I find that it doesn't really work like that. Uh, I find that most of the time when you ask the agent for offers, you get pretty bad offers. But let's have a look. It's worth a go. Everything's worth a go, right? Ask agent about market interest. None of the clubs I spoke to are to make an offer for him right now. Okay. See what the intermediaries would say. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely shocking offers. I'm not selling it for £2 million. Pounds. Because as much as it says X to 4 million, we know that it would be the lower end of the 4 million part there, unfortunately. Oh, is there another guy I was looking for? That's, isn't that the same club that we just signed that other dude from? Okay, so those ones are not looking like they're happening right now, but it might happen later in the window, potentially. For some of these guys, anyway. They're more options. And we could always do the mass offer out thing we like to do. See if we get any bites randomly on that too, because it can happen. Uh, right, and then there's that as well. Oh, yeah, the badge is just really similar. It's probably not even that similar, actually. It's probably just, like, they, as you said, they've got the same colours. Yep, look at the amount of XG that Paris has had as well. Nobody's even got close to that. Like, Watara. Okay, he's played, like, less than half the minutes, but still. That, that's what I mean, and I feel like he's scored, like, three penalties as well. So most of his, he's just not been in the right place to get it going, really. But it looks like Perez is the guy. And to be fair, we kind of thought that immediately anyway. Uh, let me just get these guys like so. Get them all listed here. I don't think I can do this, can I? Oh, I can! Off of a loan. Wait. Just in case, add to development list. Sometimes that works. Loan to a non-Maltese club. Not really, there's no point. Uh, we don't really need to, uh, to loan to a non-Maltese club because we could just loan to a Maltese club. But one of the things in the save has been quite good is our ability to actually do that, really. There's no benefit to us loading players to a non-Maltese side. Sist against me. Oh, that's not ideal. Um, even in this save, Mike plays for Manchester City and played against us and didn't win. Which is what you want to see. So they want Krastev. Also, so where is this... Um, where is the... I'm not seeing an option to stall this. Obviously, I know that we can just click past it, but someone said there was an option in the bottom left, and I'm not seeing an option to stall this, unless it's in here. No, I don't think you can. I mean, you can just go past it, and it kind of does the same effect, but I don't think you can directly stall it. The purpose of the development list, what it does is, firstly, it alerts clubs to interest for your players, um, which means that if you want to get them loaned out, it will immediately alert clubs. So just adding them to the list actually does that in the first place. In Secondly, what it does is it allows you to set criteria for the loans out. So in this case, I only want them going to Maltese sides. So I could set it up so that any loan offers reject will be rejected if they aren't from Maltese sides. It also allows us to set things like wage demand requirements, facilities. Not that I want to do that, but it, you can. And then you mimic that in the offer out settings as well. Okay, so we're going to store these for the time being. Sharp it. So now it's 2.3 million pounds. We were just offered eight. How I set that up? Um, yep, one sec. So, dev center. Nope, not dev center. Sorry, it's under transfers, isn't it? Three star right bit. No. 
um development list so basically on the right hand side here this panel so the dev list is all here this is just where the players are you can ignore this you just once you added to them here then you adjust it on this side of things so that i don't know why that's blank but i think it's because we've got it set to unspecified now but it seems to do okay nation malta everything else is just as low as possible pretty much and then you mimic those same settings on transfers and contracts so you go in here and go to offer out and make sure you set those same settings up on this side of things here as well otherwise it can get a bit messy For some reason you couldn't still crash it oh really weird uh so i'll have to reject this one but he doesn't seem to care alter wound i think Ndoy shouldn't be a problem because i think i can use tunkara for him although hopefully it doesn't say padilla because he might not like that yeah Oh, no, he's agreed to it. Nice. Padilla must have gained more squad stayers. I think as long as the previous player has high enough squad stayers, you're okay. Which means I've got to worry if Ndoy has got high enough squad stayers, which I believe he does. Yeah, he does. He's highly influential. So the next guy should listen, unless he's a team leader. God, Tashin, by the way. Underrated crap. <laughs> like, where are Nash Still not getting promoted. Typical. They are unstoppably bad. Oh, now he's wanted. No. Oh. Weirdly. Wait, I didn't transfer this shoe, did I? No, that's really weird. That you're suddenly wanted by for transfer from clubs in your division. How odd. Oh, hang on, I missed a missed a uh, I've missed a thingy there. I'll weigh that. I mean they'll be good ish. Uh, maybe not actually. Quasi war. Okay, the money's coming up on him now, which is a bit of a concern. I'll do hail. Cadre showing please in progress. Good news. More matches for television. Oh, not as many in the second half of the season. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, send home for one day. It's all good. Uh, promise of being sold. Yeah, I'll let that happen. If someone bids that, I'd take the 9 million for him, honestly. It's not what we were used to getting bids for, but it'll do. Oh, Liverpool FC. Come on. This is usually the sort of club that gives you something good. There we go. John Rodriguez. It's not quite Everton, John, but he's something, right? Scouting update. Anyone new? That's that guy that was on loan from City, isn't it? Uh, ah, the, Les the Lesotho guy's fallen off, as I expected. They're all... Oh, no, they're not all reasonable. These guys are. It's that Casper Shoe guy. Pablo Guerrero. Oh. Edaroa. Yeah, he still won't talk to us at the moment. And that... Oh, wow, he's fallen off. I'm still going to scout them both again. I feel like there might be something there on him. But I want to know for sure. Good win. Ah! Loan offers. Right, here we go. Kavka. Yes. Nothing there. English clubs want Roy Fleming because now he's declared for it. The fact that Premier League sides, by the way, we're, we're getting offers from Premier League teams and top-level championship teams for Roy Fleming on a squad player level. That's an interesting development. Uh, good to know, though. Won't offer enough wages. I love that one. You can always get out of it every single time by saying that. Sorry, I've rejected the offer. So, oh, we can finally offer Salem out again now, which is good. Okay, so we actually only got one more loan offer there, but hey, that's fine. Uh, ooh. Uh, Kyrie's throwing. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, Kyrie's throwing. This set is really good. I I hope so. But I'm, I wasn't expecting, like, low-level Premier League high championship teams, though, right? He's only two-star CA. Oh, Hammerin won it. Um, go on, then, lads. Alarabi wants to Kara. No. Chris from a Rose is back. Pulled calf muscle. God. I feel a bit sorry for Rob Hill, and he's really only here for being like the third choice centre back, but by God, is he useful in that third choice centre back role? One thing about us going up the cup kind of early, provided Hammer and. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, timing. Right. So Hammer and are out of the cup, and so are we, which means there's going to be a new cup winner this year. Luckily, Hammerman will still get into Europe, but we could have an absolute rando bunch getting into the... Uh, who's left? Sweetie are through, Tarshina are through, Marsa are through, Sanguan are through, Most... Oh, God. Thing is, right, the only team that's really capable of doing any decently would be Sweetie or Birkikara. Most are a crap. They're second tier. Melita are okay, but they're not that good. Tarshina are getting relegated. Marsa aren't even in the top flight, and Sanguan aren't even fully professional. <laughs> <laughs> because they'd get Europa League as well. Oh, River Plate. Why did I say that out loud? 
What I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted by the game being horrendous there was um that <laughs> the benefit for us is that we're going to have less games to play, so we'll get a little bit of a space, which will help us slightly. Uh, you're not going to get more game time though, are you? Because you're like our third choice goalkeeper by now, bub. Uh, there we go. He's just going to slowly become a breakthrough prospect again after all this. Ah. Uh. Yeah, upsets don't really help. Upsets are great, provided we still win the cup in the end. Or Hamrun. That's fine either way. I'm happy with either. Uh, okay, that's Kazula. Milan want Palacio. Sharjah want Tunkara. Zero want Dodori. Okay, about time. Ah, here we go. Right. 10.7 million pounds. I still reckon I could get more. It's so early in the window. I, I reckon we can get more for him. I know he'll get pissed at me, but... Maybe he won't because it wasn't up front. We'll see. I think it's only if it's like a flat fee that he maybe won't. He'll get annoyed, perhaps. To loan out players if they are in the B under 20 senior squad. I don't believe so, but I haven't really tested it, honestly. Because I think most of the new guys that are like loan farmable guys end up in the second and third teams, if you like, anyway. But I think it more likely breaks down to the fact that the better guys are going to stay in the first team squad and therefore the reason they're not going out alone is probably because they have higher CA rather than that. But that would be an interesting thing to test somehow. Not getting the games I want. Um, I don't really want to lose into Lignon. It's tough because it's like, would you rather lose him or upset him, right? Are the rest of the hammering in the cup? Uh, yes, I think you might be right. Oh, no, you're right. Oh, no, was that in the other save? I actually forget. It might have been the other save. Oh, yeah, no, first season of the save. Goodyear won the cup. So, yeah, the only team that's won the cup in this save other than us and hammering is Goodyear. But this year is going to be the first year since the first year. <laughs> Like, Hammer have actually won the last two. We won four in a row at one point. We just trade cups, basically. Sleemer have had a few second places there. As have Master Schlock. Play once and then his agent will tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bit silly. We actually lost a player to something similar to that a little while ago. Might have even been in this save. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No, he's like that Robert guy, isn't it? We'll ask Cam going to say hello. We did. We lost to Tarshin in the cup. Ah, he's fine. He's not great. Maybe I've paid loan farm. Not a problem. Uh, what even is he? I mean, I guess worst case scenario, we train him as a central midfielder to play the ball in a midfield role. I suspect he'll never be playing that role for us anyway, but might as well. Oh, that's box to box. I've done that a few times now, haven't I? There we go. That'll do. Yeah, he's a mistake and it's someone else's problem. Precisely. Ooh, land for fun. 9.5 million. Where was the 13 million? I have been duped. Melita won Elvish Pashai. Okay. Fair enough. No, Inters, buddy. Come on. We can talk this around. Um. Well, all right then. Our six foot, a thousand bean pole is leaving. The Tony replacement. Yeah. <laughs> Something tells me that he's not the Tony replacement. I feel like Gert Gillet might well be the Tony replacement. Kafka's gone. Nice. It's another loan. Hang on. We must be getting very close to um, Ireland numbers. What? Oh, it's River Plate's first team squad. I got really excited then. It's this guy, Marcelo Velasquez. And he is a left... Oh, mercenary as well. How much do we want that? Yeah, he's not willing to jump despite that. We could try and send... The problem, I suppose, is how much we'd even get for him. How long is his contract? Mm, ask his agent, right? Nobody wants it. Right, okay. Intermediary? Honestly, for the amount of money we'd get for him, which is sod all, we might as well just keep him at the club and use him as a backup centre-back for us for the remainder of his time at the club. 200k is worthless to us. Um, The cup reputation is probably fairly high. Well, actually, it's higher than the EFL trophy, but it hasn't risen to the same ranks as the Hungarian Cup did in the last set, but it may well do. To the point where that's a genuine strategy, like we used it before. Uh, on a way, I mean, I could try that, but are you really going to get a loan spell? Like... I love that. I tried to act as if Lignon was actually going to agree to that. Um, 
Fine, I'll loan you out. Like, but only to Maltese sides. Bring These are my terms. Take them or leave them. Accept them at your peril. Tropical Kaloopy. No, Tropical <laughs> Tropical Loopy. Why did I say Tropical Kaloopy? <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Uh, did I actually do that yesterday? Oh, hello. I see red. That can always be good or bad, honestly. League 2. Nicely done. Which cup was that? FA or... Uh... Not that it really matters, does it? I suppose FA would be better, I guess. Maybe slightly bigger prize money. Uh, crazy Wooer. Right, I'm going to have to reject these, aren't I? But that should be okay. And Right. The question of which order I annoy them is crucial here. So I think I should be able to use Abdul Doi for him. Oh. Quasi's actually a bit of a bell piece. Like, he's one of the few players that never takes that. Ever. He always just kicks a shit fuss up every single time. It's like, oh, well, I won't let you move for no money to a random Saudi club. There we go. Gonzalo Diaz is good. So three out of five so far. No, four out of five, I think. Wolves are in lead two as well. That would be a much more interesting story. Right. Oh, Christ, it's nearly three o'clock, isn't it? Jesus. Our distractions have been somewhat large today, it would seem. Mostly my fault. Entirely my fault. Uh, right. Recruitment focus updates. Anyone new? Uh, oh, Enrique Vega. I mean, I'll scout him anyway, but unfortunately, Celta Vigo is a toughie for us. Duh, DC rules. Sorry, DCS rules. Thank you for the follow. No, we don't get to the Munich game today because the Munich game, there's still another game in between. But that means it'll just be the first action of next stream. FA Trophy, imagine. <laughs> Because Munich Games still got another game in between this one. It will just be the first game of next stream. I think we've just spent a lot of time looking at players today and just vibing, and I'm okay with that. It's not actually going to put us behind or anything. It means we still finish off the season next stream. Sort of accidentally puts us back on normal kilter. Mm. When it's next stream, uh, that'll be Sunday. We did spend too much time on potatoes, in fairness, yeah. Actually, no, I'd argue we spent an adequate amount of time on potatoes. The correct amount of time, some might even say. Could do with building up a bit of match fitness for Padilla in this game. Now might be the uh, time to do that. And maybe even Henry, but I just really like building up Perez's goals at this point. And besides, we don't need Henry. We've got Roy Fleming. What more could a man want than Roy Fleming? He's one of these players that's going to end up with an, a, a CA that grows faster than it should do just because we insist on playing him too much. finally happen. It, statistically, it's like the monkey. If you give monkeys enough typewriters, eventually they write Shakespeare. If you give you and I as, a, as an entity collectivity chat, eventually we were going to spend too long talking about potatoes. It's only taken four and a half years. Right. Uh, did I already do that? Uh, oh, hello. Uh, oh, Jesus. Looks like, I might, looks like I might not be going to Copenhagen in a couple of weeks. The prices have gone up massively. Oopsie! We were supposed to be booking the tickets today. We may have to go a different day. <laughs> it's like doubled in price to the point where it's no longer cheaper than going to London. Yeah, Adam Ida. Wait, he, did he sign for them instead? I know Adam Ida was in contact. He was in contract negotiations with Hibernians, but it appears that he signed for Zabar instead. Oh, a narrow 2 1. But Perez still scored. Palacios. Oh, please don't be too serious. Actually, wait. He doesn't seem to have been injured, which is interesting. And Adam Ida actually scored against us too. Because of course he did. Five straight for us. Ooh, disappointing he only scored twice in that one. When you go to a Sirens game, the video, I've already been to a Sirens game. I went to a Sirens game in February. Um, literally, yeah, just over a month ago, Pog and I went to a Sirens game. It was really, really fun. The coldest I've ever been as a human being. Perhaps. It was very, very cold. One of the windiest days in Malta. Malta's history, some have even said. Some being me, experts. Slash, trust me, chat, I'm a meteorologist. I know all about meteors. So he's going as well. What does that put us on now? Minus 84 loans. <laughs> we are getting very close to MTK numbers. No, the Sirens defending was appalling, I must admit. Uh, Andrea did his best, but he couldn't even bail them out. I'm worried that that... Uh, only scoring two goals against the bar there might be what cost us getting the 100 goals this season. I don't think we've still got, what, nine games to get it? Nine games to score 27 goals. We literally need to average three goals. Three goals a game for the next nine games, which should be good. Yeah, vibes today have been especially excellent. Uh, once again, I've really been trying to 
create a more positive act. Is it? Oh, you're right. It's 11, isn't it? Not nine. Even better. Loads more of a chance. As you've learned, I can't spell slash count slash any of those things it would seem. Right, let me say that there. Damn. Okay. So that means next stream, we've got Champions League finishing off as well as Champions League knockouts because we are going to be in the knockouts no matter what. We've got 14 points. Uh, we are essentially already qualified, I believe, actually, aren't we? Yes, of course we are. So we could actually potentially win the whole damn thing here. Top 8 is still very much on the cards. I reckon one win and top 8 is is confirmed. If we beat Bayern, it's done. Then Inter's like, whatever. So that's good news. I think we're really onto something here. We've signed some really good players in January too. I like the look of that left-back guy. Vrabel looks decent as well. That other midfielder looks good. I think it's starting to come together now. I'm feeling much more positive about where we're heading with this now. Other Maltese sides be damned. I reckon next year they pick it up again. It's going to be really, really good. Oh, it will, Inferno. It's a Sunday stream. Of course it will. It's never not going to be that. Yeah, Bayern have absolutely shot the bed in this save, like to an absolutely abysmal level. Um, now then, who are we thinking? It, I mean, uh, here I am scrolling, right? Rep three. If we have a good season this year, which it looks like we are, I reckon if we get top eight, then yeah, we get th we get three star rep next year. I would say. There was me scrolling through as if I wasn't just going to raid Gavin. <laughs> Oh, let me at least make it look like a competition here. <laughs> so, yes. Um, see you on Sunday for stream. It's going to be... Actually, it could potentially be a banger as well because we'll have youth in tech in there and football Christmas in there as well. Uh, in addition, agent video tomorrow night, most likely. It's done and it's already out on the Patreon, but it's just a question of whether I get the thumbnail tonight or tomorrow. If I get the thumbnail today, then it'll be up tonight. If I get it tomorrow, then it'll be up tomorrow night. But the video is done and everything. It's just... And some of you have already seen it. So it's ready to go. Just need to hit the, the button on it. So, yes. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys very soon. Hold your gun. Cap